Okay, well, I turn on the picture talk and whatever. <laughs> you can also just click the mute button. Oh, wait. You know, like, don't want to talk. I just don't want to be breathing into the mic. I don't know why I have that problem. Move you. Move your mic away from your mouth. I I I try. But just oh, the... it says push to talk turns on your mic while you hold down the space bar. Yeah, but I turned it on, but it's still picking up my voice. Oh, okay. I got it to work. Uh, it may, you have to mute yourself, and then you push the talk. Oh, you know what you could do also, Ashwin, is you could present your screen. And then we're all looking at the same thing. Well, I have two windows, so I, I can look at you, you, your screen, so I know what you're talking about, and then I can just also check out other people. Oh, we can just watch it here on this browser. Yeah, that's what, yeah. that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll be right back in like two minutes. Go bathroom. Uh, did you get gong show? He also plays like super zoomed in for whatever reason. Hawks on Inca is kind of scary, though. TBH. He just has to learn how to spell first, huh? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Maybe. Honestly, I i don't really know Inca either. I've only played them like once. Even though Maybe he like just likes reading their backstory. You know, he, he, lo he logs in every game and reads a little bit about the Civ and... <laughs> I just learned that uh, there's always a planes under a jungle. I am. Um, I really like coral, honestly. 
What the? I guess we'll eventually get to Arvis, but I'm kind of curious what Civ he is. I got it. I think he's streaming on Twitch. This is a really good terrace farm right here. There's one, a pretty good one here, here. So I'm actually pretty surprised he didn't move to river. Well, he's probably going uh, tradition. I don't know. I would go tradition here. Uh, how would you have moved? Like right, one down. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go here, and like it's already like pretty strong Petra. Yeah, it just doesn't have a first ring hail, I guess. Right. Yeah. Also, we're seeing the the Inca scouting bonus in full effect. Also, Hawks loves going guilds. Yeah. So this this he already has his mount. <laughs> the problem is he both loves going guilds and loves going expo, so you know it causes some issues. That's true. He likes Machu too. That's so. yeah. Pop rune easy. Easy, easy. So it's not hard being good guys. Just get your pop ruins. That one was pretty weak, but yeah. That, no, that's what I'm saying. Like I, Alex and I were talking about this recently. Like a food rune would be so much more balanced. The pop rune is the best rune you can get in the game. Like turn two, it's the best rune you can get turn seventy. Right? There's never a time when you're like, oh, I don't want that pop rune. How much food would you get? Like ten. Uh, I mean, ten is like strong, right? But that's like not even as strong as a pop rune, right? I think ten's totally reasonable. Okay. I like Bucket's first ring, but the the coast that close is a bit worrisome. Yeah, stay on Bucket for a bit. Yeah, he has like one solo, obviously, right off the coast if he wants it to be off the coast. Oh, yikes, that desert incense and the zero tiles around it and all the coast around it, that feels, that's painful. It's not great. Yeah, but I, I still like the settle like four away to his left. It's hmm. totally fine if he wants to put a city there. Do you want to put it on the river? Yeah. Yeah, like on the hill. Yeah, I think that's good. That's the city I like the most. Yeah, it had, it picks up a bunch of stuff. It has a river. It eventually gets the incense. Yeah. Which is just a pantheon, if he wants it to be. Would you work flat desert incense for a pantheon? I'd rather be uh, a shrine. I would, I would for eight turns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, we could, we could do the math if you want. Eight turns of working like a two gold tile. Where you could be, yeah, working like out. Sixteen food and and eight hammers. Yeah, I like think that's... a shrine is is worth. Me, yeah. it's it, 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 faster too, right? Shrine takes. Uh, you have to build the shrine and then wait fifteen turns. Yeah, which this is just. I mean, you want to improve the incense anyway. That's true, but I just so. don't want to work it. It's a bit like I don't know. Every time I get Sinai, I'm a bit like annoyed because I know I am gonna work it for a long time. But I also know uh, that there's just no yields for food on it. So that's yeah, I hurt. agree with that. Like, it feels really good for two turns, but then you're like, eh, do I really want to work this for 20? Yeah. So. Okay, so Bucket and Gong have met. Uh. Oh, all right, Monument. That's, yeah, I guess if you have all that space because Gong's over there, you can yeah, do it. You see the Coastal player? That's yeah. pretty good. Good uh, information for him. Oh no, Bucket is Bucket didn't know to auto that scout, so he may lose this road if he doesn't have first move. Yep. Yep. So, lesson for the kids out there, and in particular for Bucket, right? If you um if you see the ruin and you're fighting for the ruin, what you do is you auto explore your your scout or your warrior. That's the E button, and it'll just move there. Um, and whoever's first in slot order 
tends to get that. Would it work if you already like moved the? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Like you can action. just hit E, and it still auto explores. Oh. Okay, so Hawks is very close to Glosson. He's got a spear. His land looks very sad, and he's clicked Monument. So, um, this is either Honor or it's Lib Expo. Um, My bet's Lib Expo. It's just what he always does. Do you say Expo or Expo? Because I'm thinking Crossbows. Uh, ex Expo. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely thinking it's going to be Crossbows from him. I can't wait to watch them fight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, kind of excited for this. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> Glosson has been playing a lot more like um, Skirms recently. And he uh, he kind of beat up Syra last time they fought. So it, it could be an interesting fight. So I feel like Glosson might foresee this coming. And he might even just combo rush uh, Hawks. Yeah. I, I'd probably do it. I'm not... <laughs> I, think, I think... Well, he has the Buffalo Hunter. Yeah. I think Glosson should look to combo Hawks. I think it'll happen. Let's see what Glosson thinks. Glosson has Embassy. Oh, that's a really awkward placement for both of their Luxes. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see where they put their first settlers. Yeah, so you can see that three culture turn 10. That means that Glosson has a monument. Um. He finished it a little bit. I think he must have finished it last turn, which is, I think, fast. So Turn nine? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, and he's also met Arv. Wow, so Glosson's really between a rock and a hard place here. He's got he's got Bucket to his north, he's got Hawks to his left, and he's got Arv to his right. This is a... Uh... Maybe he just clicks Honor. He has a CS. If he knew there was a second CS there, he'd be much more likely to click Honor, I think. But the fact that he only sees one... This feels like Libertrad to me. He's got tobacco for Maybe he, he's, he's, he's checking out the horse tower. Maybe, maybe a six city uh, Liberty game. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he clicks. I'll look at also like a terrible. Oh, that's not his Behringer. Like what you've got here is you're in a situation. Where there's two players who will absolutely kill you um, if they think they can get away with it. Yeah, which is why I kind of like honors him here into compos. Like, you, you just plant two cities towards somebody. Yeah. And it looks like Lib. So. Did he already click it? He already clicked it, yep. Oh, well. Yeah. I think that's going to be good, too. I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel like good Lib land, right? When you're Sue, a lot of land is good land. That's true. His cap is uh, almost like no hammers in there. If you look at that right now, it's he has nothing. Yeah, he's got. Eh, yeah. Does right, he have bronze? Pretty. He's taking bronze right now, and his worker doesn't really have anything to do. What? What is this? But he sees horses, so he can. Or he can get his iron out. That was uh, okay. I, I assume and he and Hawks negotiated he... about that worker or something, because why else would he not take not it? Not take it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Weird to not. Oh, did he just move his? Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe he's greeting to pillage the tile. P greeting for the pillage is not worth like one turn of worker improvement. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it had to be that though, right? Right. I maybe they're talking about something that we missed. Arv maybe already with the spear. Of course. Of course. Okay. Maybe Glass was just waiting to see if there was a better CS to steal from. No, I think he's just waiting for that, that was pillage. so close. Yeah. That feels wrong. Yeah. Look at the Hawkman. That is a good CS to steal from all game, though. It's so close. Yeah. Um. That should be like a 4 or 5 worker, I think. Yeah, as long as it doesn't grow to that grassland tile uh, south of it. Yeah. That should be pretty pretty easy to steal from. Dude, Denzel is always coast. <laughs> Just yeah. Always. I think going on the coast and, like, not getting in trouble is a strong thing to do in these games. Okay, so Hawks has... It's turn 14. Hawks only has three culture. That means he's honor. Um, and we've also seen him just click honor. His honor play is pretty scary. 
Yeah. yeah. Every time I see him go honor, it's just like ridiculous. The, the only problem with honor is that like Glosson has to be thinking about compos, right? Well, you have oh, to yeah. kill Glosson here. Yeah, but like, but... do you do you really want to be fighting Sue? It's, during it's, compos, it's just not an option, right? Like, you look at this isn't like honor sim land ever, right? Yeah, it's kill people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, it's a. I'm gonna say it. Kind of a kind of a weird map. <laughs> it looks like you can plant towards the two CS and maybe go to take them both. Let's I mean, if happens. you if you take the the one Glosson stealing from, like, you just have to war. I mean, they're gonna have to war. I think, right? He clicked on her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you do on this land? Me, I am terrified. Yeah. At uh, least. I don't know. I, killing Lib Sue is the the hardest thing to do. Uh, Lawson's gonna totally expect it too. He's like one of the most paranoid players. <laughs> I don't know. I would just be really upset if I was in Hawk's position. I think. In Hawk's position. Yeah. Like I uh, guess put, put, in a, put in a situation where you feel like you have to click honor next to Sue. I mean, maybe he could... Is there any chance he walks up over to Denzel? I was looking at that, and if he plants no cities towards Glosson, uh, I think that could be a possibility, because then Glosson's like, okay, maybe I don't attack Hawks here. Mm -hmm. And because he's so scared about Arbius. He's going on dies. That's where I thought he was going. Oh, wow. He got that tribute with the two warriors and the... Yeah, but Spear. it's not that he already stole from Cape Town, so he doesn't get that tribute. Yeah. Still, that's good money. Yep. Let's see if he buys a worker. Probably not. Honor, I feel, is one of the, the highest like skill cap trees to start. So much of Honor is like micromanaging your units, uh, dealing with like your multi-steals. You've got a lot of stuff compared to everyone else this early. And if you don't use it, you're going to fall behind. Okay. It's pretty crazy how much Hawks lags. Yeah, no. How do you like how does like, he how does war? He, play? he plays on a laptop too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should buy him a computer. <laughs> Just, you know, crowdfund it. Get this man a new PC. Wow. Really? He's selling something for that instance? That's that's very contested territory and also it's in the it's... middle of planes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I would not want to be Hawks right now. And then to type that, he's crazy. Yeah. Maybe it's all a ruse. Hmm. I don't know. Glosson Gl Gl uh, would love to settle on that horse. Yeah, Hawks needs a Pantheon. How else is he supposed to get a Pantheon? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be Stonehenge. Yeah. Honor Henge. That's, that's the strat. Oh, look at Where this. Glosson has this really nice steal off of Bangkok's horse tile. That's gonna... Yeah. That's what I was saying. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Like, standing under a lake, and it's either gonna walk on one of those three tiles. And then you just... Yeah. Yep. It looks like he really wants that city above him. I don't on think... On Lapis? Bucket will... On, on horse, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it is a good city, but like... <laughs> oh, here it goes, Glossy. <laughs> Glosson says, I'm comping something. something. <laughs> Someone's getting comped. I don't know who. I yeah, mean, it, it looks like it, it shouldn't be Poland. Like, there's a thousand hills right there. These are questions that Pyramid solves. That's true. Let's see if he queues it up in that city he just plants. Do you think it goes on the, the Lux or on the horse? I think on the horse. So you can you can put TPs on on horses, huh? You can't. Can't. Okay. Yeah, I would always settle on the horse then. Um, His happiness is at three horse. right now. That's the issue. He's got this. Where's wait? Did he not tech count? This greedy fuck. Yeah. I think it's I think it's fine. I think he can also just click pyramids right there if he wants to. Two first ring chops, like nice hammers to work everywhere. I agree. Um, 
Let's go. Gong. He's like finishing his first settler. Is Gong piety? Uh, let's see. He's making three faith, so looks like it. Which is um. That's probably you know, piety. I don't think I would ever click piety with coral. I've clicked piety with coral, um, because when I play piety, I struggle a lot with GPT. And Coral is very high GPT, and also Piety cashes out on Faith best. I agree. I just, I like see that, and I'm like, oh no, Shrine Tradition, here it is. Here we go. And I yeah. think Gong Start would have been great for Tradition. Me oh, too. Glosson settled on Lux. I... Settled on Lux. Okay, I guess he just wanted to stay happy. It's also a little bit less aggressive towards Bucket. Like... Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about happiness, honestly. Like, if you're just making Settlers, you're losing... Half a production. Yes. And getting that settler down this fast, getting his monument up as quickly as he did, Glosson's going to have a pretty fast um, lib 2. I think it's going to be... Oh, turn 25. I really thought he could get it to 24 for some reason. Yeah, Gong has some interesting land. I, I think he's just gonna... Like, maybe he's just 3-city here, and he just chills. I like this call by Gong to build the, um, to build the Trireme. Brunei is the only Civ right now that has work boats. Uh, Triremes are... do the same function, basically, as the old Brunei work boat. So he gets to do what Coastal players used to do, which is he gets to scout a little, and then he gets to go improve some Luxes. This, this start kind of feels wasted on piety. Yeah. Though I, I'm not seeing, like, great side cities. Like, I don't... Like, that city to the south is just one tile too close, right? You just go uh, on the gems, right? It, it's pretty underwhelming to be a tradition city, to be honest. Like, if you look at it, there's no food in it. Unless you're stealing the only food tiles from the cap. Yeah. So... Yeah, maybe I agree. Point. I don't. I'm not enthused about that city. Yeah, like I like I like his city to the north, but again, it's kind of lackluster in terms of tiles. Do you just settle? Is that tundra hardwood? I'd hate if that were tundra hardwood. I, I, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Like I would settle on hardwood if it's yeah, like a hill or. Just can't tell. <laughs> and then that island looks really good. All islands are good. But that one looks very good. It's like all tundra. It looks like it might have those lakes in between too. Hmm. I don't know how you guys recognize the the lakes. Just like the way the island looks. Sometimes there's just like one or two lakes in the middle. Hmm. I could be wrong, but it happens a lot. Shape of the cloud. Hmm. Maybe. Intuition. I don't know. <laughs> you just play enough coast, it comes to you naturally. Yeah. Uh, should we see what Bucket's doing? Yeah, let's go look at Bucket. Okay, Bucket is lib, right? Surely. Four faith? Four culture? Oh, four. That's, that's a trad number. Four is, um... No, six is a trad number. Four is... At turn 23, six is the trad number. Four is lib with monument. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hmm. Okay. That okay. city, I think, just sealed Bucket's fate. <laughs> Maybe. We always have to be, be concerned that if we comp Poland, yeah, we will get exposed by Hawks. Well, this is the, the safest direction to go in, right? Because you don't lengthen your border at all, except to Gong. If you kill Hawks, for example, you're exposed to Arvius and to um, to Japan from the north, right? Or if you kill Arvius, I mean, first of all, killing Arvius is not easy at the best of times. But also if you kill Arvius, right, then you've extended your border to Hawks. If you go north, you, you keep basically all the same borders.
Yeah, let's see what... Hmm. Is Gosling just gonna settle on that iron? Settling on the olive south of his cap is the correct move, because it gives you two first ring TPs. And then you can work the hill iron. Yeah, no, I like that too. So I think this is a city going for Behringer, which feels kind of insane. Oh my god, he still doesn't have... That's Calendar, right? Somebody... I don't know. He still doesn't have Calendar. No, you can tell because he's not... He's too unhappy to... Yeah. Good god. I just can't tell what he's taking right now. I think that's Calendar. Yeah, I think that's Calendar. So, Glosson is just, like, delaying settles because for three turns, he's going to be just unable to improve Luxes even. Uh, no, not on the iron, Glosson. Interesting. Not on the iron when you could go on the olives and then, like, on the incense. You know, where he where he plants his cities is probably going to be telling him Fui attacks. True. Yep. Right now, it's, like, literally in a straight fucking line, so... Can't really tell. I'll be right back. Yeah, it looks like, um... It looks like there's this lake for Arv. I don't... You're high, Glosson. You can't settle there. Um, Arv has that lake, which kind of makes it hard to push him. It's never Arv here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's look at the Hawkman. Okay. So, one of the things Hawks does to hide expo something that he's gotten very into recently is um he'll like pre-tech down some sim tech and so that he can overflow into guilds and that's kind of what this sailing says to me because he doesn't even have a uh oh come on jasmine uh, he doesn't even have a a single trader i guess he's building his first caravan but wow wow are you guys seeing this Settler, that's like... That's a really far walk for a Settler. That's like Lib walking over to a Settler. Kind of well, I think he's just calculating. He's going to settle this. Well, I don't know. I think he's selling two more cities that direction. Yeah. Um. So he's suddenly... It looks like he's throwing the Settler out of Cusco left onto the river to settle both of his Coco and Foy. Which is just like... It's, it's a good city, but it's slow. Yeah. Another classic piece of Hawk's wisdom is um, talking about the doubling time on cities. Getting cities down fast is very important so that they can start making you yields. Uh, there's a fountain there. That's why he's selling that there. Yeah. A Hawksism. Yep. Hmm. What is... Oh god. Alright. Glosson has what? Four so he has two more cities. He's gonna plant one more? I don't get this granary. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. I I I feel educated now. You got to scout Arv here as Glosson because you want to see like is he killable slash am I killable? But the number one target is is Bucket. Oh yeah, and this is annoying. You see, Bangkok grew to the horse, which a you just wanted, and b um it's gonna make your multi steal much worse. I'm curious why he didn't just buy that tile. He probably just forgot. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. At least Glosson has calendar now. Wait, oh. I just noticed his capital has three different looks. Oh, he moved. He moved. Yeah, if Arv is not killable, it just has to be Bucket. Oh no. So here now we're gonna, we're gonna see Hawks see this, and Hawks is gonna think over how do I tell Glosson that it's fine because I'm gonna kill him anyway. 
you think he's going for Glasson? I don't. I think. I don't. I don't think he's going to go for Glasson. At least not yet. Yeah, sorry, I just got back. But the this Machu is like pretty passive settle. It's a good city. No, it is, but it's like it's pretty passive, I guess, in terms of placement towards Glasson. Uh, actually, he just wanted sailing. Huh. Okay. It does have olives there, though. Yeah, the these regionals are so entangled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna yell at me later. He's gonna be like, "You never dump into selling. You always dump into optics for overflow." <clears throat> I wonder how many cities he's gonna go. I like this land. Feels like he's got so much space, right? Like, it's just bad space, though. Yeah, right. You can't sim on these cities that he's planting. And he is picking up a lot of tempo just from being on her, from getting these multi-steals, from getting these tributes. He spent his gold somehow. I'm not sure how. Yeah, I'm not excited for Expo meta. Oh, and... Uh, let's see, let's... Oh, no. Gonku took stone circles. I just saw that. Yeah, I flipped to him and I was like, oh, wow, stone circles? Like, just for that city? I mean, I guess he has that obsidian on the island, but... I but, like, nothing in your cap, right? Nothing in the cap. I see... I guess there's... Those are even Tundra Stones. They're not great to work. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Jess. Like, it's just boat hammers. I don't... Especially as Brunei, right? This is a sieve that can very, very consistently and very quickly improve its its regionals. Yeah, I think Poland had a better Stone Circle start. Mm. Yeah, I really... I really disagree with stone circles here. Just take boat hammers. It's very questionable. Me too. Piety stone circles. I'm gonna say he's ear. <laughs> you're, you're just gonna throw it out <laughs> there. Just off that one decision. Actually, yeah, yeah that is a pretty. I, don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty, open piety. Okay, you know you know that. what's actually ear here is it's turn thirty. And he doesn't have one of his regional improved. He's got no, two no, cities like it's, down. It's turn thirty. Yeah, and he hasn't. He's only planted one city. Yeah. Like the other sellers don't even know. Yeah, this doesn't. No, no. There's a there's a settler going to the island. So there's. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, it's not as catastrophic. I see. Well, if he's gonna go four cities here, I think he plays should have played trad. No, I I actually think this this felt like a setup for me for like three city, trad GL perhaps into Oracle into later settles explo settles. I played that recently and it felt really good. Yeah, actually, because like some of these cities are pretty good with expo. But also, like, Brunei, the, the stupid Brunei coast, coastline improvement, that's why I think that Gem City is fine, right? Yeah, that Gem City is good, but, like, really bad early, so, like, that's a great Expo City later, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, great Expo City, so, uh, yeah. I just, for some reason, I just don't have a feeling that he's going Expo. <laughs> Gong is, like, a commerce enjoyer, right? No idea. I just, I just don't see him going Expo for some reason. Well, if you're Explo, you just settle these islands later, right? Yeah. You can maybe secondary be Explo. And Brunei is a great, like, Explo 2 sieve, because you don't really need treasure fleets, because you're working these coastline Brunei tiles. Does he have more islands? I might even consider, like, resettlements. Three city piety into resettlement. I think resettlements favor static game states, which I don't think is going to happen in this game. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of far from everyone. Uh, yeah. If I were him, I would. This would be. I would love this start. I think it's a really nice start. Okay, where where is this guy going? Oh, there was a lake on the island. There you go. Let's look at Bucket. What's what's Bucket doing? Okay, I I don't really get this. Why did he move? Oh, that's a Sully. Yeah. His warrior's kind of low Where health. Where is he going with that? He's going to T. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, Bucket is uh, Bucket's living his, his best life. Bucket's just clicking every huh. settler. He's probably gonna put one on like that hardwood, I would guess. Like, oh yikes! Yep. If Glosson is going for some sort of like compact uh 
you know, tight build bucket looks like he's going for exactly the opposite. He's settling cities everywhere, and Boston's going to look at this and he's going to think courthouses. Oh no, Boston is playing in windowed mode, and he's uh, he's bumped his screen somehow. Uh, I can't look at this. Yeah, that's not going to be fun when he has to pick his promo. <laughs> oh, my bad. LOL. <laughs> Where is... Okay, so Hawk's on four cities. It doesn't look like he's settling another one. He's too far from from sports to fight him. Oh, no, there is one more city that's going for... I guess it's going for, like, Foy and the last coconut. Wait, how many cities is this? Yeah, I guess, I guess like five city honor into kill some CS perhaps? I don't know. It doesn't say promising things. In yeah, art is OCCGL? see Denzel's game. Yeah. That'd be nice. That would be cool. I would enjoy. He's pretty low on points, so... He's got to be doing something. I mean, less than Bucket. Yeah. Bucket? I mean, Bucket has cities. Actually, wow, Bucket's on less cities. Right, he's only on four right now. Yeah, this this feels slow for Lib. But he has a, he has a seller out about to plant. It looks like. And yeah. Then another one next turn. Yeah, it's that really that South settler that had to go all the way around the barb camp. It's um, it's not looking great. Yeah, not looking good. <clears throat> As an archer in a city. That pillaging your Lexus is... I don't know, it, it, this is going to be rough for Bucket. Let's see. I think Glosson is just going to comp him. I don't, I don't... I don't know why Glosson wouldn't. Maybe just because of, like, <clears throat> he's scared of Hawks. Yeah, but if you if you just don't kill people because you're scared of someone, you. <laughs> I was gonna say you just ask Gear, but we just don't ask Gear in tourney games. How many? Do we know how many settles Glosson has? Is he just doing five cities into comps? Wow. That's aggressive. That's very aggressive. It's gonna be pretty fast, I guess. But like, I wish he made more aggressive plants. Like, if you're on five cities, like, you could have planted towards someone. Yeah. And I guess you can say he, he planted towards Poland, but... Yeah, it's not that aggressive, and that city on the the horse would have mm -hmm. had a lot of chops. It, it's the happiness management, I think. I think he needed to be... He needed to tech calendar earlier, and he needed to um, settle Izanyathi on the olives, and then things are nowhere near as dire. Yeah, I agree. And he went trapping for TPs, but he... Oh, Obviously right, there's... Stellar. You do not settle the city if you want to comp someone. Hmm. It's just... It's pretty funny, because right now he doesn't see Hawks' city. Yeah. No, he does. He sees kind of the border. Oh, I guess so. But does he see it? You know, maybe he hasn't checked. Yeah. <laughs> He's already building archers. Yikes. Neg six gold. Yeah. You know, if you want to upgrade, you better be working some money, but she's mm -hmm. not. Okay, chariot. <sighs> like. Oh, God. 
Yeah. All right, so so just recap of what I see so far. Glossing on like some 60 lib into comps. He's already committed to going comps. Um, Hawks on like this very strange five city build honor where I personally am convinced he is going to kill someone because you can't sim on this land. You can't go kill these CS without killing someone. But his only targets are like sports on the coast very far and Glossin who is like six city lib comping someone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Uh, the more I look at Hawks, the more I'm not sure that it's supposed to be. Do you think this is great Liberty Simland, Demuta? I, I'm generally disappointed by it. It's There's a lot of it, but I don't know about it being good. <clears throat> Alright, well I asked Denzel to stream this game for a couple turns. Mm -hmm. I know he has shoddy internet, so let's take a look at that. Let's see what the other Coastal Boy is up to. So, Denzel on three cities right now. Looks like Tradition. Um, selling an Island City. Okay, Colossus time. He's already making 24 Culture, too. Yeah, that's got to be God of the Sea. Yeah, and seven, uh, 7 Faith. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So, he worked those tiles pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Got to in your Japan. Guys, I still can't believe Brunei didn't take boat hammers. Himself. Yeah, that's got to the sea and Japan. Yep. Can we? And yeah, you could see him lagging, but he's building lighthouses. And is he four cities or just three? It looks like three, and a fourth is going to the island. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Very no, laggy. No escort. No. Yeah. You know, you gotta have faith. Maybe there was a barb camp somewhere near, and he just knows it's not. It's not there, but. Let's see. Oh, he's just praying. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see it. There's definitely a barb there. <gasps> oh, saved. That's actually saved. good. That's so good. Like, I, I think he's I, annoying, but it's so good. He might, yeah, he might be mad that that's not a real island, but it actually, one, two, three, it does pick up that crab and the fish and the sheep and the other fish. So I actually think that is a good island. I think it's a good island. I agree. It only has like eight tiles. And I think on Trad, my goal is usually 10. Um, Not always an arbitrary number, but, you know, I... I I feel like you easily get to 14, 15 pop, and if you have 10 good tiles, that lets you work two unis, a workshop, and, you know, a market, or build a guild there if you want to. So. Yeah. I, I'm i just sure the thing he's really kicking himself over is not going for this left island. Uh, yeah, I, I would have looked at it. Like, how hard would it be to put that worker mm -hmm. on the sheep tile for a turn? That's a one-tile island tile, so it's completely safe. Yeah. Oh, he's got Killy. I didn't even notice. That's... Yeah. He's doing a huge amount of culture. Oh, yeah. He's going to have Killy. a really fast trad 5. And honestly, like, I feel really safe where I am right now. Yeah. Like, uh, is Hawks going to take Ormus and then, like, row through, like, 15 tiles of jungle to come to you? Uh, we... Like, maybe if you look that juicy, but uh, Hawks attacking... Uh, sports here, right? Sports, yeah, it's a little risky. Yeah, it's very far away. Like, I I um, do think yeah, Japan just has like the safest position in this whole game. Like his sim seems fine. That's you know step zero. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. So he's trad four on turn, whatever turn this is. It's 30? like thirty eight or something. Thirty eight, and I'm I'm sure he's finishing the other one like forty five six. It'd be cool to see him go Oracle here, but obviously he wanted Colossus, which he'll yeah. get. Yeah. I the other yeah like Brunei yeah. sim here I don't think is good enough to like fight whatever Denzel is doing. Let's go. No, I I, I look at Gong too. You see, he has like fucking twelve science. Yeah. And yeah, five two one one pop right now. Yep. That is uh. <clears throat> Dude, Real Claw. And Real Claw just bought a tile, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Like this is this is piety pain, right? Like, what is Gong gonna do? He's gonna threaten. He's gonna threaten the lip player. Hey, if you buy that tile, you know we're gonna have trouble. What trouble? You know. Yeah. <laughs> and and stone circles was so weird. I, it's always like, boat hammers. It's always boat hammers. Like I, I like I guess you see that one city, you're like, wow, four stone. But come on, like it's they're tundra stone too. Like they're yeah, exactly. 
and like you, you, I don't know. He didn't need to make faith like that. So yeah, it's he's playing on coral. He's playing Brunei. I'm very unhappy with the, this decision. And he's five. He's just four city piety. He's ignoring that gems. Yeah. Why did he even settle Sulu there? I I, I wanted to paint over to Sulu because I'd like to see Sulu because. Oh, and, and and by the way, there is a lake there, so. Yeah. We knew it. <laughs> but again, you're you're playing piety, right? You you don't care at all about like oh this garden. Mm -hmm. Just settle. I don't know. City. I would. I mean, if I went stone circles, I would really want that obsidian in my first rank. Agree. Hard agree. Like, like I can't. I can't afford tiles. And that that tile is actually money, right? Like, all of wanna... these, all of, like, if he were playing boat hammers, he could be working his coral tiles right now. They would be two, one, three tiles, mm -hmm. and that's totally fine. Totally, I agree. And like, you get a lighthouse up, and they're really good tiles. So I don't know. I like I said, we, we he should never be pie to here. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. It's the fact that he had to attack masonry too as piety. <laughs> yeah, like you're way too close to Poland, um, to go piety. I think. Yeah. So so bucket. I hope bucket is thinking like, oh, I can just go snack on, on this piety guy whenever I want. Bucket yeah. with the ten turn pyramids. Let's see if Glossen is doing it, a little faster. Yeah, bucket's not getting that pyramids. Is Glossen the only liberty? No, Glossen and Bucket are both Liberty. Oh. Yeah, Bucket is getting snacked on by Barbs right now. I'm gonna actually... Arv is AFK, so... If we can... If you're... Arv is also on Twitch right now. Arv's not streaming in this Discord. Arv's land looks, um, not great. He's doing some three city trad GL thing, which is honestly a good place to be in. Like the other trad players on the coast, yeah. Which means you probably get whatever you want if you get great library. So, yeah. And he's going for Petra. Okay, so he's just. Yeah. I wonder who's going to get Oracle. If if Sports is able to get Oracle after Colossus, could be pretty crazy. Oh, what do Oasis do as Palmyra? They they affect the amphitheater? Yeah, I think it's a uh, hammer and culture or culture and something. Oh, that's really strong. That's I, I changed my entire perspective. That's amazing. And he took the lake. He's got a four Oasis city. That's nuts. How is Hawks top demos? <laughs> and. You're also noticing a Hawks classic here. He has no faith source. It's turn 39. He's just building Henge. And because nobody else is building it, he's going to get it. That is his signature start. Yeah. I was probably going to go for Chichen. Since oh, he's rushing draw all ends in 10 minutes. Oh, that's really annoying. We should probably just get in the Defiance team speak. That would be smarter of us. That's true. Isn't TeamSpeak only push to talk, or no? No, you can just talk. Let's see if I have TeamSpeak still. Yeah, it's not only push. TeamSpeak 3. Okay, I'll be back. I just don't understand what Hux does from here, right? He has maybe one CS to kill. I, I, two if you're killing Glossen. He, I, I, his land certainly doesn't look good enough to just do like blank honor sim on. He has to kill someone, right? He does have the honor henge going on though. Yeah, the honor henge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did get team speak. Um, yeah. I've never really used it. Yeah, here I'll. One sec.
though. I guess we could you just like make another call. <laughs> yeah, we could. Either way. Yeah. Anyway, Hawks teching rating now. I I just don't understand this. This is the sort of play like this almost looks like trad, right? Like. I don't know what it looks like, but your cities are far away. Like, your two left cities are not helpful um, towards, like, more purposes early. Is this some sort of defensive honor where you just don't do anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, being like, to lose it. Kill this 2CS, be at 7 city, and just see what happens. Maybe. Uh, sports just PM'd me. Finish trad, turn 45. Yeah, you told me that too. That, like, that's so fast. That's and, insane. And like I said, nobody's going Oracle, and if he realizes that and like picks it up, he could have like a really fast whatever he wants, right? Yeah. Like maybe it is aesthetics here. I totally agree with Kuba. By the way, Kuba's saying he's pretending to be trad with honor policies. Yeah. Uh, he the, the honor. What honor did for him this game was it got him barracks overflow. It got him some more workers to multi steal, and it's uh, it got him some tributes. And yeah. the, the benefits of trad are over that are a lot better. Yeah, just fast aqueducts is pretty nice. Yeah, that alone. And you can see his culture is pretty low. Um, out of one sixty, like is. Yeah. So like he's getting what honor four and <laughs> forty seven eight. He needs to find some camps to farm. Yeah, the no camps to farm. It was stealing just stealing off CS. It. I don't understand how he's top demos. I guess. I mean, he's not working any food. Like, look at his cap. Look at Machu. Like, yeah. These, these cities are not growing. They're just building wonders. It's gonna be interesting to see what he does. I, I think it has to be, like, if you kill anyone here, I, I think it has to be sports. I think it has to be Japan. Yeah, you could be right there. But, like, also, like, sports knows that, hey, I have an honor player. He's the only one next to me. Uh, we're really far away. Let me just put a unit in between us. Let's look at and... Lawson. Oh, there goes the barb camp. So no farming for the hawk. Very sad. And he's getting pyramid next turn. That's nice. What could Glosson possibly take here? It looks like Bucket's just not having a good sim game. I, I, he, all his cities are still at one pop. I... Yeah, it has to be Messenger from Glosson with mids. Even It feels too late even for Craftsman. Yeah. I, I do think Glosson can make a push into Poland here. The question is, right, you push into Poland, and then you're sitting in these one-pop cities, and you're like 15 to 30 turns from Honor 2. You don't even have, like, Lib finished. If you take them early enough, uh, you know, you don't need the courthouse policy. Yeah, but you're just on a lot of cities. Which is fine as Liberty, right? He has the whole middle of the map. We can ignore Piety Boy, and then we just have to worry about Arbius or Hawks. I agree. Yeah, I, I like what Kuba's saying. I think maybe you just go for Arv, right? Bucket has already like kind of settled himself into here. <laughs> and Arv is yeah. one of those players you just can't leave on your border. I like I like that train of thought too. The North players do seem pretty ear this game. Besides sports. Yeah. I mean, I, I really love sports game has been my favorite to watch so far. He's got great culture, he's pretty isolated. There's nothing to complain about. We'll just see what he does, you know. Yeah. I think the Colossus rush was a little strange for me. I would have loved to see him just go straight to Oracle. Well, what are you oracling into then? Because he just did forty five Tried I would I would go aesthetics here. Like I see myself in this corner. Mm -hmm. Like imagine opening aesthetics turn forty five too. Like you know we're doing we're gonna do some crazy stuff this game. Aesthetics is such a zero hammer tree. It is, but like I'm again I'm isolated and 
I'll, I'll have rationalism finish but turn before turn 100 if like this is the way it's going. You don't need Oracle as Japan though. I agree. So just like, it just accelerates how fast you finish. We're winning more. Yeah, we're totally experiencing the Hawks phenomenon where it's like, why is his game this good, right? There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason for him to be top demos here. There's two Liberty players. There's Denzel is having a strong game. Uh, Japan is having a strong game, right? Go, and every time see. Hawks clicks F9, he sees all the ones. <laughs> it looks like uh, Sue has top hammers now, though. Oh. Which, again, I, I don't think is a good sign for, for Hawks because he's hammering down pretty hard. We'll see. Do you just click on another one here? So Hawks and um, Glosson are now fighting over Mazo. I think Hawks is getting it, right? Yeah, Hawks is getting it. Glosson's going to lose that Mazo. Hmm. Well, he started pretty late. Yeah. Does he Does he not see the one that Hawks is making? I don't think he does. I, or he didn't scout it properly if he did see it. Yeah, just bad scouting, I guess. He needs to go look at more of his land. I mean, what are his units doing right now? Hawks? Or Glosson? Glosson. Glosson's just chilling. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Glosson just has the the confidence of a, a player who already knows he's going to kill someone, so he's not worried about, you know, what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, but, like, you... I mean, he maybe he's not thinking about killing... Ox, he hasn't scouted any of that land to the left. He just hasn't scouted. Yeah, that could be true. He hasn't scouted anything anywhere. Which I was trying to say, like, what is that archer doing? It's an archer, archer scout. Like, please move it. Yeah. Go look around. <laughs> see what people are up to. He has no gold for upgrades. He... He's neg 13. That's actually, like, really bad to see. It's part of its olives. I, I think part of it is just... How he settled. Yeah. Too, so. I think we're seeing good land and just like indecisiveness from him on what he wanted to do and who he wanted to attack. In particular, this South City, this Itas Picho, so like. I think. Right? He, yeah. You can't do that. Especially, like, if you're, maybe if you settle, like, two more cities, and you're like, I'm just going to sim to space in the middle of the map, like, maybe you can do it then. <laughs> but it's so far. Oh, here we go. Hawks has an indecent proposal for her guy, Glossin. <laughs> Oh. Hawks is going for the coastal. Which again, like it, it's like rock in a hard place, right? Do I attack this guy who's clearly building units and has all these combat bonuses and a combat unit? Or do I just attack the guy who looks like he's free swimming? But like I I think if Denzel if sports had all right, we're we're just gonna we just hop into team speak. Here, me. Connected. User entered your channel. Channel switched. User joined your channel. Yeah. Alright. I mean, PM Alex as well. Let me hear. Oh, you're here? Great. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> um. User joined your channel. Did I do it? Hello? Yeah, you did it. What's up? Do I sound okay? Yeah, you're good. Everything's yeah, okay. Same. Everybody's PMing now. Oh, yeah? Excellent. Well, just let me know what screen you're looking at, and uh, yeah, I'll just switch over. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly focused on Hawks right now. I think um, 
So it looks like Hawks and Glossen have agreed to uh, to split up their targets. Hawks really does want to get rid of um, of Japan here. Um. Okay, so I try to avoid talking using the phrase "error" in these lobbies, but. If Gong's not here, I don't know what is. <laughs> I, I I don't even want to watch him anymore. Yeah, let's... Everything he's done has been very depressing. It makes me want to play a tournament game with him, though. Hmm. I think <laughs> I think this might be his last one. He's played a lot. Okay. Um. Yeah, man, I don't know. His pop is terrible. His science is bad. Uh, he's building galleys in multiple cities. He has to deal with his bar problem that he has for some reason. Like, what you didn't need to have. But here we are. Who's building galleys? Uh, Gong is. Gong. Oh. Yeah, just, <laughs> he's building two of them. But then, yeah, you don't have these hammers to spare as piety. And if he's you did, no, he clicked indulgences. Yeah, no, he, just, no he he's still thinking. Anything. He's still thinking, but... But like, oh please don't hit sect. I mean, look look at fucking Cebu. That is two pop city on turn forty six. Stagnate. Trying uh, to build a granary. Guys, look at the cargo number. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> to... looking at uh, anyone else. <laughs> sure. Let's look at Glosson. I, I I don't really like Glosson's spot here. He did not. He took the lib GA and he's still minus five. That's uh, horrific. He's top hammers, but all these archers are just going to have to stay pre-builds because he can't finish them and upgrade them. I think Hawks has an easier target here now. If uh, Arvius gets Petra up, it's going to be hard to kill him. I mean, Arv is just a hard guy to kill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. just... Combination but of multiple factors. Glossin is legitimately not in a position to kill someone right now. If, at least from where I sit. Also, yeah. I, don't, I don't think Hawks is either. Like, how does he attack sports? He's going to do it later, I assume, right? Like, it has to be, like, very late. Like, I, I don't think you can ever go to Expos here. Just, like, look at that. The area is just terrible. As soon as he starts attacking that CS, like, <laughs> Denzel just builds units. There's also the the coast just creeps down, right? Yeah, there's so a lot of tiles to get shot from. So you can't even hug that coast. So you actually just need to go towards like through the CS. It's also Japan with swordsmen. Sword. And and it's Japan, and they have a unique sword. Like, it, it's a know, long it's, sword. It's it's much farther. Than than expos. No, yeah. I mean, if you go straight steel, of course you get there faster than right. Like yeah, but I mean, there's I, no I way he's going straight then... steel. Sure, but like you go metal, and then you see someone attacking CS under you, just click on it, right? If Denzel uh, Sports got Colossus, so he has money. Yeah, um, yeah. He'll be able to upgrade, and <laughs> if anything, Sports can kill Hawks here. <laughs> that's that's like, the other push I would never want to do, right? I, I would never want to push into this, like, you know, Inca top demos honor guy. It's just not worth it. You don't think he kills the CS? You think he just roads right up there? Yeah, yeah but like again, how, how? As soon as you see a worker over that river, I'm building units. And and Japan does have that warrior there. Yeah, exactly. Like that's that's exactly what he needs. I mean, I'd probably even put it on the freaking border, just two 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 tiles south, mm. and be like, "Let me see what you're doing." Um. He could just take CS too. He could take Ormus. Cape yeah, Town. I think I think you have to go for Ormus first to really open up the land. But again, it, it's pretty obvious what what he's doing. Denzel just goes uh, to Longswords, builds a couple, and then continues back to his free sim. I think Longswords and Forts would be disgusting to try to push. Yeah, the, the Samurais would just shit on the expos. I think. Yeah, Magris made the comment. Hawks is feeding Gloss into Arv. It looks like that to me. I. Yeah, maybe you let that happen and and then just attack Gloss when he's <laughs> out of units, <laughs> which he's gonna be. Like, <laughs> I, 
he's just hard building his comps. He's got like a seven turn comp in Chongju. Like, this is not looking very pro. I didn't know that Hawks was so skilled in the art of new whispering. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he, maybe he just learned it from Glosson. Yeah, this is Giga Air War Miota. I completely agree. Like, Damascus, maybe you can take because it's so impossible to reinforce. But the Petra Cap with the those hills over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, Den Who's... Sports has uh, that, that natural wonder. Like, oh, yeah. Hilly. Yeah, yeah. His units are going to be pretty good. <laughs> Does he have hills to put units on? You would assume so there's some up there, right? Yeah. I mean, against Inca, that's not really. That's just putting them on a, a level playing field. <laughs> And as you can see, Sports is very paranoid. Literally sees a Spearman. And is already asking questions. Yeah, Arvis is just going to be vomiting out pikes <laughs> when Glasson comes. Like, I really truly believe that Glasson's play was to always kill Hawks here. Well, the thing about killing Hawks is he's playing Honor. Like, he's clearly building up to kill someone. Do you really want to exactly. go into that? I think I do. I see him place five cities down, and, you know, I'm six city liberty. I just know I was faster. I have a combat bonus. I want to go at comps where Hawks wants to wait to expos. Yeah, but I, I don't. Like, I just don't think Glossen's game looks strong. Right? Oh, um, yeah. I don't think it does anymore, but I think it was fast. Yeah, I think, I think that his again, timing on, on Hawks was actually like five. If he'd gone to like five city chariots, like. Yeah, like, and I also think like he could have changed the way he settled. And like, you just settle on that horse right there. Yeah. Touching incense. And like. Uh, like, that's my first settle. I think Lawson's settles have been. A lot of it comes down to like not taking calendar fast enough. Uh, I think and yeah. that and like you could just tell he was so indecisive. All the cities are in a straight line. Mm -hmm. He didn't know which way he wanted to go. One of the things that I think is reasonable to think about when you're attacking coast, right, is a lot of times people are aligned sort of along the coast, and when you're hitting them, you're hitting perpendicular to their line, right? And that's when it's most useful because you can apply force everywhere, and they don't really have somewhere to retreat or to push out from. Uh. And Glosson has set himself up like that without any coast, right? If if Arv would like to come into him, he can come in from a lot of places. If Hawks would like to come in, he can come in from a lot of places. There's very good unit economy, tile economy. Yeah, I don't like what Glosson chose to do with his land. Would no, you ever really play like Trad him. here? As Hawks? As, as Glosson. Uh, sure. I mean, you know me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why am I asking you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd play Trout on any start, but let me go back to uh, his stream. Um, you're playing Sue, so like normally you look at planes and you're like, ah, no food. But here, like, you know, you've got the TPs. I mean, I have olives. I, I, I don't think I would have thought to play Liberty only because like. The tiles in his cap are pretty whatever. Oh, Chris, do you guys see that? He just w deleted his worker. To be fair, Glasson is kind of in a bad spot. I mean, there was like three players. But like, while that could be a bad spot, it could also be like a very uh, good spot in terms of like, hey, I have like three different targets. I sure, guess it's awesome. That opens them up to backstabbing, I feel like. Yeah, you'd, like we've seen from these games that, you know, you kill someone cleanly and efficiently. You get mm -hmm. teamed. Good. That's true, but like that's why you, you, you if you just go to I mean, Hawks, oh, who's gonna team you? Arv will totally well, do it. Yeah, Arv will do it. Like and, Arv, I mean, Poland. I guess. Assuming so. assuming Poland has a plan, like I, I would go Hussars in his situation. He, he's still on two pop cities. Like we were we were giving Gong a lot of shit, but. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Assuming, but yeah, <laughs> it's a big presumption. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. You're right. I don't. I don't like a lot of their sim. Even Arv is 
his capital's at nine pop. Really, with Petra? I mean, I guess you just you probably just got Petra. I mean, look at that oasis though; it's pretty sexy. Yeah, those oases. And maybe he just sees Glosson's land, and he's like, "Hey, look, two more oasis." <laughs> yeah. Our sim is amazing here. Only problem is the three city part. I'm I'm not gonna comment on that, Miota. Yeah, I wouldn't say Arvsim is amazing. He's got this expand oracle. He's just like throwing out there. I mean, if you get it, that's uh, it's pretty good. So if Glossin and Arvius or uh, Hawks just outright wins the game, right? <laughs> well, it depends on how his kill on, um, on sports is. Well, he didn't even have to go for him. He could just wait till Arvius to kill. Sports too. Yeah, I, I, think... I don't have a problem with the expand oracle. The expand oracle is great. I'm I'm just again, I'm just so used to like Hawks rushing that so hard, I'm I would never click that and then I'd never get it. It really depends how Hawks texts this game. If he's trying to go to Artie, he gotta be fast, because I think sports is gonna have a really fast game with the early tradition. Mm hmm Um And right now he's just headed towards metal. Which it looks like he'll get like, you know, fifty eight maybe. Well, he's not he's building ducts. That indicates he's going for something much later than Expo. Yeah. I think I think he just made the same assessment, like he can't expo there. But he did make that deal with Glosson, and he's sitting here on on he honor with no C S. He did make a deal, but he didn't say when. True. I think Hawks' original intention was to expo someone, but the circumstances didn't warrant it, so he kind of pivoted. If you haven't made this deal with Glossin, you just backstab Glossin so hard, right? Yeah, I think I think uh, Glossin put himself into this corner, and it's not going to work out for him. I'm not exactly hyped about Glossin's chances. So Glosson's unhappy. He's finishing Lib in two turns, and then he's playing to NG Terracotta, and he's gonna throw all those units at um Arvius and hope it works. You know, he might get the one city. Um, but you know the problem with losing a city on only three is it's you become pretty ear. Whether you can oh. stop the attack or not. Yeah. I don't I don't know what's behind that city, but it looks like a choke. <laughs> The lake? Yeah. yeah. No, I, does, I think this but... Arv terrain is really rough to attack into. I wouldn't want to be doing it. But again, maybe you just take the one city and you're like, hey, <laughs> I'm good. Mm. <laughs> and then the Petra oh. Hammers comes back at you. Yeah, you just engineer, is your engineering a city with that Terracotta? <laughs> hey, you're engineering a city. So. Well,. He wouldn't even go for the match because he would go straight for the cap if he if he I guess he is going. It looks he looks committed already. All right, yeah. sports is back on, so we can we can peek at him for a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, he's building Oracle. Do we know when Argus gets his Oracle? Arv's Oracle comes either next turn or in two, depending on how many micros. And it looks like he's microed it to next turn. Okay. Well, well it, it, so sports is gonna lose Oracle. I guess he doesn't see it. He's he's scouting for it, but he doesn't see it. Yeah. The expand oracle he... can't be scouted. Yeah, I don't think he expects that. So that sucks. Uh, but not a big deal. And he's, look at that, plus thirty-five gold. That's good. That's good. I think his. Oh, look at Satsuma. Satsuma picked up some extra tiles. Oh yeah, it did. It does that. The uh, island up there looks good. I mean, look at that atoll though. Disgusting. Yeah. You know he's sitting at fifty culture, which is pretty pretty high. That's he's about to open his second policy tree. Yeah, without Oracle. That's what I was saying. Like, imagine if he just went for this shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, he did lose it, um, but it looks like he didn't lose the hammers on it. So oh, I wanna, good. I wanna go look at Glossin because apparently Glossin's about to go in. Oh. Uh, Denzel opened or Sports opened aesthetics. Really? Yeah. No. Oh no, the suicide tree. He clicked the suicide tree. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I really like aesthetics here. I do too. Again, I don't think you have to be worried about hawks, in my opinion, until Artie. And if you're having a really fast game, 
I think it's fine, but we'll see. What does Clausen have? So I see three comps, two chariots, a catap four comps, two chariots, a catapult, an archer, spawning some spears. Guys, this doesn't seem like enough to me. And he's unhappy, he's gonna lose a deal, he's gonna lose hammers off of his golden age ending. That incense isn't improved. It just doesn't look good. I mean, I, I kind of wish yeah. he had five cities. Yeah, I, I think this plays right on five, but as soon as you start thinking that, right, you think, like, I don't know, why wouldn't you just go trad? Yeah, exactly. Well, you're in the middle of the map. Um, yeah. So you want you kind of want to be proactive mm -hmm. in the sense. Yeah, um, I don't think I don't think Arv dies here. I think Arv loses Damascus, right? And then he just completely holds. Yeah, I forgot Palmera, uh, as Mueller brought up, has a unique unit too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think if you're Glossin, you do kind of have to kill Arv, because he will go for you after. But I don't think this is like a winning play. Oh my god. They're... Okay, is he going like Aqueduct Shop Expo? Is that what Hawks is doing? Maybe he plans to take the CS and kill Poland. Hmm. I mean, he, he said he agreed to go into sports. He never said win, though. <laughs> True. Did, did, did Hawk say he was going into sports for sure? He said, just... I will deal with the Commerce Auto Monster. Yeah, the soon-to-be Commerce Auto Monster, yeah. even though he's not Commerce. <laughs> I thought he was... I thought Glosson said that about Arvius. No, it was that was Hawks about... Oh, he's Engineering Terracotta in Ogloa. That's... That's interesting, because I don't think he's going to play Commerce Auto. <laughs> <laughs> Wait... Arv is trad piety, Kuba? Or is he just piety? That's even worse. I like trad piety on 3-city um, with Oracle. It lets you get the Grand Temple policy pretty early if you have a lot of culture. Okay, that that's the only tree he could have clicked that would have gotten him killed here. Yes, and it, and, and it does offer complete glass cannon yeah. mentality. So. <laughs> Arv is building Arv is building Huey in Damascus. <laughs> okay. And, and I hope he finishes it. He's not going to finish it. Glossin is going to finish Terra next turn. And Arv will oh, yeah. immediately switch to all units. It's just... Man, the science this game is slow from people. I think Aesthetic, I think aesthetic helps way more than, than Piety and Miota. Like They're both like really hard scaling, right? But Aesthetics will get him to finish Ratio. Whereas Piety doesn't help with that at all. You oh. think for... You're talking about Arvius? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, the the benefit of piety is that you don't need as many culture points into it. Like, you can just put a two or three in there. Mm -hmm. So you save a couple policies, and then when you start going into rationalism, you can be like, hey, do I want to go ratio, or do I want to go, like, auto here? Hmm. And I think, uh, like, in terms of, like, it helps with culture bulbs. It makes them cheaper. Yeah. For aesthetics, obviously, will get you all the culture you need, just not right away. All right. Oh, Glosson's got the EUI telling him he's only got six comps and two chariots. Yeah, this, this feels like an air slam to me, but let's see it. But like, so also, like, if he gets his... Oh, Terracotta. Oh, he got outplayed. <laughs> Completely tuned so up. So I've actually never played Sue, but how strong are these combos really? Are they? Uh, they're busted. They're, they're busted, especially in planes. In planes, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so he needs to uh, road that hill. Um, I don't know if he put a worker in position for that. It looks like he just moved it out of the way. Cool, 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 cool. This actually might have. A so that's a that's a little bit of a fuck up. I also would uh, immediately try to start going on some tiles. Yeah, just oh, claim wow. some tiles. Arvis is still at archery tech. Really? He's building an archer in his cap right now. Oh, wait, does that mean, does he have upgrade gold? If he actually has upgrade gold, then... He has 250, making 27 uh, per turn right now. So yeah, he has, he has gold. All right. Actually, yeah, it's better that he has archers, actually. Yes, but it also means he's far away from yeah. actual units to help him. Well, against again, comps, like, comps are actual units. And he's got the ridiculous go. horsemen. Yeah, comps are yeah. good enough. So that's true. Like, he does have really good horsemen. He just needs to have... all these tiles. Um, he needs to think. 
the, the first chariot movement was a little ints because sure I killed a scout, but it prevents units from moving in. Yeah, I mean so, Glossin is just under roading, right? Yes, and you should have you should have a worker where his spearman is. Because this city needs to drop in like two turns. Like this is the tempo you need for the war. So Arv actually has zero army right now. Well, besides two archers. And now he's moving comps off his roads. Um, it looks like he's assuming he's getting the city for free and starting to head towards the cap. No. I mean, if he controlled the tiles in front of it, he could do that, I think. But I know, he... but look how, look how he's, all his units are going. Yeah. He's still got stuff to the left, right, from Terra in Izanyathi that he needs to move in. Yeah, let's see if he moves that comp. He could just forget about it. It looks like he has forgot about it. Arv has six comps next turn. Like, I, I'll bet uh, 20 bucks that Glosson does not move his comp on the hill. Okay, there's only 10 seconds left. I probably would have taken it if there were, like... Look, he's just... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he all right. It, guys. Should have bet. Honestly, like, two pikes can hold that city. <laughs> Oh, 100%. But the problem is, is he doesn't have it. He just needs to hold the tiles. He's going to go for pillage here. Uh, I would just go for swap. What? He didn't... That's not what I chose to first move. That's really odd. I mean, catapults kill cities fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would have went for the catapult as well. Oh. oh. Like I said, uh... like, this city seems super dead. Oh, wow. Those compos are strong. They're very strong. And again, I, I think he's assuming he gets the city. But, like, uh, yeah, he, he does have to fight against these horsemen. No, I, okay, I, I, I like pillaging with that chariot, actually. I, I changed my mind. Um, yeah, I would pillage the roads. And here comes the pike. So he needs to sneak in. I mean, this is pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Sneak in a catapult there. So why no TPs? Did he skip trapping? Um, no, he just he, he went there before TPs. calendar. He just isn't doing him. He also should be wrapping down his stuff south. Well, that, are those all mountains? Yeah, that's actually a really difficult thing to push. Did he it finish is. Liberty? He oh, finished Liberty. Take... So he finished Liberty. He got the Terra Engineer. Uh, yeah. I guess that works. I would have taken General and then built Terra. Yeah, this this war um. Definitely seems gear because you take the city and then what? Well, hopefully you like kind of wrap around and then both sides you can push into Arv's cap, but I just don't see that happening right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the city falls and the cap holds. Yeah. I actually um I might change my thoughts about that city falling, so we'll see. <laughs> you think uh you think Arv can yeah. hold it? Is he building a wall? With a wall I think he might actually like, yep. like he has a wall, he has a pikeman coming up. Uh, it looks like his city, because it's at such high strength, mm. can actually just one shot the catapult. And he has first move. Mm. Um, he has horsemen. Like, look at the horseman slam on that spear. That was very strong. Yeah, like that. That is that is too strong. Um, and the problem is, is I don't see uh, Glossin with the horsemen. So even when he gets a city load, is he gonna have a capture unit? A lot of good questions being raised here. Yeah, yeah, the, the army's already thinning out. <laughs> I mean, these are just uh, difficult chokes to push. I don't know about this. It's like, it, everything just needed to be a little bit faster. His spearman needed to be on that tile as soon as the war started. Okay, we're going to see that spearman get obliterated, I assume. Yeah. He's not even trying to first move. I mean, what does he want to first move? Does he want to, like, first move fortify? Like... Well, I would have at least shot that unit, or the chariot that was on that hill. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't know. That doesn't like, seem like look, that it's just, that's just not enough health. Honestly, I feel like in Mesa I mean, is a more takeable city. city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that... that maybe but could, if you yeah. can't... If you get the drop on someone with the, the unique comp, right? And you, you get, like, Terracotta, like, on his borders and he has zero units, so you can't kill that city... I don't know if I am that much more optimistic about taking another one. Yeah, I mean, again, the problem is, is I don't think it's that unit. Hawks is a shot. The, the problem is, is he didn't road uh, correctly, mm. so he couldn't get a spearman down to that tile right away. Mm -hmm. 
and then he his chariot shot that scout right away and uh, prevented like half his units from moving up. So according to uh, Jazz, Hawks is still crossbow <laughs> attacking uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I'll I'll look at that real fast and see if what he's doing. But I mean it's ear. I mean he's built he's he's taking metal right now. So if it is happening, it's gonna be in ten turns. Well, the thing about lobbies like this, right, is if you're guaranteed your kill, right, you're allowed to like super grind it oh yep and gloss and spear just melted um, yeah he was looking at it deals. um okay so we just really need a horse to come out from somewhere i don't even know if he has enough uh to take that city down if he's I, I really just building a wall he's really trying to make a happy deal oh wall comes up in two turns yeah that city's i don't think that city's gonna fall Oh my god. And Glossin he just sacrificed a chariot. I think Glossin's like... fun may already be over. So Glossin, I think he already has two wins, right? Maybe he just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah, that's his intention, just to prevent Arvius from entering the tournament. You know what? That's actually great game theory. <laughs> that's the yeah, first good decision. Yeah, play every game that and then air slam him. Yeah. He does have four shots here. Um, I really no, but... wish he put a compo instead of the warrior on the on the tile. No, did he just swap his warrior with the catapult? You tell me he didn't do that. Oh, does he? Because he knows he has first move. That's that's still int, I think. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the MVP of this game is the new whispering. <laughs> the, the hawk's new whisper. We we weren't ready. Okay, Glossom got one of the horses because it stood on a. Fucking, uh, on an oasis. Yeah, Gloss and yeah. stuff in front of Damascus is just melting. Like, like this is yeah. <laughs> it's he kind of needed. He needed to take the city, like I said, in two turns. And now that he has, and I think the war is over. Well, he's kind of opening up a front here, but now everything comes. This is a lot better terrain to push into Arv's cap or into a Mesa, but Arv has got a lot of time to stabilize, right? And Lawson's already lost like six units. Yeah, it's unacceptable. And he's killed a horseman and a scout. Yeah. And like there, he just sacrificed his spear. Like he didn't need to hold that tile right now because he's not going in. Mm -hmm. I think Arvius might still be relevant after this too. Horror upon horrors. Let's see. Wait, why would you not improve the instance? You're unhappy. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. He's this... widening the front with, uni with units that he doesn't have. <laughs> yeah, and Hawks' is top demos. Which uh, makes sense. Let's just, let's just go look at Hawks. I don't... I, I mean, <laughs> Poland should probably be a little bit higher, but... Uh, you know, Aesthetics Japan should probably not be top hammers. Alright. Hawks queuing Expo without horses. It's got comps in most cities. He's just... His machinery is just not fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not... It, it's not supposed to be fast, right? It, this is Shop Expo on Honor. You don't do it because you like expect to like roll up and completely surprise them. You do it because you're gonna you're expecting to outgrind them. Yes, which could happen, but also could be terrible against samurai. I, I think it's just. It's I don't just think there's any a, way Denzel sniffs this out so hard that he goes samurai. As soon as you see someone get guilds, um, you you know it's hawks. In my opinion. You could, it could be these war guys who are like fighting that could be either of them could be going guilds. Yeah, I guess it's uh, the benefit of scouting people's lands, right? Yeah, like imagine if uh, sports had like a scout just in the middle of Hawk's land. Yeah, like it doesn't hurt to do that. Look at Glossin's done, everything's melted, everything's gone. <laughs> like I said, I, I that city has 26 strength, 
it is uh, not falling. There should be a piece. I don't think he had the right army for this. <laughs> and like I said, the, the, spear, the, 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 the spear just needed to be on that tile um, next to the city a turn before. That way he could move another spear on that tile and another spear down. <laughs> yeah, Glossin just deleted all of his units. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what it looked like. <laughs> oh, God. I, know, I, looked at, I looked. How is he not piecing? He's, he's going to keep still writing. writing forward. Oh, God. He's gonna he's die. He's opening the southern front now. <laughs> I th I think, like, what is, what is he doing? Why are you shooting an archer? This, oh no. This is just over. I don't like. This is so bad that our might even recover from this. <laughs> well, like, just go kill. Just use the use this army you built and just go kill him. Yeah. Oh uh, look, he got shoved. These horses are so good against the Sioux unit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this was not the right target, in my opinion. I, I don't even know if it was about the target. He didn't have enough stuff, and then he couldn't apply all the stuff that he did have. Yep. Yeah. Right. But yeah, even knowing that he has that unique unit alone, I feel like that would have been enough of a deterrence. Well, you see the choke. You know he has a unique yeah. horseman. He didn't which scout. Means, yeah. He, does, he which... didn't see the choke because he didn't scout. Oh, I see. Yeah, but but also means he can he can um, cycle units in a choke. Yeah, which is terrifying. And these are all oasis tiles, which means if you're gonna stand on these fucking oasis, you're gonna get shredded. No combat bonuses. Mm -hmm. Don't they even debuff? Yeah, oases are are uh, they're worse than floodplains for standing yeah. on. And then, like, you see him starting about us. Oh, look, I should have rode it down here and wrapped around. And if you had all these roads set up and you flood that city in two turns, you take it, and I think you have Yeah, but time. even if you take it, like, look, Glossin's stuff is just dead. It's it's dead because he's fighting over tiles that he shouldn't be fighting over, and he's spread out all of his units. Oh, God. Yeah, Glossin and... I think Glossin's dead. I don't even think this is like an air war situation. I think. Yeah, even though yeah, it might have started in Arvis's borders, but it's finishing in Glossen's cap. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I'm sure Arv is really regretting not clicking on her. It's a lot of free culture. All right. <laughs> yeah, and if you're Arv, and... you don't peace here. And keep... Hawks is not even building units and teching guilds. He is building no, he, workshops he has... and markets. He had some comps somewhere, I'm sure. He has a couple comps, yeah. He hit his natural somehow. But a turn 63 guilds is... We'll see. <laughs> Shoves the comps off the caravan. <laughs> yeah. Like, I probably wouldn't attack Arv in this situation ever, but if you're going to do it, you, you should have a lot more stuff than than this. And, like, if you're going to attack with comps, don't do it in the 50s. You don't, you think 50s is too late? You want it, like, 45? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want it, I want it in 40s, for sure. Hmm. I don't wait for Terracotta. I, uh, I just go. Yeah. Like, like he, he told us or he told Hawks, right? I'm comping someone. And he said that, like, turn five. Oh, yeah, he did say that. Yeah. And if you have, and if you come in with that mentality that, hey, I'm going to go comp some matter what, like, I think six cities was too many. And I think he didn't build units fast enough. It's not yeah, how he felt forced into it. Like, this is what he wanted to do. <laughs> he also, he also could have just went for Poland. Yeah, yeah Poland is the, the snack. Yeah, like I like I like attacking Poland here because you just see that he simmed a little slow and that he had a bunch of one pop cities because he had bar problems. Mio, but, this is why the Inca. I, I don't know. It's kind of risky too. But again, I really like attacking Hawks because as a five city honor player who didn't kill any CS means they don't True. have a standing army. 
and they're like slow. They're slow. They're gonna be slower than everything you do because you got a free. Actually, yeah. Seller. And he's like surrounded by plane styles. Like hawks. Exactly and it's all what flat. He wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it's so easy to attack them. And imagine you just settle on the horse tile. Um, and then you can still settle that south city, and you just take all his space. I mean, also, you guys wasn't were in a round attack. for the round of like hawks PTSD we all endured, which is that we've all had our shit so thoroughly kicked in by hawks that. It's a, it's a nightmare to think yes. about fighting him. But it is, like, it's mostly his sim. It's not his war play. It's that his sim is good and that he has really good, in, like, um, intuition on, like, hey, I'm going to get hit here. Let's prepare. Mm -hmm. And he just knows what tiles to hold. But, like, there's there's nothing to hold here when it's just open, flat, planes. Yeah. Like Hawks needs to make it to Expos to be to be strong, and looks like he did. Looks like Blossom is building ducts. They, there's no way they pieced, right? Oh, looks like looks like he pieced is... with Arv. Okay, is 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 Hawks roading to Cape Town? He is, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. You know, it'd be awesome to see is uh, a plant on that cattle. You know, I. <laughs> Why? Why not buy some boats? Jazz, there's no way he does turn 65 expo here. It's not like... It's not even 65, man. It's 67. Mm. Ox always like second guilds, by the way. So this doesn't uh, say that he's going in expos. It says that he wants to build Machu. Does he even have a city that can build Machu? Yeah, his capital, I'm pretty sure. Right? No? I don't think so. Let's 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 let him hover over it a bit more. I thought his cap had the mountain. Didn't we talk about that early on? The, the it's uh, I was thinking about the terrace farms, but I thought they were Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he still has a mountain the first ring. Yeah. All right. Yep. That'll do it. And you know, he is overflowing this comp from temple. Yeah. Um You Huh. Workshops into expos and aqueducts. Well, I mean, if you're your sim is fast, he's... and you're expecting a grindy war. Yeah. I guess he's expecting to outhammer Japan here. Which he is, because he's top hammers on five city honor. And, and also Inca. golden, though. Yeah, that's true. It's depending on how far back this setback Glossin and Arv, if you do get a clean kill on sports here, it's very hard to deal with you. If you kill sports for free, uh, Hawks is definitely winning the game. Yeah. He's not, out, he's not really teamable here, right? Turns out Gong Show pulls out the win. <laughs> there's there's no teaming to happen besides, like, really shit Poland, like, coming through CS team shit. But, like, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, there's a but lot yeah, of oh, maybe, maybe he's not attacking sports. Maybe he's just taking he's CS. He's 100% attacking. You, you take CS with Trebs if you're... Oh. Yeah, he might I embark think, and then honestly, you should just go cut. kill Glossom. I I'm heavily against embarking in this situation. I would rather like throw a worker in and pontoon than embark. What do you guys think about him just attacking Glossom? Why would you attack Glossom? Glossom's here. Yeah, exactly. Just just take his cities. Sports is the actual threat, right? Well, I think Hawk still believes that uh, Japan's commerce too. Yeah, you, you have to get rid of commerce. Those are the rules. Yeah. Six turns. 69 expo. Right? It's so slow. No, it's not at all slow for after shops. For after shops, this is like fast. Okay, fine. It's it's a little slow. Trust me, I only go expos after shops. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty fast for after workshops, though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't agree. He didn't skip workshops. He he built all his workshops and he built all his aqueducts. And it's not like insanely fast, but it's not. It's it's like decent. Yeah. Actually, it's 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 pretty fast. Six turns. Really? It's probably faster. Well, well then like, I guess I guess I get a faster every game. I I was assuming that it was slow because. So without workshops, it was like sixties early, right? Because I've gotten it like sixty-five of uh, like multiple times, just going. Trad. We were playing trad With... though. I guess playing uh, trad. Yeah, yeah, I assume you got Oracle on these builds because you can't do tech that fast without it. 
Uh, I just I just build my NC man like really early. It's an early NC builder. I usually get it early fifties, if not the forties. Hmm. So maybe that's it. Are we back to the old school like filthy robot NC rush meta? I mean, I just really like Granary Library. Um, you guys remember when Weavy had that pantheon that gave uh, culture from libraries, and we kept clicking trad and building library first? Yeah, it was disgusting. It was yeah. terrible. It was very broken. Yeah. It did make trad playable, though. Which also just shows you how strong Oracle is, right? Like, yeah. if that was broken... Then... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Oracle is so insane because an or Oracle is a free is a free policy that's as free as like your most expensive policy, right? It's not like, you know, it's not like oh, like get to the policy a turn sooner, right? It completely accelerates your game. What is Hawks doing right now, though? I wanna. He has his comps in front of Cape Town. He wrote it to Cape Town. Are you guys seeing this? Swartz, you, Swartz, who? Hawks, who, what? <laughs> Swartz, aren't you at guilds? Okay, so I think Spencer was right, uh, and um, and Swartz has sniffed it out. Swartz is aware that some, some like, EDC is going on. Like, you gotta be. It's a tournament game. You're next to one player. Yeah. He's honor. Like, I'm telling you, like... And and sports is used to defending. This man will literally tech samurai before school. I mean, even I, in normal <laughs> games, he'll tech fertilizer before school. <laughs> no, he does. He'll literally go all the way to cannons and then be like, "Might as well go fertilizer." <laughs> there we go. Look, see, I go see, steal. That's what I'm it's okay. All right. He does not want to deal with that. That's. I mean, he's in a position where like he probably wins if he doesn't die, right? Fox. like he yeah no. like i said maybe oh denzel yeah yeah denzel right denzel but really I, good I, culture it's important i also think hawks can kill all these things he can go kill cape town he can go kill bangkok he can go kill the cs right of bangkok known as glossa and... <laughs> god i keep looking at itazi picho itazi picho man that's a that's a sad city like and i think uh making denzel like scared and going steel is enough of an attack. Yeah. Uh, to slow his game down, right? Yeah. And then just just try to be proactive and take more cities. And he's not building Machi right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Kuba, Hawks is saving his monuments for order overflow. That's that's what's happening. I wouldn't not believe it. Has he built any of them? Apparently not. But I mean, his culture seems... 32 on five cities that's what like six per city you've got the garrison for two is it and the barracks, the barracks for one, one. Mm -hmm. no he's he's got to have some monuments up he might have a he has ormus what are they are they culture? Ormus is food ormus is food okay so he's on our five now too yeah and i guess he's killing cape town i, I don't know exactly what the purpose is killing Cape Town with expos. Sorry, was that commerce? Did anyone catch that? Oh, I think it's for upgrade gold and obviously uh, an honor city. No, I, I mean, catch it. Commerce, opening commerce just gives you merchant generation, right? No, um, I was answering uh, Spencer's question. Oh, yeah. Taking Cape yeah. Town. No, but like, why Cape Town? Like, why that CS? Like, why not Ormus? Why not Ormus Bangkok? Ormus is his friend right now. Yeah, and for Ormus like makes it too obvious returns. that he's going to attack sports. Well, well it's already obvious, is, is like my idea, right? Even if it's not obvious, sports is already completely willing to throw in. Like, yeah, like, like I'll go to Samurai, sure. And that's that's exactly what you want if you're not attacking him, and it's the opposite of what you want if you are. And honestly, Dorn Steel know. first really only delays your game by a couple turns, in my opinion. I mean, it's a snowball game. You delay your game by a couple of turns at first, and then, you know, 15 turns later, you're 15 turns behind. <laughs> I just not like... I don't know. I feel like you would get to factories two turns later if you went steel first. Uh, Yeah, I guess the value on Samurai has dropped a lot ever since the, um, the worker change for work votes. Yeah, that's true. Do they do they one turn them or make them faster? I still think they one turn them. 
Okay. It's probably only good in expo scenarios then. Yeah. But even even then, like. Even as Inca, I don't really want to attack into Kyoto. Like, it's pretty no, rough. Like, it looks awful. Nothing is chopped. Yeah. It would just take painfully long time to get there. <laughs> what, what was that game I had with you, Kubo, where I aired four players personally? This is this is what Hawks is doing. <laughs> That's pretty much what I did in my tournament game. Yeah. Um. Maybe we look at someone else. Like, yeah. the, Let, let's we, see we can look at the Gong. Yeah, let's look at Gong. <laughs> See what He's Gong is up Grand to. Temple. He's getting a turn seventy one Grand Temple. Did we did we see what he reformed with? If it was apostolic, this is um Yeah. Oh yeah, look at those stone tiles. Oh baby. I mean those are like ridiculous. Uh yeah, but the once he's at six pop. Once he converts his city, they're gonna go back to being just good. Okay, I want you to stop and realize it's turn sixty six. Okay, yeah, he has, all a, right. he, has a, he has a five pop city, a six pop city. <laughs> Eight and ten. That's growing in five turns. Does he even have aqueducts? Of course he doesn't have aqueducts. Okay. We're done watching the gong show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what Glosson is doing. I want to see whether Glosson actually has a play to get out of here, or if he is just... <laughs> now he knows what the TP does. Yeah. Oh, no. He's reading the unit that fucked him. <laughs> it wasn't just the unit that fucked him. Like. I mean, that, that shit did did like one shot his bows it's a medieval hussar pretty much he's comparing them yeah is he um he's still building units okay that that well, indicates he's probably gonna try to eat bucket then but he just he can't though like his I think look, look at his CS. cities no water mill oh no i honestly don't know how he recovers from this Maybe you don't. That that's what happened to me during my like first tournament game is I tried to comp someone. No, I tried to expo someone and I just never recovered. Yeah, me too. But I ended up coming in third. Yeah. Almost first. <laughs> I'm was, sure uh... Kuba is very happy to be reminded of that. I know. Yeah. I'm sure he is too. Yeah, reading is for people who don't build comps twenty five turns. <laughs> <laughs> And I like how Glosson pretty much made a deal with Hawks, right? And Glosson is also warning sports. Like, he doesn't want Hawks to run away at the game. He, he's, he's not like, hey. quite warning Hawks. He said... He said, for your information, I'm third in army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a big army, right? Like, he's like, hey, Denzel. I'm not ready. saying it's you, but it's probably you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plausible deniability... You know, I, I honestly, we, we probably should look back at Poland um, and assume they're not in a bad spot anymore. Uh, okay, turn 67, one happy, teching shops. Has civil? Uh, 80s science, so not crazy. Um, maybe he's worried about, I don't know. I don't know. Did Bucket get, Chich get Bucket get Chichen? These aqueducts are very slow. I think this is um, like if you look, he has Civil, right? So I think this was like Civil first, NG Chichen gameplay, which I kind of like. I'm a big fan of that. When I'm like simming on Lib, I almost always do that. Oh, he didn't engineer it though. He's just fucking building it. And he's Did... a prophet is sitting in his city that he does. Is he thinking about it? He's not thinking about it. He's spreading. With... He can't spread. He can't he spread. He doesn't have religion. Maybe uh. he's thinking about where he wants uh -oh. to put the prophet, though. Is he trying to found it in another city so it spreads easier? I, I don't know I mean, what, yeah. what's going on here, but I don't like it. Why wouldn't you engineer Chichen? Like... Is he going to make a tile? You're No, dude, don't. Don't you fuck. Oh. He's oh, not. he did. I know he's thinking about uh, it. He's definitely thinking no, about it. No, he's doing it. Why would you do it? I don't. Maybe because... he's stealing Brunei's religion. What was Brunei's religion? You must really like it. I'm not gonna get your rel if you use double. Oh yeah. Oh, he has he has stone circles tiles too. Wait, so he he's getting a religion off of Brunei, and he still took a profit off of Lib and didn't engineer Chichen, and now he's gonna lose Chichen. 
Did he take a profit? Is that just not natural faith? That's natural but faith. But then what do you take off lib? No idea. Did he even finish lib yet? What turn is it? 67? Wait, yeah, he, he has, has an, an engineer that he's not using? That's even worse. He has a, he has a manufactory. <laughs> oh god, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go look at the hawk, man. Okay. Let, let's just see what he's up to. Okay, he's got his expos. <laughs> he fl floored that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this no horseback from Hawks. His his anti stable obsession has gone too far. Kuba, that manufactory could be Chichen. I. <laughs> there are a lot of commerce players in this lobby right now. Yeah, commerce is like so safe, right? Commerce gives you so much flexibility when you're in the middle of backstabbing someone every fifteen turns. Ah. <sighs> Poland's commerce. Hawks is commerce. Okay, I'm actually what very is... interested to see what Hawks does now. I think he is doing some sort of embarkation. Maybe he saw that that hoi polloi game. If if sports doesn't have anything in the water, this can actually be devastating. Hmm. Alright, and now he's taking optics just to try to avoid stealing it. Alright. I just... I mean, he's chopping now. I mean, depending on where sports went, I... I guess you can probably grind out the samurai, but if sports actually, like, really called it and he just got like samurai and forts right now i don't like the chances on the other hand he just upgraded like five x when he still got 460 gold samurai assuming he has a dojo pretty much come with cover too I like yeah Denzel just told cover. me he just steal this turn so hmm. um yeah yeah it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. I still think Hawks has a chance. It... Really? Look at that lane. Oh, he has like... Great Wall, doesn't he? Hmm. Who has Great Wall? Sports. Uh, sport, uh, I see a Great Wall like uh, animation. I'm assuming he has it. If great he Wall can... doesn't do much. It, it does if you line up like galleys even behind the. Yeah, like the city. you just have you just have a couple ships. Um, I. I... Like, what is he? Is he really going to start moving shit? I mean, he rode it over the river, right? Like I said, as soon as you see the road over the river, like, yeah. see the attack is he, coming. He crossed the Rubicon. There we go. Yeah. The, like, you he's know showing happening. the expos. Uh, but, you know, again, this... This seems like it shouldn't work, but maybe his opinion is, like, he has to do it. That's generally my opinion about commerce. I think if he knew that sports were aesthetics... He might be less likely to do this. Yeah, he could just wait. I mean, what, what do you See? just throw? Dude, do you, he is embarking. Up... Yeah. yeah this... are, we up... are we upgrading all these comps in Cape Town? <gasps> no. You know what this is? This is the strat. The He's going to throw He's a pontoon embarking. in the water for free disembark. Yeah. That's it. If, if Denzel has a boat, though, this is very bad. Yeah, putting putting your stuff in the water against boats. Is it good? Are casters no. to be? I don't think Denzel, I don't think he's even aware of this possibility. Yeah. You know, but I, as soon as I see someone take Cape Town, I gotta be like, why is he warning me and attacking Cape Town? Yep. I mean, I would just, uh, if I were Denzel, I would just think, oh, he's taking a CS. Like, it's an honor city. Like, in these tournament games, you really have to think about every decision people make. Especially I mean, you, you, sometimes you player. think about it and you just say, hmm, that really was stupid, wasn't it? Yeah, but like, you're, you know, we assume that Hawks is the best player in the lobby. Um, I don't know, maybe Arbus is just as good, but... I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if Denzel can hold... Like, his other cities are so far from his cat. Think about but how we... much stuff he would need in the water to stop these expo in the water from being effective. I want to know if Denzel took Defender. 
I know he was debating it. He um, always takes defender. I've never seen him not take defender. I know. If he has defender and samurai and forts, I'm pretty sure those expos are going to do five damage. And Hawks yes. is going to be like, oh. Well, just kidding. Well, no, actually, so he he would have an armory for the uh, samurai too. So he would. No, there's no way you build armories here. Building armories is just wrong. I don't like, know. Oh, is, like he, it he is would just wrong. need one Besides samurai. Yeah, because because getting cover on your samurai. Like you get diminishing returns on double cover. I'd rather have another unit than like a hundred hammer armory. Yeah, I don't uh, think uh, Denzel it expects. It depends will... on the on the tiles they're fighting over. Yeah, I don't think Denzel expects a a gorilla attack here. All he needs to He's... do is really, like... I mean, Embarked Movement is kind of stupid right now, but all he needs to do is put a unit in the water to zock them while he... Does a unit in the water zock another unit in the water? Um, no, I mean a yes. boat in the water would zock it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure Denzel's just spamming Samurai. But Denzel was also super rich um, before, like, making, like, 50 gold a turn. So, we'll see. Maybe he had the money to buy an armory to buy boats. I mean, I also feel like this is a low-risk play, so like, it, even if Fox realizes he can't push him, he'll just immediately peace and go kill CS. Like, like and look at this, he's... Eight. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, Denzel's not going to push so back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is one of those lobbies where you can just kind of, like, get away with it, right? You know? Yeah, like, we'll what's he see. doing? He's delaying his uni timing if this fails, which is, like, fine. If, yeah. if Denzel can get people to break deals with Hawks. There's no way they break deals with Hawks, though. Oh, why not? Because nobody, like, I, I guess he's been top down his all game. Like, ideally, you want two people who are warring to just, uh -oh. like, uh, have both a bad time. Right? Oh, still has swordsmen. So he has swordsmen. There but are, there I only see one. Made. Oh, there's a samurai. Okay, so if you have samurai and you have Galeas behind, like, you're not killable at Expo, right? You think he has Galeas? Well, okay, I don't think he has Galeas. <laughs> like I said, like, we'll see how, how... I don't think he's at Compass yet, but he, I think he could be. I want to see how much damage these con or Expos do to that samurai. Yeah. And now just... Hawks is... Did he just get declared on? Oh, yeah. Right, Denzel. So... so he's unhappy. I mean, if you're Denzel here, what you do is you're just making, like, you're spamming every hammer you have into uh, into making samurai, and then when these expos show up off the coast, you're like, Christ, why did, how is this even a thing? I mean, but the thing is, you can see them. As soon as he puts them in the water, Denzel will see all of them. <laughs> Denzel's like, are you going to declare? Yeah. Well, what's going on here? Are we, are we doing this or what? <laughs> yeah, we're, going, we're going into physics. Yeah, because he wants Nosa. Because <laughs> what Hawks expects right now is he expects to be teamed by the whole lobby. Well, I mean, he weakened Glosson enough where now he's not a threat right now. Yeah. At least for the time being. I wonder if he's going to... So that Swordsman is not forded nor upgraded. So I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I'm kind of curious like, about that too. We we He said he got steel on 66. There's no way he doesn't have gold either. Yeah, and, okay, we've got Japan. three samurai and forts, right? I... Okay, yeah, that's... that's. Those are upgrades, though, holds. right? So they don't have cover, so they're not actually swapping. Oh, uh, Hong right. Kong zocking. That's a turn, maybe? Okay, that's... But now he sees all these units here. He's yeah. got to think. Hey, oh, right, right, yeah, he has vision now. Yeah, hey, like, okay, maybe I want some boats. Well, like, you uh, got to split, though, boats. right? You that's need lot, samurai to units, swap. Though. You need a lot of these guys so that you can swap, but you also need boats now. Like, these hammers are getting split really hard. Alright, let's see. These are okay. Well, those, this oh. was the not forded turn. It's, yeah. I mean, you're five shotting and these guys. And cover. He, he literally just needs one samurai with double cover out there. Maybe Hawks two. is not really putting that many expo here. The ability to just walk on hills, though, right? Yeah. Shoot, very strong. Inca is one of those bullshit civs that's been bullshit for so long that like people are just like, I guess that's okay. Yeah, let's see. Maybe he's just dead. Maybe uh, Hawks thought of the way to do it. And if he gets those yeah. expos on on those tiles, it will I think be he overwhelms him. He overwhelms him here. 
33 defense, though, is very high. Yeah, but again, if you're surrounded by Expo and all your units are killed, that's not... You're not True. getting out of that alive. I'll be I'll be sad if Denzel dies here only because like he saw it coming. I mean that's he just got outplayed. If if it were yeah, like I think someone said it earlier, but Denzel, all Denzel really had to do this game was survive, and he would probably win. Yeah. Now that that samurai so low, I probably move it out. No, he just upgraded uh, that, so he has to like swap with first move. The the good thing about fighting Hawks is that he never has first move because his laptop is so terrible that he just doesn't like make it to turn transition. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. So we're so he's gonna try to land those expos, and they're gonna be so hard to. Dislodge. I just wonder what Denzel was building because he he really didn't have anything to greet. And we know Denzel has a sword. Where'd he put it? Like, how do you not? No, put he it upgraded on that... that sword into a oh a samurai. Yeah, he put it on the hill. If Denzel only has these three units, it's it's pretty doomed. Let's see. Are those forts finished? Yeah, those forts are finished. If he fortifies, he could. Yep, he's just only got those. This is doomed. Okay, GG. And he gets this. <laughs> this yes. Yeah, this is very doomed. So. He just didn't build units. I guess he thought it wasn't going to happen. I mean, you you think, oh, I'll just defend this front with the samurai, right? But you, you would need... If he has eight samurai here, he's fine. You think? Um, I don't yeah. know. Uh, no, he would definitely hold if they, the samurai were promoted. Oh my god, did you see that? That samurai just got oh, wiped out. In the fort. Actually, Hawks probably has... a. Uh... Rough terrain or crossbows too. Yeah, he he has some Toa crossbows as well. I feel yeah. Then they saw it coming too. I don't know. I don't know what he was. Built. He's probably building unis. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is like so painful to watch. Like I think another thing is is um. All those tiles were jungle in between Denzel and Hawks, and like imagine if you had those samurai like in the middle of the jungle. Like you can't shoot over the jungle, you don't get shot at by five bows, right? Yeah. Like uh, a really important thing about war is delaying someone from entering where they want to go, mm. and Hawks just got to go exactly where he wanted to go. He got to free road all the way there. Mm -hmm. It's a relatively late expo attack too. I don't know. It is, but it, there are no units. That's what I'm saying. Like, Denzel could have been ready. More so than this. Yeah, but, but like, we'll I mean, see. how many samurai are you really going to build? Like. Well, I, I, I mean, I know I'm getting attacked here, right? Yeah. I build a swordsman out of every city for two turns. I upgrade them all, and I probably start building some comps. Do you know you're getting attacked, though? Yeah. He, he asked. He saw Hawks building Machu. <laughs> like yeah. we we saw we saw Machu. We we knew he went guilds. We know that we're his only target. Yeah. Um. Even if he didn't see it till turn like you know in the sixties, like he had enough time. And like you can kind of see like this army is around what Blossom used, but this is just being used way more efficiently. Yeah, smooth. He had a scout on the river uh, separating them. So yeah, he saw right? Hawks cross the river and rode. Yeah, he just hit, yeah, he had the one warrior and he just didn't have enough vision. He needed a unit in between his cities. Yeah, and look at this. This is just like Inca crossbow shit. It's... Yeah, and now we're just we're getting behind him because Pillaging we just don't cheating. have the units. Yeah. We are 100% dead. It was a very good idea to uh, wrap around. It's the sort of thing that completely folds if if Denzel has like two boats, not even just to just to Zok, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh god, and there goes another samurai. Fortified in a fort. Um Oh man. A samurai gives twenty si twenty something science. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then we see like Denzel just doesn't have the units at all, like he can just move his expo freely into the city. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Like, and Denzel's holding these forts where he's getting, like, five times flanked. <laughs> yikes. Yeah. It's a really Here's yikes the boat. moment. The boat's a little bit late. This is Hawks' first uh, tournament game, isn't it? Yep, this is his first. He didn't even play in the last tournament. He had school. Is there one? Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Gong took Sect and did not realize that Sect is in the city. This... Oh my god, you can't make this stuff up. No, he's just trying to buff his neighbor, you know, yeah. to prevent. <laughs> he needs Bucket to be strong to defend from yeah, Glosson, yeah. who is far too strong. <laughs> now the uh, the honor player has the coastal <laughs> capital. We're going to see, yeah, this, this 34 strength cap is going to be really sad because it's going to take a long long time to die and Swords I don't will be able to do nothing will. about it yeah like look how many expos yeah like when it's filled on every tile yeah yeah the, the entire shape of the defense is just gone oh there comes the trireme <laughs> yep. a little late <laughs> look hawks is trying to first move with the spear yeah let's see we'll uh, probably resync? make the whole game resync yeah you tried too hard So what's up with Ting Speak? Why does it look like it was made in 1985? It was. Probably was. Okay. I kind, I kind of like its simplicity. Discord's a little too much. Really? I really like Discord. I mean, I've gotten used to it. When I first started, I was like... Just out, just oh, maybe there's just a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it looks pretty clean. The... Nope. Looks like Hawks did not get any of his first moves. Uh... I think that Spearman did something. It just didn't kill the unit. Or did it? I don't even I I can't see. Yeah, and look at now that the, the expos are sort of across the 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 bay here, um any I mean, attempt sports makes to like sort of stop this just gets gunned down by expo. So Yeah, so I'm, like if there were boats there. Oh sorry, you go ahead. I was gonna say so even if he had boats there, I mean Hawks could have just shot them down from the land and then embark. I don't think it would have made a difference. <laughs> I think it does. I think, that, as soon as you, I think as soon as you embark, you could just cycle triremes and kill the units. And you could just leave one uh, down there and then you get zocked. No, but Hawks could literally shoot that from the other peninsula. Yeah, the like only could... tile that you can actually safely kind of zock from is directly outside cap. Yeah, but yeah. that's true. But I also think that the charms can move back and, and if he has galleys, like... And if you think about the turn that Hawks did embark, he didn't leave any expos to shoot. Yeah. Just he just threw them all in the water and said YOLO. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Hawks timed everything like perfectly here too. His like, like yeah, and I come guess down. he was. He just hoped that Denzel didn't build a lot of units, and he was right. Well, the thing is, this build is actually better when someone like is like sort of over prepping, right? Because Hawks has shops up, right, and he's doing yeah, a lot I of hammers. He could grind. He could grind forever. It's true. I th yeah, I think he planned this like with the knowledge that he he's gonna outhammer him anyways, even if the yeah like the war even if the war is difficult because like if he kills uh, sports here, he's in such a good position. And I mean, this seeing this makes you think, damn, why didn't I go straight expo? Uh, because like he didn't have anything, right? And you can just walk up with the expo and steal it. Yeah. But hey, he's got shops, he's got Notre. He's gonna have three nice courthouse cities soon, and then he'll pick up some more if he wants and Oh, was was that or was Sports three city or four city? Um Sport one of He has an island city? Yeah. Okay. As to why there's so much chat sounds, I think Gong has just been talking forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just mute Gong and see if that that makes it better. Okay. Oh, you didn't have Discord muted this whole time? I had. 
No, I'm deafened, but streams come through. Oh. Uh. If you're watching them. Look at this. This is like. This is normally what you see at like the absolute end of the war when they've completely run out of units, right? Sports cap is completely surrounded. Look, how many shots yeah. does he have to put on? Does it even matter? I think the trade off here, um, up, as opposed to like Liberty Expo, is he has uh, better units. I mean, this I... was such do nothing honor sim, right? Like, honor yeah. gave him so little here. Wow. Killing a samurai in open terrain. I don't even know if the uh, the embarkation decided this. Like the embarkation made it very clean and fast, but I I kind of think sports would have died even if Hawks had just come over land, given how little yeah. he had. Okay, now Hawks is planning out his steals, the most important part of simming out of a war. He's looking at the demo screen. You like that demo screen? He's so happy to. Uh, yeah. Like, poor House is even finish it. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, is looking insanely scary for anybody who's not named Hawks. I mean, he's, he's in a really, really good position. The person next to him is completely ear. So if anyone wants to get to him, they have to go through ear boy. Yeah, Hawks kind of has the the world as his oyster right now. He can pretty much do whatever he wants. And also, like, normally you'd be afraid of those coastal cities getting caxed by Gong, who is going here? straight unis and isn't there yet. So, And again, you already have this Expo army. Expos are actually pretty good against frigates. Turns out. Yep. I mean, Gong was never going to intend to frigate yeah. Japan anyways. Yeah. I th my opinion, though, our frigates are terrible, so. I mean, we have privateers now. Now you just... Yeah, you... When I when I go to Coastal War, I build two, three frigates and like twelve privateers. So the cap of the sea. I, I, I think so, but like I would maybe compare them to okay. ships. He's trying to first move the city. <laughs> oh my god! And oh, there goes no. his oh his capture unit's gone. I guess that warrior will do the job. Maybe. Do you just throw it in the water? No. But do you see how like how annoying now that he has this galley right there? Yeah, like if, like if like he just needed a few more units. Yeah, now the look at how bad those expos are getting hit by the galleys. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think he was expecting it. I don't think so either. He just clicked samurai and hoped for the best. I mean obviously wasn't expecting it because he clicked aesthetics. <laughs> Uh, yeah, aesthetics that presumes kind of a degree of stability to this game that never existed. Surprised he's still building units. I think so. I think he's going into someone else next. I would if I were in his position too. He just has so much happiness and so many hammers. Like, I guess why, would, you why just, would you stop? You, just, you know, you just take your army and go to Glossen. Yeah, you go to Glossen, right, and then you. 1v2 oh, yeah you just and then you 1v2 poland and arv right actually this is what i thought about i've thought this multiple times and i've been wrong i don't maybe this isn't the time to just like completely go in but how can they not team you here i don't know but also he's building a circus maximus well there's only two people that could team him and one's er just one and the other one's probably not going to go until hussars anyways hmm. Oh, you really thinking, needs... I was thinking about Gong. I... He really needs uh, Ed. He needs Ed in the next five turns, I think. Does he? Who's who's got Ed? Gong is taking Ed now. Glosson doesn't have Civil. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket is taking Ed in two. That is crazy for yeah. Bucket to have a free sim game and get Ed seventy eight. I mean, what was uh, Ryan saying? Bucket was not having a free sim game. He was he was getting uh, killed by barbs. Right? He was he was in a multi turn air war with barbs. Yeah, it's just the bad scout movement, in my opinion, mm -hmm. when that ever happens. 
Yeah, Hawks only starts these wars when he can win the game out of them. He doesn't really have that, like, sort of snowball mentality that a lot of people do. Yep. Alright. Oh, so now, if, if Sports oh, kills expo that expo, stuck. if, no, so you either gift that expo or you let, um, you let Sports kill the expo because you don't want it there. And he's gifting the expo. Alright. And there goes Cap. Yep, and that's it. When did he start this war? Turn like uh, 69, 70? I think really I think even like after 70, that. Yeah, 72? 70, no, maybe. Jesus. Maybe 70. That's like a. I'll be right back. That's a clinic, right? Good God. I mean, I guess we, if you're if you're playing. If you're playing, if you're Japan here, you just have to build like a whole lot more stuff, right? Yeah, and probably not go aesthetics. Yeah, I yeah aesthetics. I think I, I need to stop clicking aesthetics so much personally. I I love aesthetics, but it's at its best in these lobbies where everyone's sort of patient and waiting. This was not one of them. I mean, forget ranged behind the samurai magus. He needed he needed boats in the water. He needed like double the amount of samurai. Like, at some point you just accept your game is over and you have to defend completely and you need to stop creating things like universities. So what did he steal there? He stole, I believe, civil? Um, I don't think so. He was already one turn on civil. No, he was, oh, that was maybe drama, he stole right? it though. Yeah. Oh my god, did I forget to upgrade update title? That's so stupid. All right. He's allied with Ormus. Yeah. Well, I mean, he got a lot of workers to return, and he was allied with uh, it before, yeah. so... Yep. Hmm, maybe he is just trying to sim out of this. He's very insulated. Yeah, we've got Alex and Spencer, who's Oru, on the mic. Oh god. Alright, Gong, Six Pop City, building a uni. Uh, wait, does he not have aqueducts up? Oh, he's taking compass. Maybe he does have open... shops. The, the, uh, the two other, or I guess, what's everyone else's second blessed tree? tree? I know Arbius is piety. He's, he continued down that tree too. Oh. Glosson has to be on her. I'd be very surprised if Glosson weren't on her. The comp's like tickled at CS. Yeah, I don't know if this if this comp kill on a CS is gonna work. Turn seventy eight. <laughs> With minus one unhappiness. Yeah, this is this is really reminding me of that that game I played where I tried to expo you, Alex. That was um <laughs> Yeah. It lo it felt a lot like this. What what turn did you attack me with? It was like seventy, wasn't it? Uh, it was like sixty eight or something. Uh. It's not good. Um. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like Hawks is like setting out to kill the whole world here. He has like Machu and Notra right now. Yeah, I think he's probably gonna sim to um to Artie and then yeah. end the game there. That seems reasonable. Or you you probably go in at Gloss and at like Knights and Cannons or Cavs and Cannons then you. Yeah, then you already yeah. whoever's left. Yeah. It's just like the, the play pattern we've gotten used to from playing a lot with him smooth has been that um, he generally doesn't start unless he can finish. Probably because we team him so much. Uh. The funny thing is he didn't even have to... like. He didn't. His point was to get rid of the commerce player who wasn't even a commerce player. <laughs> yeah. Well, he whispered Glosson like everything he got that war Glosson had with Arv was completely perfect for Hawks, oh, yeah. right? Even if this war hadn't gone well, he'd be totally insulated because of like you know yeah. 
and That's now that it has right. gone well, it's just like done. It's gonna be so hard yeah. for this lobby to punish him. It was a really low risk play, yeah. and it paid off well, anyways. Yep. Okay, do we know if if Gonk has shops? Up. I, I think from these rates of growth that he doesn't have ducts up. Yeah, he can't have ducts up because his cities just grew, and they have less than um, forty percent food. Oh, and Gong is also commerce without, and he's only like commerce zero right now, so it doesn't look great. I wonder he, what he's not. He's not even teching shops. He's teching away from shops. Is that construction? Yikes. I wonder what this plan is, because like you usually don't open commerce unless you're trying to kill someone, right? <laughs> or like kill the world. Like what what else would you open commerce for? Honestly, viewing Gong's games over the tournament have made me suspect his decision making a lot. I think he's just thinking like, oh it's something safe. Right. Yeah, smooth smooth is less polite than I. <laughs> yeah. I I mean, Smooth's original sin here, which I can't stress enough, is not going boat hammers. It's it's an amazing boat hammer sieve. It's a great boat hammer setup. I don't know why you honestly would. there were there was many uh there were many better choices than stone circles. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, not smooth sin. Uh, gongs, gongs. And Glossen is still quite far from from unis. Again, it's really a pop problem. I think he's being outscienced by Gong. Yeah, he he's not even close you know, to Gong in science. Who is not? Glossin. Uh oh, I mean, <laughs> there are many reasons for that. <laughs> yeah, when you're in a corner, you can kind of sim and hope to like get back in as everyone fights. When you're in the center like this, you're just like the the patty in a very juicy hamburger. Mhm. Mm it might work to his advantage. Like now, people will leave him alone. Nobody's gonna leave him alone because, like, they have to go through him to get to Hawks, right? Or Hawks has to go through him to get to the rest yeah. of the lobby. But that would like be a like a signal to the other guy. Yeah. You know, he's a buffer state. He's a literal <laughs> buffer <Yeah>. state. <laughs> so maybe this is Glossin's strategic incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> Learned. Uh, what is it? What's the phrase? Learned helplessness. Yeah. Glossin's finally reclaiming that horse tile. Knowing Glossin, I assume he's just tilted out of his mind right now. Yeah. Weaponized incompetence, that's the phrase. And and Glossin helpfully brought up the demo screen for us to show that the Hawkman is top on everything. Has Glossin ever played Sue? I mean I feel like he just got trigger happy with the combo. Like he he had no regard for like Arvis's like sieve or what it did or anything yeah I, yeah I don't, I don't think glossin is like making very like informed decisions at this point let's see I, i'm kind of interested in what bucket's doing actually so bucket has unis up um i want to see his his tech path um he better be clicking hussars i mean everyone is commerce in this commerce game. yeah Hmm. I mean, Bucket's getting his unis up. It's... He's got his ducts. He's got his shops. He's got his unis. I, I actually think Glossin's... Glossin made a few mistakes. I think for me, the thing I was least happy about with Glossin was that he he planted that sixth city. For comps. Yeah, if you're rushing someone with comps, six cities is way too many. But that particular sixth city was painful. It was very far, it didn't provide much reward, and he was unhappy for a lot of the game. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about, Smooth, the, the far south city. Yeah, I, I think the kind of winning play for Glossin would have been five city comps and just eat Bucket while Bucket was having an even worse early game. 
Yeah, uh, Bucket would have been such an easy kill. Alright, so Hawk's just, you know, simming on his new courthouse cities. He's picked up, he picked up the city-state. He's touching the mountain, you know, as Inca. So we're going to see, we're here going to see, we're going to start seeing horses that are faster than um, roads in, and the enemy's units on roads. What was sports' uh, religion? I think, I think Hawks gets a free religion here too. Oh, he, yeah. He doesn't even care about religion. If, if there's anything with culture on it. He took God of the Sea. So. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, a garden. Okay, garden indicates already. Oh, Hawks has a religion. Hawks, I don't know what's in his religion though. <laughs> you see it's that? It's probably gold. It's, he I bought think it's that because he wants what a he terrace buy? farm. Oh yeah, he took <sighs> peace gardens. Oh, ceremonial peace gardens. That's busted. He might do a sort of replicant of the play he just did. It's possible that this could be like autocracy already into landship. I think Lawson's uh, mentality was that he just wanted to, to get rid of Arvius before he became a problem. Yeah, the, the, when you have one scary person in the lobby or one scary neighbor, you can war deck them on site, you know, or you can just, you know, try to try to stop them instantly. But when you're next to Hawks and Arv, you just, like, hope that it's not you. I mean, so even if he did kill Poland instead, he would still be sandwiched between Arvis yeah. and Hawks. <laughs> yeah, right? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what Glasson could have done here. It is a weird map. Glasson dead center, and when you're dead center, you kind of get the opportunity to kill whoever you want. Uh huh? Oh yeah, those Killy Inca Killy Expos, it's beyond ridiculous. Yeah. What what are they? They're like literally eight movement along hills. No, no, it's just four, it's four. I'm being idiotic. It's the scouts. So Glossin decided like turn five that he was gonna combo someone. You think that was honor land smooth? I actually thought it was trad. I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, and Hawks and Bucket are fighting over this. No, it's Hawks and Gong. Gong is building Haya. Yeah, smooth. You go trad, you go Oracle, you expo someone. It's not, you know, it's an easy game. Okay, I want to see when Gong is finishing this. Gong is teching... Is that shops or is that the iron working? Okay, that, that's a fair criticism of my play, Smooth. That's fair. Okay. Gong no longer making... Uh... Hiya. These late aqueducts from Gong, I think, are just... You can't be doing that. You're missing out on so much food. You know what grinds my gears about uh, Arby's stream every time I open it up? What's that? He never explores the map. Just never <laughs> bothers. Why? All you need to know is who's your neighbor, right? Who are you going to kill next? That's all you need. I feel like knowing the CS is important, too. Is this Arv's last game? Um, Might be his fourth? Hmm. Wait. Let me check. It's uh, according to his stream title, it's third. So. Yeah, I think yeah, he's only gotten second and six. I think is what his placements in the previous two matches were. Mm. I thought he played more. Yeah. He's always plusing, but I guess he never finds games. Oh my god, he's been like l every twenty minutes, just been like plus 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 from him. Like. Oh, true. Arby's doesn't care about CS quests because he steals from them anyways. Yeah. 
Which, as I was talking to Spencer, I really think is, like, bad play. You're missing a lot of gold from that. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe work for Tempo. I mean, he did, on, he did on Tradition, too. I don't know if that's worth it. I would do it on, like, Liberty, but... I don't know about tradition. Really? I think Liberty is the tree that needs workers the least because it gets so much value more off of each worker. It's got so many free hammers to build workers. Well, that's true. Yeah. You want to build wonders with tradition instead yeah. of workers. Yep. And all this, like, quote-unquote defensive terrain, all these hills just don't do anything because, you know, you're fighting Inca. I like how he's just blind and barking for that the fourth city <laughs> well he he wants it right you know if there's a yeah, tech there he's funny. gonna get it oh and there we go this is actually an impossible city to kill because there's no tiles <laughs> oh to God. stand on to shoot it from you need to make boats to take the city that's funny it is pretty funny i think hawks is actually just gonna turn those expo back around because he can't take that city oh my god he's at eight happy he He's about to finish that courthouse. This looks just stupidly strong. Okay, Glosson's finally putting together some catapults to kill this CS. Oh my god, he's still working on Bangkok. <laughs> he's farming it, dude. He's bottom tech. He's bottom so many demos. I don't think he needs to buy the courthouses. Why would you buy something you have so much production bonus towards while you're happy? Like, buy an aqueduct. That's the actual thing you should be buying. Yeah. I think even if they team him Magris, he's winning because Glosson can't do shit. Gong can't do shit. Like... I mean, the, the aqueduct is like... It's literally like a 66% food foot multiplier. It's... It's the actual best return, especially if you're happy. Gloss is just making forts everywhere. Yeah, I I, I empathize a lot with with Glosson's position here. Glosson just like kind of flailing around, like, what do I do here? How do I recover from this massive mistake I made? Ironically, though, Arbius kind of has to support him, though. Does he? Because, like, well, Glosson being alive ensures his safety, I feel like. I use support, like, loosely. Yeah, I just mean like help him, like if he can. Wow, Arv has four hundred viewers. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of uh, peeped into Arvius's stream after uh, the the Glossen War, mm -hmm. and Arvius was like being really dramatic. <laughs> He was like, "Oh my God! If I just if I didn't build units one turn earlier, I probably would have died there." <laughs> I was like, "No, you would not have." Look at look at Hawks whispering. You know, Trad fighting is this futurism? No, Hawks, it's not. Everyone knows it's not. Oh my God! He's still continuing, continuing the whispering. That's funny. Yeah, if if I were Gloss in here, I'd just be like, "Stop talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Go whisper someone else." I mean, Arv's doing 260 science right now. I don't think you can call that here. I, I mean, I like Dread Piety. It's a it's definitely a sim strat. Yeah, I think Futurism is probably like the best shot he can get. It's kind of a low culture lobby. Um, he's He's kind of isolated. Yeah, so maybe this is a race. Maybe it's Hawks trying to kill his way across the map before Arv puts on enough tourism. I mean, with futurism though, like Hawks can just kill units, and I feel like that's enough <laughs> to counter that. Um, How many ooh, do you Glossen need? So each that. futurism bump is two fifty. Yeah. And you need to kill eight units to counteract one of them. Mm, I don't know about that. I mean, that's like a CS, right? 
I mean, even like on his way to kill Arbius, he will kill that many units. <laughs> Yeah, Japan's still top culture because honestly, like, sports culture game was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, he has Japan uh, fish boat hammers and no, he was he had, got to the sea. he had got to the sea. All right, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah the well, Japan the, boat culture. The natural, yeah. Japan, I think, very sneaky buffed by the worker change for, for Coast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what he's going to enhance with. Holy Warriors? No, you never enhanced the Holy Warriors here, right? Oh, are you checking it? Yeah, you never. He built Aya. How do you get that? I thought Gong was building that. Wait, where did the two missionaries come from? So Boro. He he got Boro this turn as well. Just get both Theo Wonders. What the fuck? <laughs> this has to be Defender, right? Guys, oh god, if, if Lawson out. actually took the bait again, like... He's telling Gong to get Globe? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I need to up my Whispering game. <laughs> you really do. Like, imagine if you were the guy who realized, like, you know, oh god, he's too strong, he's too strong, somebody help me. Yo, these Gong I never realized how powerful it is. Solex is actually, Solex says he goes Aqueducts before Grand Temple. Is piety? It's that important. Like, like on the coast? Yeah, or just like ever, De right? It depends. I mean, if I'm getting Apostolic Palace, I'm not gonna, I'm I'm gonna skip Aqueducts for that. I no, I think I actually think I don't. Know, maybe this is why I don't play piety. I don't think Apostolic is worth it. I think I'd rather have Ducts than uh, than rush GT for Apostolic. The only exception being if I'm like going Golius. I don't know from, so when I do it, usually the way it uh, like plays out, the timing is kind of perfect. Like you usually don't want to, you don't need Aqueduct, so you're like at least seven pop, right? The earlier you get them, the better. Sure. Yeah, I, I think if you're a gonk here, this should have been like some three city play into later explosives maybe or resettlements. I don't know. I mean, there's no point in analyzing his play after stone circles. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Oh look, is Hawks gonna steal that profit? Is he going to give the crossbow to steal a profit? Is that worth it? Would it come out of the city like that? Oh, because there's a cargo ship. Wait, is that how it works? Oh my god. You have the horseman in Osaka, Hawks. Yeah, okay, there we go. Was that... He's not raising that, is it? Is he? There's no way. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, this just looks like strong. Arv is doing good science, but Arv is not doing futurism because Arv is teching acoustics. So just Glosson and uh, Glosson and Gong have been completely noob whispered. They're not. Um... They're they're not gonna be ready for whatever's happening. Arv is filling piety. Okay. Huh. What's his faith return? That's not bad. He could buy great people. So you think this is... Um, futurism still? Does futurism work on piety purchased great people? Yes. Hmm. I, at least from what I remember. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have enough faith to, to make that viable, though. I was just saying, it's he could... Buying great people is always good. I yeah. think to do futurism, he'll need like, yeah, he'll need way more faith. I don't think he's doing futurism. I think he's. I don't think so either. It's some land ship play, right? But does he even beat Hawks to land ship on? I think he will, because Hawks is gonna start attacking at already. Actually, it depends what text he steals. I, I'm gonna enjoy Hawks grappling with the the Setsuma problem. I 
How do you even deal with that? Just build galleys. I don't want to build galleys. I want to... Oh, yeah, true. Little cities barely came up. <laughs> yeah. I would... Honestly, I would buy three galleys right now. What's going on here? He can't... He can't go on the island because it's, it's just going to die. Okay, he's piecing. Maybe he'll come back later. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, it's a, it's a good city. It is. I don't know how it's at 17 pop. That's kind of amazing. Yo, did he just take a heal promo as his third promo? There's no way. He don't give a fuck. Oh, he did get the profit. I didn't know you get a profit if it's in the city like that. Yeah. It's a... He could enhance with that, or he could plant with it, which is much more likely. He's probably going to plant for coal. He, he already enhanced. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> definitely not enhancing with that. Um, He enhanced... Kotel. I know he got Kotel and... I don't know what the other belief was. It was, a, it was the culture building. It was cathedrals. So I guess he's planning to push through commerce. Was that a second policy trick? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's like yeah. commerce one right now. He's insulated himself a lot from the teaming because the most devastating thing the teaming would do to him would be to make him unhappy, but he's just totally fine unhappy. If he just makes it to ideology before they team him, he's like just clear. You think he goes factories here? Oh, yeah, he does. He's commerce. 100%. So Arius doesn't have guilds. He doesn't? I, I thought he saw Arv oh. working a guild. At least that's what Glossin says. Yeah. Man, Arv AFK so much. If if Glossin just hit him while he was AFKing, you know, Glossin would have... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, if I'm glossing and telling Hawks, why don't you kill him and I try to sim back to relevancy? Okay, so they're at least planning around futurism, but... Okay, maybe it is just a very weak culture lobby. Ninety-six from... Yes, yeah, Smooth. Miota, is Miota around? Miota is constantly overestimating our sim decisions. Bucket's doing 225 science. He's... I don't understand this commerce pick. Maybe it's just a dip. Glossin is finally killing Bangkok, and he's also like I think he just teched unis. Like he just got uni tech. Yeah, Glossin is beyond here. So Hawks right now is trying to like motivate the lobby against futurism. The the real benefit here, as as I've been talking about like nine to twelve times, is that if they're focused on Arv, they're not gonna be focused on him. Yeah, if only there were some way for Gong to have picked up more hammers.
down. I'm, I'm gonna stay on Hawks POV for a while just because, like, you know, watching Hawks, it's like watching it's like watching a sports car run. Just like zoom. Yeah, there's not much to watch this game. Okay, what what's the broad strokes? Um, Arv possibly doing futurism, possibly not. Hawks beyond game leader. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Hawks is really trying to get Glosson involved, huh? Yeah, he's glossing and glossing. This is normally what glossing does. I mean, an important part of the new whisper is like being in a position where you're at least threatening. Cause did you guys see that micro on um on that armory overflow? By the way, like, uh, that's without EUI. Normally, when people are microing that hard. They're doing it with with, uh, with EUI. He just clicked that, man. <laughs> it's a Weavey thing. Yeah. I mean, I play Weavies. I'm not microing that hard, dude. <laughs> Maybe I don't play Weavies anymore. Glossin is still eating up the new whispers. <laughs> yeah, somebody... <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. It... Just gobbling them up. You're kidding me. He... How do you even do that, Jazz? He fived it. Uh, I think it's fine, Slazer. If Arv really wanted them to, you know, wait for him, he'd have said something. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Arv's game looks like it's the fastest in the lobby. Okay, Arv's back. Let's let's mute some of these streams. I mean, Arv's cap is super good. He took Chaco. Maybe maybe that was like a super like massive brain decision. Maybe he took Chaco to deny other people culture. Hawks is allied to Thimphu. Yeah, this just feels like the the Hawks J thirteen show. If he gets leaning, he doesn't have an engineer. He's overflowing for leaning. That's what this this armory overflows for. He's gonna like two three turn leaning. If he were really serious, he'd have popped this golden age now so that he overflowed even more hammers. But you know, Hawks is just a big noob anyway. Oh, Arvis three turning leaning without any overflow. So Hawks would have to two turn it to even have a chance at it. So this will probably be like globe or something. Yeah, Arv's cap is just amazing, but three CD trad, you eventually get just ground down. Let's look at bucket. Bucket hard building Sistine, he's building all his culture stuff. It looks like everybody is um thinking about futurism.
and crash for a bucket. Oh, or not. Need to survive. Yeah, so let's see the overflow in the hot cap. He's looking for barb camps to farm for culture right now. I mean, the weakest part of Hawks' game right now is the culture, and he's doing 135. And that's without, you know, counting all the kills. That he's saving for coal, and let's see the overflow. Okay, he didn't actually get that much off of it. So if Arv does go for futurism, he... I wonder if he Oxford's industrialization. I guess not. Arv's pretty close. It looks like 93 facts the latest. And still no guild. This kind of does look like futurism. Wait, is his writers up? No, his writers not up. Okay. And he's sitting on the scientist, which okay. Starve's game is pretty fast. I mean, I think it, it's it's probably futurism. Yep, facts next turn. That's pretty good, especially for getting comped like that. Like pulling out, pulling out even relevancy from uh, having to deal with that classical war. Is it pretty impressive? Pulling out eighty nine facts, I think it's good. Let's go look at Gong. Gong no ducts. Okay. Glosson's still doing 105 science. He doesn't have a single uni up. Maybe the one in cap? No, he can't be doing this little... It, why isn't he taking Bangkok? This actually kind of looks like he's farming it because he's been fighting this CS for like 12 turns. Like, you can't be fighting it this long and not actually trying to get it. Like, where's his capture unit? Someone in... Someone in Arv's chat just said, kill Inca and GG. Good idea. Like... If you're gonna delay this for NC, then just like, wait for NC, dude. Like... I mean, he could still take it and finish NC, right? Like yeah, like it's puppet. It, yeah, if it's puppet, you don't have to. It's because he's unhappy. That's why he doesn't want to take it. Then you can't be taking the CS. I don't know what he's waiting for. Some miracle. Okay. Happiness. All right. As long as we're clear. The noob whispering has transferred. It trickles down. Yeah. Man passes on new whispering to man. But yeah, this is just like the result of a failed classical medieval push. It's so hard to recover from this. Especially like if, if you've gone shops before. Yeah.
Gloss and messaging Hawks Expo's islands as though Hawks did not already have his Expo's on islands farming barbs. I think this, I mean, Glossin is probably in finals. Glossin has two wins. And I think in both of those wins, I've thought that Glossin had no chance. Well, one of them, he only won because the other guy literally straight up just left and went to sleep. <laughs> True. Yeah, Subd was like in the process of killing him and says, you know what? It's 5 a.m. I want to be done. Which I, I respect that decision. What was his other win? The, the one with Conrad, the one where he was Huns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Hawks is going to proxy war here, then. I don't understand why you would do this. Why would you give your units to someone... Um, to fight for you when you're playing Honor, right? Hawks would be getting so much, like, demos, like, even off an air war, right? If you're trying to get culture up, right? Hey, that's, like, you know, 25 culture per kill. Take that. What? Yeah, why is he offering to give his expos? To I really farm. don't know. Because <sighs> if anything, Hawks probably has more culture than Glossin. Yep. Yeah, this just really is the, the Hawks show. Um, maybe if Arv had really fast land ship, if Arv hit Hawks with fast land ship, that would also, I think, probably kill him. But when you're commerce, you go planes instead of land ship anyway, and planes would just gun them down. I, I really, I don't know what Arv's timing on Hawks is. Hawks big Bing chilling aficionado, perhaps. I feel like since Glossin attacked him, though, that really set him back for futures and, like, to make it viable. I don't know. Because futurism, like, it's, it's really, it's always really close. Yeah, it requires you to be so fast. But, yeah. I mean, Arv's game looks good. So Arv has the spy on Hawks. He's seeing that Hawks has the writer, the writer wonder queued. He's gonna like if he were doing. He's thinking if he can fight it. If he were doing, futurism, he'd be looking at the culture screen. <laughs> Look, Hawks with a Gatling gun off the island. Oh yeah, you're right. He, yeah, he has. I don't know if he has been looking at the culture screen. Yeah. Maybe he just believes very hard that he's gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I think it's a low culture lobby, Jass. Yeah, I, I love Arf Chat. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if he can err himself by trying to defend futurism, though, because if, like, if Arv isn't pushing futurism and you're just like, oh, I'm going to build a lot of culture, you just push culture into ratio or, or into autocracy, right? Like, commerce is a high demand on culture tree anyway. It's really hard for Hawks to err himself here. Let's go look at the bucket. Yeah. All right, bucket has finally picked up the stone circles religion. He's going for facts now. What? He's going. Oh Christ! Are you guys seeing this? He's going hussars and cannons and. He's going to give Gloss and Hussars. Oh my god, they're going to team Arv. They're just going to funnel units into Gloss and to fight Arv with. This is, um... Wow. Right? Like, if you look at Bucket, if you give me units, I won't worry you with them. I promise. 
Gloss is really gonna come back <laughs> to on, on Harvey's doorstep. <laughs> hey, it's me again. <laughs> yeah. I got some new toys that I'm very excited to play with. Because the new whispering was real manano. Yeah. It yeah, I mean I think I'm about as far from an art fan as most people get. And this is a completely unwarranted teaming. Like, Arv didn't even do anything this game. Like, normally, like, Arv is a dick, right? And you're like, okay, maybe he's just getting teamed because he's a dick. But he, like, he didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's, I think, I, it's really, I, I'm sure Gong won't team Arv. Gong just sitting here, waiting. No. Yeah, he's not really in a position. There's no reason for, Gong, for Gong's team to be this bad. Yeah, Hawks turned Glosson's powers against the lobby. This is actually insane. I'm I'm actually losing my shit. They're just gonna like give Glosson units to fight Arv with. I mean, I think that's the problem. Smooth that we've just been like beaten into submission by the Hawkman. What is Glosson even doing? He's got no science. He's got pagodas. He's got my he he actually has enough unhappy that it counteracts the the Sue combat bonus. If he were fighting in planes, which he's not anyway. Oh my god. Who who's giving this guy units? I mean, I don't know, if you're fighting through somebody who's got no military, right, at some point you're like, hmm, I'd like to put a general down. Or like, hmm, I'd like to move a bomber in here. And then you start looking at this city that you've got all the units around. Denzel, there's no way that Glosson was supposed to slam Hawks. He was not supposed to slam Arv in the first place. The best target there is Bucket, but even Bucket was too far ahead to... This is just what being here looks like. I, I think he just has zero percent of winning smooth. I think there's no chance. <laughs> Fifty five culture as to it's just pain. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't hit anyone. I mean, Glosson's game is just, just really sad. Oh, wow, Bucket just, uh, Bucket just got that Explorer value. He's getting that pop ruin, which I think went to Woj. Um, I think he goes to the closest city, and he's starting to do gold, but yeah. Hawk's still looking for islands. Yeah, like, I can you even push our position here before Artie? Like, if you have Artie, you can kind of post up, and then. You know, just 
do arty stuff, but I really don't like trying to push in with even, like, cannons. The tiles feel too tight. I mean, all this is kind of academic, right? It's not even about, you know, killing Arv, right? What Hawks is doing is Hawks is just getting the lobby to not let Arv do futurism, right? And then Hawks just rolls the, the whole lobby at whatever time he wants. This Meiji hard build is insane greed. It's going to work. Like, I could kind of see Arv going ships here. But can you even do that? He's going freedom. Okay, this game is actually over. Who's going freedom? Arv. Okay, like... Does he expect to, like... Do... He can't do hard tourism. He doesn't have his guilds up. Why wouldn't he have his guilds up unless he's going futurism? He... Hawks is completely running rampant. Freedom has to be the wrong choice. The only thing that would even possibly justify not having guilds up would be futurism. And even if it were that, he would have the guilds. He, he should have like started building them just to start generating points before he got ideology. He just built or opened Rashia. After Piety... Is he Piety 5 or Piety 4? No, Piety 4. What? Why would you go Piety 4 and not finish it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do with all that faith. Oh, he wanted to build Porcelain, so maybe he might finish uh, okay, okay. Piety after. Yeah, I'm, I'm becoming increasingly frustrated. And meanwhile, like you look at Hawk's top demos, and these like these cities are still the the cities from from Japan are still getting assimilated, right? Like, when is his scientist? He did actually kind of delay his scientist generation with this expo play. Or it looks like full commerce from the Hawkman. Yep. It's seven out of eight trade routes seems good. Let's see how many Gong has. Gong on only six. Glossin's working research. Lost and just AFK, I think. Oh, he's back. Okay, Arv's picking ideology right now. It should be autocracy. But if he clicks freedom, then I, I I'm not sure what the benefit of freedom would be here. Especially like in a duel. Th this game is pretty much a duel at this point. And when the guy coming for you has autocracy bonuses. You, you want to also have autocracy bonuses. Yep, that's freedom.
But like Magris, if you're doing like freedom, if you're doing freedom, why wouldn't you be aesthetics, right, over piety? I don't agree with a lot of the decisions that are going on here. What? Everybody's muted, right? One, two, here. Okay. Slazer, how on earth is freedom the best? Freedom is pretty good. Uh, I played it early and I was actually surprised by how good it turned out. It's yeah. a lot of gold. In, in a duel, you'd rather be autocracy. And this lobby is a duel. And... Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff that works when like the whole lobby is relevant, right? And you're like, oh, I'm going to scale to some late timing, right? Like, Alex, how would you rate the chance of this lobby going to stealth bombers? Pretty low. I would... Put them at zero. There's no chance this lobby is going to stealth. How about nukes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say zero. No, I, it's going to end at land ships one way or another. I think it might even end at planes. Yeah. There's, there's not I mean, enough time is, for freedom to do anything. What is? Yeah, what is even his victory uh, path with freedom? Well, he's trad piety, so he has to be domination, right? Does he? He, I mean, you can't space in a duel. Uh, I'm not saying he knows that. I'm just saying what his... I'm trying to figure out what his intention in picking freedom is. I'm not saying, like, as if we're putting our own perspective on it, like, yeah. what would we do in a situation? Well, we've I, it, we've seen over the meta of tourney games, right? Um, Every single game has been a domination win, except for Gloucester's Tourism win. Which should have been domination anyway. Yeah. Slazer, how on earth is a trad piety freedom build tempo? What, what do you think tempo means? It's way too late to finish tourism or uh, aesthetics now. You can't win this our tourism without finishing aesthetics. I don't think so. Or, or at least it's significantly difficult, more difficult. And the lobby's already freaked out about tourism. Also, he has no guilds up. <laughs> like <laughs> the lack of guilds is triggering me. All right, Glosson going back to his center center lobby air sim. With his. I thought you wanted these lancers. <laughs> Bucket, Bucket's thinking about it, right? Bucket's, you know, he's starting to road. So, Gonk has... Gonk's cap is right there. You could just take the cap, hold the cap, like... And you've already taxed your own sim by going to Hussars. So the strat with Poland, by the way, the, the Poland Commerce strat, which is kind of Chad, right? Is that you buy Landschnecks, and then you can upgrade them into Hussars. It's very cool. Yeah, how else would you do it? Oh, buy land six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Killing Brune wouldn't be a bad idea here. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly in these games. I feel like killing someone just to get strat resources. Like I'm already often killing people just because I want late game strat resources, right? And the fact that the, you get this side benefit of like, hey, I'm not getting last. You know, I'm I'm, I'm at least getting a higher place than this guy. It's always good. Yeah, smooth. I think tourism only works in like a really balanced lobby where, you know, you're just like sort of a little bit ahead, right? Uh, and if you like really pushed your lead and you started trying to kill people, then you get teamed or you lose advantage relative to like other strong players, right? But here, it just doesn't make sense to me. And think about how much stronger Arvis' position would be if he were Honor, if he had Eden Glosson like on the backswing, right? And then he could actually fight Hawks. Yeah. It's a good question, Magris.
Yeah, Arv. Arv going straight. Statue of Liberty, by the way. Okay, Bucket is teching off of Hussars. Gong teching Econ right now. Lost his Spy Steel. Looks like Hawk's Spy got killed as well. And Hawk's doing 96 facts. Um, he must evolve to Scientist for that. Right? No, a scientist was. He just got a scientist, right? Okay, so is Hawks gonna buy his factories? Norm so this is like the classic play, right? Is that you engineer Big Ben and then you buy all of your facts? Does he feel secure enough to do that or buy three facts? Hawks? Yeah. Um. I would, yeah. I mean, he's making so much gold anyways. Right. Like, if, if you're Hawks, you're not worried about dying here, right? Oh, no. I mean, Magris, aesthetics is kind of, like, going hard tourism here, like, even if it were, like, a thing, Arv doesn't have guilds up. He cannot do tourism. He's making, like, people are already, like, trying to get their culture up. It's not in the it's cards. Almost turn, yeah, it's almost turn 100 already. And every time you click tourism, people do start, like, coming and trying to kill you. And the honor, commerce, autocracy is just unstoppable on its first war. I don't know about totally unstoppable, but it's incredibly strong. Hawks is only 2% behind. Do you think this game is going to stealth smooth? If, if, if he actually does. Like, I don't know. If he does get to stealth, then that would probably win him the game. <laughs> I'm not denying that. I think there's zero chance. I don't think this game goes to stealth. I don't think this game goes to nukes. I think the chance that the game goes to even like rocketry is low. So what makes stealth such a winning play? Because it's completely like unstoppable if you get there in good time, right? Stealth are so much better than regular bombers because a they're stronger and b um they can't get intercepted. Yeah, right. So you just bomb with impunity. But the range is not max, so I guess you still have to like creep across the map, right? But it's 24. 24 is good enough. And then you just rebase, right? And then yeah. you just do it again. And nukes don't take cities. Stealth takes cities. Okay, Hawk's buying his facts. Two. There's so much gold on this sieve. It's an insane. It wasn't an insane gold sieve. And it looks like he's choosing to hard build the rest of them in the core cities. Hawks going schools, and I think I think Hawks' choice is probably to end the game at planes here. He's also like kind of pushing for a natural golden age, so I expect him to take auto, take a happy policy, right? Natural Golden Age, pop the artist, and then he'll just... I think that will be his rampage after schools. Let's check in on Glosson. Glosson, bleeding gold, bleeding happy, bleeding science, 66 culture return. Yeah, this just isn't Glosson's game. Checking out Gong. Gong going for auto spy steals, he says. His culture is pretty low. Um, especially if he's when you when you're piety commerce, you'd really like to be having a high culture game. Uh 
you want to um because you really want to fill commerce commerce is one of those trees you really like to fill i'm not a commerce two believer some of the people in the chat are i don't think it's that good on some benefit compared to like i don't know aesthetics or whatever piety dip <laughs> gloss and bleeding jesus yeah this is no climbing out of this there really isn't <laughs> I don't even know if, like, so, oh, yeah, Jess is back. Yeah, so basically, Erwin Freedom, he's doing some sort of science thing. He's not doing futurism. Nobody really knows what he's doing. Um, Hawks is, um, just bought his three fags. He's probably going to take auto next turn. Magus, I just don't think it's good. I, I understand what you're saying. This is not like a lobby where you can like sneak something by, right? Somebody's auto monstering over there, right? There's an honor guy, Inca Honor on Commerce, two caps and lots of gold. You don't get the luxury of like, you know, pumping out late tours while no one's looking. Uh, Hawks is putting a massive clock on the lobby. And unless you have something to fight that, you're just, you're not, there's nothing. Okay. Hawks gets to spy steal, and he steals architecture, which is insane. Also, Arv Spy has killed a lot of spies. Um, Glosson is no longer attacking Arv because Arv took um, freedom, so there's no futurism threat. Hawks finally builds NC. And I wonder when his next scientist spawn is. Um, and I, th so culture, he gets his next policy and I think that's, I actually think that might be commerce four. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on that. That might be commerce four. Musician threat is no longer a thing. Musician threat is a thing. In this game? Oh Yeah. No, like, Hawks' play, no matter what, is always just kill across the map, right? He's honor, commerce, autocracy. And he'll control all the tile. I I mean, okay, we're, we're just going to play the game out, but I really don't think that, like, late tourism without aesthetics is, like... And also, again, if we reiterated, Arv doesn't have his guilds up. I don't think it's an option. Looks like Arv heading towards oil, perhaps. Maybe maybe he is doing. Like, think about what needs to be filled here, Magris. You need aesthetics filled. You need ratio filled so you can even get to internet. You need freedom, all the way to freedom 6 for broadcast hours. But you probably need more freedom so you have the hammers to fight. Like, maybe if you're aesthetics, you can, like, just YOLO fill piety. You can't just try to do tourism without aesthetics and again it's turn 98 and he like he hasn't even finished piety yet so yeah no i i think arv's win is by by doing some really fast timing into hawks and the problem is he needs a fast timing with combat bonuses he doesn't he's not sitting on any combat bonuses right now he doesn't even have discipline right like i don't i don't know about you guys i do not want to be pushing honor commerce autocracy without even discipline right freedom is a tree without a single combat bonus in it so 
in order to like make your war effective, you have to either be much, much, much faster than the other guy, or you have to have a lot more hammers. But <laughs> Plasmus is right, you know, the city strength is like the, the ultimate combat bonus. <laughs> he can just gun it down with the uh, with his cities. True. Alright, so it looks like Hawk's Natural is in <sighs> What is that, four turns? Yeah, and Hawk Science like still isn't that close to ours, but he also doesn't have any schools, so you know, fifty-fifty. So Hawks is farming like three bar camps right now. He's again, if we look at the demo screen, we only see ones. It's um I really don't understand how they're talking about like teaming Arv possibly when Hawks like even if Arv were like completely dominant or like if Arv were putting on the futurism threat, I would just say Hawks, you deal with it. It doesn't get me any closer to winning. Glossen's game is just miserable. I can't look at Glossen for too long. Look at Gong. All right, Gong does not appear to have cold improved yet. He has fact tech, but no cold improved. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. It feels like at this point it would be pretty dumb to gamble on it, right? Like, what are you are you gonna gamble on like order, right? Like, does Arv take second or third? Is that the the bet? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I bet against Arv every time here. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this sad Sulu, right? Like, it's just not enough pop to work all the great elfing tiles. Build your aqueducts, people. Build your aqueducts. Don't get baited by unis when you have aqueducts to build. You're going to set your entire game so far behind if you don't build that stuff. All right, so Bucket diverted off of factory tech, and he's really behind now. He has Himeji. I think Himeji is a wonder worth detouring for, but his culture is not good enough to push commerce. His happy is sad. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. He's also, if you if you don't know this, right? Right now, Underground Sect provides two science in each city. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 14 free science off of Sect right now. For... For Bucket. And I think he's still like very low on science, so it's not a good look. Yeah, this is a this is a no Mubot stream, Jazz. I'm trying to take this a little bit seriously. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh man, Glosson talking about resettlements. I I think he's joking. I hope he's joking. This can't be real. Imagine being piety commerce and not having a great person to plant on your coal. Probably make more rel. Does he mean relevance? Yeah. I mean, Glossin is just completely in the hole, right? It, it would be like three. It would take three separate miracles for Glossin to win this game. So he wants to do inland s settlements? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think he's joking. I think this is just like... Pain. Oh, I don't know what happened to Spencer. Uh, I think maybe he has work tomorrow or something. I mean, smooth. Like stone circles here is just worse than um than boat hammers, right? And I mean, I don't know. No, it's uh, I don't know. Whatever. Oh yeah, it's Christmas. I don't know. Okay, smooth. I I don't understand this piety this piety craftsman thing at all. If you want to explain it to me, like, why would you pick piety craftsman over lib? What what is piety giving you that lib isn't? Just take the policy that gives you the free the free hammer. Why would you like even gamble on getting this you know pantheon and paying all this GPT for something you can just get for a policy? <laughs> Glossin, Glossin firmly playing for the please don't kill me. He's basically just giving. Uh, he's giving Hawks permission to just take Itazpi Joe. Smooth. How are you getting fast indulgences with craftsmen? Right? Are you like? Are you just planning on getting a faith wonder every time? Are you gonna lock your cities at one pop to to spread it like? Oh, of course. Yeah. Rush temples. Like, I don't think it's good smooth. Just take your free hammer off lib. Five city lib? I'd rather play five city lib. Like, if you are going indulgences, I think you got to take a Faith Pantheon for it. Then, then it, indulgences is like a pure early... It's a pure early game thing, right? Later, you'd probably even want swords for the yields. Right? I just don't think like piety craftsman is good. Like if you're and if you're going really wide piety, right? Why not take again the tree? That, why not again instead take lib? Why not take the tree that speeds up your settles, that gives you gold instead of like you know making you build these buildings with. Okay, Hawks about six, five, six, maybe. No, no, six, seven things. Six, seven turns until full commerce. So this culture isn't that strong. Yeah, like, like Byzantium, I can see, like. Like, in particular, this is one of the things Eep always talks about, like, or at least Eep used to talk about quite a lot, was that, you know, 
oh, why'd Pi is the best because it makes so many demos, right? It, like, all these late demos don't matter, right? Because you lose so much of your early game. You can just secondary... You can just secondary piety if you really want the piety stuff. Alright. Or, like, I can also kind of see, like... Maybe Japan piety because the culture is so good, but like a lot of boat hammer subs want to go piety. No, you don't because you can make a profit smooth. If you heard of like like you you get the free profit off lib finisher if you want, or you just build shrines and temples. Piety doesn't give you like a free religion at all. You're building your shrines and temples. Lib can go honor. Lib can go piety. Sarah is a lib commerce believer, actually. Sorry, yeah, let's focus on the game. Um, yeah. No, I missed the 420 gold. Hawks appears to have hit his natural, by the way. Um, and he's doing 450 science. And to check in on Arv, Arv is doing 484. So Arv has a slight science lead in terms of raw science, and he's on less um, cities. So Arv is pretty ahead in tech, but Hawks doesn't have a, like as far as, Hawks has to have some schools up, right? Yeah. So R definitely has the timing if he clicks it. So let's see. I don't understand Arv's tech path. He appears to be clicking Cav right now. Which um Okay. He he has OBS and Cav, but he also has electricity. Yeah, really big cap, nice GT science. There's a lot to be going for, for our setup, but it's not, like, it's like, it doesn't look like he's going toward, maybe he is going towards the timing, he's building racks, right, he's building, I'm very confused. And where's Hawks going? Hawks with that 20 turn golden age. You'd love to see it. No, I mean, the normal auto already setup is skipping schools. Right? But he's got schools. Yeah. Oh, I guess he's going for the land ship push. Which one? To seal the deal. What do you mean, which one? Like, is Hawks going land ship or is our going yeah. land ship? Yeah, uh, Hawks is for sure. I mean, what else would he be going? Planes. But can I think I think it's just all of it. <laughs> now it's just a matter of who he's gonna go into first. He's probably gonna, gonna go through Glosson straight into Arvius. Glosson said, and I quote, "Yeah, if you just take Itaspicho, I'm not gonna fight you over it." <laughs> <laughs> As if he had a choice. <laughs> yeah, Jazz Hawks's Honor Commerce Auto. I think he's Commerce Four. Yeah, I like Glossin is just definitely like trying to preserve uh whatever he's got. Placement. <laughs> yeah. Which he doesn't Glossin I think is actually it's very hard to dislodge Glossin from from playoffs here because Glossin has two wins. So Glossin doesn't care as much about placement as everybody else in the game. I think he does care about eliminating Arvius from the playoffs, though. Yeah. If we're being honest. Yeah. Jess, I didn't watch the Achilles performance because nobody uh, streamed it. Apparently, he just killed everyone. Oh, yeah. That's boring. That's easy. Yeah. Well, I think Gong was in there. Yeah. I don't know who else. 
Oh, I, you know, I'm actually not invited to RU disc, so I can't possibly say. Oh, wow, Hawk's sitting on a scientist. Um, I think this is landship. Oh, Jesus Christ, Glosson's still bleeding. I know I stood check on Glosson more, but his game is just so incredibly painful. But, oh, yikes. Yeah, I can't watch. Ga yeah, this is just a duel, guys. I don't think even Bucket is... Yeah, Bucket is building some 11 turn facts. Bucket is also somehow unhappy. He's not hitting his natural. This is just straight up a duel. Okay, pro tip for the kids. When you're honor, commerce, autocracy, you tend to win duels. It is harder for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for freedom to win the duel against Honor Commerce Auto. Also, something that you kind of need to watch out for is that Arv is much more constrained on strategic resources than Hox is. Arv is on one cap. I'm smooth. I believe Bucket has him AG. Arv has one cap. He doesn't have third alternative. Hawks has two caps and third alternative, possibly. No, Hawks doesn't have him AG. Um, Poland has him AG. Yeah, Hawks lost it. And this is the turn. Hawks now has more science than Arv does, more raw science. Okay, looks like landship to me. I mean, I think yours once said it. The why would you go freedom in this crazy world? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Glossen is completely in the role situation. Glossen is sitting there praying, waiting for the sweet embrace of death. Lumpen is pretty good, Smooth. Lumpen's pretty good. Just because you don't know who he is doesn't mean he's bad. I mean, you can't really fault Smooth for not knowing who people are when he actually doesn't play. Okay. Land ships from the Hawkman. He didn't go oil first? That's strange. No, you you go calves, you build your calves, then you go oil. Right? Actually, yeah, he has the goal to support that. If Glossen fought off Inca and bought our 15 turns... Arv would just win, because there's equal chance. Actually, no, like, Smooth, we've been arguing this for a while, but Hawk's sim is actually amazing. Like, I don't know, like, the, the a lot of people have been making fun of the NA boys for saying this, but the Hawk's sim is really just, like, demonic. Like, he did this with, like, basically no bonuses. Yep, Hawk's going into oil now. This is just land ships, so I might be able to get, um, I might be able to get dinner after this, which would be great. <laughs> yeah. Hawks has single-handedly made a lot of us better players, just on, like, prioritizing more important stuff. Hawks is the inventor of the Weavy one-turn Chichen with Honor. Um, that's just something that we do now. Um, he's just very, very good. I, I don't know how to assess Bardock Sim, because Bardock never plays decent lobbies. <laughs> like, it's so rare for me.
Yeah. Well, people were saying it wasn't... Why would you one turn Anchor? Yeah, like, it's, it's so much later. Like, you're doing this, like, after... Sh okay, whatever. Anyway, back... To, let, let me stop arguing about... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of, like, failure to scout. So, let's see if Arv is, like, recognizing the threat. Arv is AFK again, for some reason. Um, Arv has got Oxford queued in one of his side cities. It kind of looks like Arv going to... There's no way he's going Artie, right? That would be insane. Right? <laughs> Smooth, you're high. You're actually high. If you think... Uh, Jazz, can we not do that? I know it's a funny joke, I just don't like it. So, if we could not do that, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, okay, top five, top five old school, okay. Sorry, like, yeah, if, if, if you say, like, yours is, like, I don't know. <laughs> why, why is everybody being mean to smooth? <laughs> I... Yeah, we. I, I just don't like it when people time out people for jokes. Alright. <laughs> Could Arv possibly be going landship? Is there any chance? He's building Brandenburg. He's got cab tech, which I think makes him ahead of Hawks, right? Arv has to be going land ship, which I think is correct. No, I mean, like, some people are just, like, bannable, right? Like, I don't, I don't have an issue with that, but it's just, like, this, like, funny, like, timeout 10 seconds I just find annoying. Um, anyway. Yeah, Arv is going land ship. He's going freedom land ships. So we're going to see what happens as like Hawks recognize this. I think he should be if he doesn't beat Hawks to land ships Magris, it's completely over, right? Because our all Arv has is science bonuses, right? He doesn't have hammer bonuses, he doesn't have combat bonuses. So there's just nothing there for him. So he, the question is after like if he does beat Hawks to land ship, like we think he should, how far can he push? Will Glossin probably shouldn't slow him down at all, right? How much is he going to fight Glossin? Glossin PMing Hawks, Arv going arty it seems. And Hawks sees that Brandenburg. If Hawks steals some text towards landship, that would be insane for him. Hawks also has some real, some serious culture investment to do. He still isn't finished with commerce, which he has to finish, and he has to push. Um, he has to push auto, and he really. Oh wait, he's finished commerce, guys. Are you seeing that food on trading posts? Yep. So this is actually this next policy is either going to be ratio opener for faster landship, or it's going to get him towards total war. Yeah, I thought this was the culture cost for, um, I thought this was the culture cost for his Commerce 5, for five policy, but this is actually the culture cost for the one after that. So, Ox's culture has just gone straight up to good. I think Cathedrals are kind of a sleeper pick right now. Not a lot of people are picking Cathedrals, but I think they're really strong.
Yeah, there we go. Okay, Hawks buildings, military academies everywhere. He's got really strong. This 246 culture return. This is it. This is the moment. People. Houses is bullshit amazing smooth. Houses is actually great. It's they got ner they got nerfed down to one faith return and it's still like I think really strong. I think it's probably the best like pure sim secondary piety belief. People are doing a lot of lib piety. They're doing honor piety. Like I think trad piety is when you don't click houses. No smooth. Like the faith actually did something because you'd buy a lot of your you'd buy the houses more quickly. And then the other thing was that you'd be able to purchase every single piety GP, right? And you do this all with like goddess of love or with god of war. Um, you purchase your artist a chain, you get your writer, you'd go like, you know, order night or whatever. I think cutting off even one piety great person purchase is pretty good. I mean, it, it's like a significant impact, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Or you'd, uh, or you'd push, like, autocracy with it. It's just really good. I still think it's good, but games just haven't seen that friendly to, like, these pure sim builds anymore. So, ARV is actually not that far ahead of Hawks to land ship. I don't know what their scientist generation is like. So, ARV has... Like, Hawks is really just, like, two turns behind, as techs currently stand. I love I love this from Glosson. Glosson's so checked out at this point. Arv is one turn ahead. Okay, he's if Arv is only one turn ahead, he's not getting it. It. Yeah, Mexico was pretty busted smooth. I mean, the, one of the things that annoys me is that these like new Lexives, which are so clearly broken, do get nerfed down, but all this like. Oh, he didn't take mobilization. Okay, so Hawks is going to upgrade everything with this this commerce money. There's all these base game civs that, like, really did need a nerf, which still aren't getting nerfed. Like, Inca. Inca is so nonsense. All right, here goes Total War. Okay, our bio next turn. I don't know what timing this is. Arv doesn't have steam power yet, right? All, and also, teching electricity is really, like, I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, how's Arv on seven horses? I mean, every people should be giving Arv horses. If anybody in this lobby is like, you know, it, it if Arv were nicer to people, perhaps he would get these horses easily. Yeah. Certainly, like. If you're in this lobby and someone's like, oh, I'm going to, like, fight Hawks for you. You're like, hey, take my horses, please. Yep. So, our has oil finished next turn. I think, I think that was a scientist bulb, right? Um... Hawks is doing more science than him on more cities. Are building a museum for some reason. This is one of the the real problems with freedom is that in these wars, right? Like, there's not much to push in freedom that's actually helping you, right? When you're playing order, you're um, you know, you're saying, oh, I can get the mine hammer policy. I can get the free golden age. I'm gonna get a free scientist. You know, I'm gonna get all the hammers off my trade routes. When you're playing auto, auto is incredibly rewarding for culture, right? Auto is giving you everything. But the bonuses freedom is giving you, especially past freedom six, don't seem that good. Oh yeah, and thanks for calling this out, Plasma. It's like the the overflows here are ridiculous, right? He's gonna overflow these mill academies into like you know either double anti cav or shock cav, right? And he's gonna upgrade into land ships. I don't know when a scientist is. He's golden aging everything, right? 
this is like you know um if anybody's ever like read the iliad right there's this point where the narrator says you know the will of zeus was moving towards its end and that's like that's what's going on here is like hawks is deciding like okay i think it's time to end the game now and i kind of expect them to cc once arv dies if arv dies but who knows maybe they'll haggle for a place Yeah, let's see when the scientist spawn is. This is the other like weakness of being this is like the big weakness of being autocracy, right? That your scientist spawns are so much slower. The fuck? He's one turning Archeo? No, that that's just two turn into one turn. I'm being dumb, sorry. Yeah. I'm just giving you both open borders and hoping you fight it out. Okay, Arv does not have oil tech yet. I think he teched it down to one or something. Yep, we only read the Bible here. Yep, yeah, Hawks is just sitting up. How many cities is Hawks on? Five core cities. I think nine. One CS, and then three Japanese cities. Yep. And I, I do think he outscales Arv here, even with Arv on freedom, even with Arv having leaning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we may as well look at Glossen for a bit. Glossen's just building a lot of military, but all this stuff is so off era, and Glossen is so behind that there's really just nothing to be done here. He um doesn't appear to have coal improved, so yeah, I mean, this just this isn't happening for Glossen. There's a reason we haven't been looking at a stream very much. Yeah. I, I, we can also check on Gong. Um, Gong, still building facts. Got schools recently. Took autocracy, we know that. Again, I guys, this feels so strongly to me like a duel. Right? Like... Did we catch what ideology um, Gong took? I think that might be his third fact finishing. User disconnected from your channel. I mean, Poland's game was pretty slow, smooth, but it, like both Poland and Gong just like had pretty slow games. I think we we talked about this a lot. Gong made a lot of pretty poor early game decisions, and also like just. You can't not build your aqueducts. Um, and, yeah, Poland fell behind pretty badly. I think, in particular, not engineering Cheech in there is a complete throw. And commerce is not a sim tree. Especially not in this much culture. Yeah, should have been secondary piety, I think. Or even just, like, eat gong. Oh look, there's the rock. Maybe that'll get bucket towards his natural. Like ultimately you look at these guys, they're just not doing that much pop. Alright. I'm gonna predict this is something like one twenty five land ships from Hawks. It doesn't seem particularly fast.
Yeah, I mean, I don't think you really need feed on the coast, Magris. Um, I don't think you kind of get diminishing returns on food also, and you're running mostly food trade routes early game. But it's the aqueducts. It's 100% the aqueducts. Yeah. Okay, so Hawk's building that indicates that he thinks land ships is much, much faster than I do. <laughs> yeah. I think Guru Ship is a really bait belief on Piety. You're not working the slots faster than you get the thing. Channel. Yeah, if anyone wants to jump on with me, we're getting to the very exciting part, and uh, I've lost Alex, so it's just me talking to myself. Very lonely. I mean, this is just going to be... I, I firmly think this is like Hawk's game. So, you know, it's just one of my guys. Yeah, smooth. This felt like a really, like, really felt like a three city into Explo play from, like, from Gong, right? I don't know why Gong is, like, throwing these settlers at these islands as, as piety when there there's these fast settlers you can put down, right? And then possibly get, like, GL or Oracle and then go into Explo. Although that, those plays really are dependent on getting GL and or Oracle, so... Maybe it's not. All right, there's Hawk Scientist. He re-allies re Valletta. He's doing quite a lot of gold. Oh, he's bulbing these merchants. He's also, like, he's got Colossus. It's not, you know, terrible to plant on your Colossus city to run externals from. Okay, bulbs oil. He has lots of oil nodes, of course, because he's on two empires and he's got a lot of land. <laughs> he is still pretty far from land ship. This no ironworks is kind of surprising to me. Hawks, um, compared to a lot of like other players, Hawks really doesn't value um, hammer buildings. Hawks thinks stables are generally bait. He still hasn't built his ironworks, as you can tell. Um, food is good, but hammers are bad. That's the the moral. You think ironworks is more? Uh, it costs more than it'll ever pay back, Smooth? Or do you think it's more about the tempo that um, that you're doing something now and you can build ironworks before it could be useful? Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like here the, the whole game is to get as many cav as you can so that you're, you have things to spend your upgrade gold on. Also, I don't see Arties out of Hawks. He's not even building cannons. If Kyoto actually has a mill academy up, that's such a fast flip. Yeah, and let's go look at Arv. Arv is pretty close to landship. He is teching dynamite. He's doing less science than Hawks, but his scientist models will be much better. His tech costs are much lower. 
I'm pretty sure what Arv is doing is that he's going to already into Glosson. Then he's going to upgrade land ships in Glosson's land. I think that's his plan. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten a lot of stable arguments. Yeah, let's see. Oh, building a our building a zoo seems. Hmm. Yeah, this is. It, I don't want to hype you guys too much, but we're really getting close to like the. The biggest showdown of the lobby we've had so far, like. Three pretty fast wars. We've had Glosson's comp war against Arv, which was um, awful. We've had Hawks Expo against uh, against Swartz against Japan, which was very very fast. And so once they get to landship, right, that's gonna be probably the last big war. There might be some mop up, you know. There might be that like, you know, Hawks has to nominally go around collect some collect some caps, but yeah, we're we're coming very close to the end. Yeah, he's roading everywhere. He's got significantly more hammers than Arv, and like something people don't really think about too much is how many virtual hammers hammers commerce is. Um, when so normally when you buy units. Yeah, if I were one of the other three, I'd want to be out. Who, Mega? I mean, Hawks is auto and has only taken fascism. He still hasn't taken, um, I don't think he's taken the thing. Um, barracks, military. Mega, do you want to, do you want to get on TeamSpeak with me? I've been talking to myself for like 10 minutes at this point. Um, and Hawks is seeing, I believe, one writer. Yeah, between Big Ben, Auto, and Commerce, the conversion of gold to um, unit hammers is incredibly efficient. It's something like, I believe it's two to one. Um, could be even less. So, you know, he's already top hammers. He's got a lot of hammers. Upgrade gold is also a two to one conversion. There's a lot of stuff in Hawks' favor in any long extended war. So when you're Arv and you're looking at this, you're thinking, oh... I want to, um, yeah, you want to kill him so fast and so effectively that you deprive him of getting those hammers to use, right? That, in my view, is not happening. Um, Arv is not even significantly faster to land ship than, than Hawks, I don't think. At least from, like, looking at their respective tech screens. I don't know about scientist spawns because none of them are UI users, but, yeah... Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Steam power in two. Does R does Hawks have Artie? Yeah, no, nobody can. Like, if Glosson even like looks the wrong way, he's just dead. Let's let's go look at Glosson POV for a second. Glosson's sitting on muskets and longswords. He's unhappy. He's teching schools. Is Arvid war with him, or is he just walking through? I really can't tell. Like Poland can't even backstab Hawks. Like he would have to go through some CS. And again, let's look at Poland's position. He's teching Cav right now. He's building windmills and schools. It doesn't look good to me, guys. I, I think this game has been a duel for quite a while.
Does Hawks have fertilizer? He's he's unfarmed all this, you know, non freshwater tiles, so I actually don't know. Okay, Arv has oil. He's teching steam powered now. Like Hmm. They're actually like the exact same turns on steam power, but I don't think Hawks has already or even fertilizer. I don't think he has fertilizer. So I think Arv is going to be like faster to land ship. I expect him to be like maybe even three, possibly four turns faster. Depends on the scientist spawns. Um, do you get a scientist soon out of Japan? Those unis were pretty slow to come up, right? Yep, there we go. He sees those calves. Yeah, Hawks doesn't have fertilizer or Artie. So he's still a ways off. Hawks, Hawks is going to Oxford. Do you, do you think Oxford railroad smooth so that you don't die to to land ship? It's possible. But he doesn't have the Lancers for it. Alternatively, you just Oxford flight. And... Um... Yeah. You just buy a bomber stack. Bombers are incredibly efficient against land ships. So land ships have one of the reasons land ships are so good is that land ships have this fifty percent um unit class bonus. Every single land unit when it fights a land ship, uh, the land ship gets a fifty percent combat bonus. It's very, very, very strong. Um planes don't eat that bonus. So a lot of times a plane is fighting much better against a land ship than a than like a even an anti tank rifle is. The most effective unit in the game at fighting GDR is a is a double anti land unit promoted stealth bomber. That's that's the most reasonable thing you can get. It's better than a heli. Big, uh, big resync. Looks like they're surviving. I do think, yeah, he, he just, he needs to not die, basically. That's the whole thing. And, but, and like, Arv isn't at landship yet. We still don't know what Hawks scientist spawns are like. Hawks is something like, hmm. Currently, because he doesn't have fertilizer and and dynamite, those are like that's like one scientist of text behind basically, right? Also, I don't know what our scientist spawns are like, so I don't know like yeah, I don't know when people scientist spawns are like. Okay, Arv is a scientist too. That's actually a pretty good turnover. Hawks, I have absolutely no idea. I don't understand this these privateers from, from Hawks. I think he's like worried about getting teamed or he's like trying to fight Gong or something, but Yeah, leaning leaning pretty big for Arv. He got leaning and pork. It's a it's a pretty significant combination. Alright, Arv killing Glosson. This is um I'm sure this is in some sense revenge for some of Glosson's more uh, idiotic choices. <laughs> and Hawks just says, I don't want to deal with this, and runs away immediately. You know, you can kill Glosson. I'm not going to save you. <laughs> Alright, this is the fight. All right, this is it, kids. Buckle up. We're going to be doing this for a while.
Yeah, if um, if Arv is willing to take, first of all, if Arv is willing to take loss in cities and you know make himself unhappy, that's great. But more than that, if Hawks steals a city off of Arv and he's behind on tax, he gets a tech toward lane ship. Yeah, Glossin finally gets rid of the albatross around his neck, the lodestone. I mean, Hawks is only at 5 happy here. Arv is at 14. So Hawks will, I assume Hawks is going to take an auto happy policy soon. Huh. This is kind of a weird setup for his calves, especially like I I don't think you want to be fighting into Artie like this, especially when you're you're hoping to hit land ship soon, you know. Let Arv push. Let Arv take cities. You know, you don't uh, wait until he's in your territory. Cycle on your own roads. Yeah, every every hammer of production is a lot more valuable to Arv than it is to Hawks. Also, Arv, like, uh, Arv kind of needs a win, guys. <laughs> Arv has not picked up a win yet. He's trying to get into, uh, you know, into quals. This is his best chance so far. He was very close to, to winning um, that game with Slazer and Purify. And he got punked there. And now, I think if he does kill Hawks here, it's his game. Hawks doesn't need a win because Hawks is this is Hawks' first game. This is Arv's third. If Arv goes, if Arv doesn't get the win here, he needs to win both of his next games. Yeah, eventually Hawks needs a win. Is Arv not queuing Oxford? That's um. That doesn't seem like the best possible decision to me. Wait, did he already Oxford? Did I miss that somewhere? There's no way. Wait, Hawks has flight? Okay, this is over. So here here's Yeah, I think I think that's probably right then. So you just take mobilization, you buy a plane stack. Oh my god. Yikes. That's not what you want to see when you throw an engineer. Hmm. So the problem is Hawks needs mobilization to spend all this money effectively. Oh, he's trying to think about stealing a text towards... Okay, here, okay, I get it now. Here's what's going on. He's going to bomb down Itaspicho. And he's going to steal text towards landship. That's the plan. And I don't think Arv has anything that can fight bombers. Oh, he has mobilization. Yeah, I think... So So what's what's Hawk stealing here? It's probably... Um, Artie? Yeah, this is actually just great. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have Artie, and he doesn't have Railroad. Yeah. What? Are we settling another city? <laughs> Man, I love Arv chat. <laughs> Does Hawks just lose at this point? He's going to bomber. He's going to bomber to steal. I think this is a case where he bombers to steal railroad. Well, okay, the the first thing that stops him from getting an airport magus is that airports are at radar. So, you know, he's definitely not able to get that. Yep. Yeah, this just feels like bomber city into throw bombers. Yeah. I mean, and, and again, like let's, let's look at Hawk's combat bonuses here. He's got autocracy. He's got honor. He's used a lot of his commerce money. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we're going to see these bombers do a huge... Uh, bombers, when they're uncontested and they're full health like this, are incredibly scary. Also, I'm surprised Hawks isn't microing down that Perora to 2. I feel like it's supposed to be down to 2. Yeah, these are... Guys, the, the, the anti-land unit promo on the bomber is one of the best promos in the game. It's 33%. You get triple of these promos, you literally got a double strength unit. It's... It's strong. I, I don't know. Like, what, what do you want to... Yeah, so Hawks is like calves are just taking like twenty two percent off of Artie. Like, yeah, sure. You want to five shot my calves? All right. I mean, I can make more. Yeah, uh, Mega. I don't have RF POV because RF's not streaming in here. It's, uh, you know, it's a... yep, no RF. So all we've got is really Hawks. Yeah. All right, air unit, enjoy your time. I'm surprised he didn't take range on any of these. I guess he thinks he's going to air repair. Oh, Arv is upgrading land ships on the front. Oh god, and they're just getting bombed down. That's, uh... We've seen a lot that... Like, the power of the bomber against the land ship is huge. So, Hawks is going to give up ground, and every turn he's giving up ground, these bombers are going to do more and more and more damage. And these, I think he's taking with range because he wants to be able to shoot from the city. Arv, that's really bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, I mean, Arv can still throw units in, right? But they're just gonna, they're constantly gonna get shredded by these bombers. Yep, and here's another, the second round. These guys are only double promoted against land units, so they're not quite as busted, right? But still. And this is why Commerce Plains is, like, such a hard attack to fight, right? Like, you think about, oh my god. Wow. These bombers really, even with the, the recent bomber buffs, they do not want to reach. Okay, so Hawks is settling this city to, uh, he's just going to rebase most of these guys. So... I think what Hawks is going to try to do here, here's my, my guess, right? He's going to try to just, like, bomb down everything Arv has and then take that city to steal landship. Yeah, let's see what... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's that? Oh, come on. You're Really? He's not going to micro that Pura down to one? I, that is just not doable? I mean, Pura is like another uh, is another thing towards Clousy. You have to get Clousy here, right? And he's just buying another bomber stack. Yep. Taking quite a lot of range promotions on these guys, which is going to keep them farther from air repair. Yeah, he can buy another merchant RV. Um, yeah, okay, so next turn, Arv is going to possibly slam with the land ships, right? But every time he's slamming, he's exposing them to uh, to bomber fire. And Arv is like a very fast war player, right? It's possible that it, you know, it's fine, right? That he's just gonna like dart them out of vision, but yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, the how do you how do you if Arv manages to get some triplanes up, things become pretty different. Um but he looks like he's two turns off flight, right? There's just a lot of shit he would have to do in order to uh to get to a position where he could actually defend his cities with triplanes, right? And by the time he gets triplanes up, Hawks is going to have more gold. Hawks is going to be able to buy triplanes and sweep through. Very hard to fight on a commerce autocracy. Nearly impossible, even. I mean, especially when they're top demos. Like, Arv is getting regular out hammered, ignoring all this gold advantage. Alright, so I expect to see the first move from Arv. Arv is going to, like, kill some frontline units and then just, like, pull his calves out. Ah, uh, and, and Hawks is using the airship to try to get sight. That's his plan. Yeah, this is, I mean, we've been hyping Hawks over, like, in NA for a very long time. And I don't think this is even, like, a particularly strong performance from him. Hawks' actual issue here is his happy, right? You see that zero happy? That could be a concern. Yeah. So we're looking the 10% from Discipline, another 10% from Elite Forces, triple promos, which, you know... Yeah, it's rough. It, I wouldn't want to fight here. Yeah, he's going to get Pura. Pura is happy. And then Pura is also free social policy, right? All right, let's see. Let's see what ours war moves look like. Yeah, you'd like to make the bombers useless, right? But the problem is, like, Hawks can already fire on Tazipcho, and once Hawks gets land ship, right? Oh, Hawks. Okay, he's just pulling out. Ours just pulling out. He's okay. So now Hawks is kind of daring him. He's like, you know, please shoot my... Please, please attack my guys. Let me bomb you. God, the, those bombers in Cusco are actually really frustrating. Right? And, and because Arv... Actually, Arv made a serious misplay here taking that city... Because now, um, Hawks will be able to steal, yeah, he'll either be able to steal land ship or railroad or some, like, some very important tech off of the city. And look at Hawks, he's just suiciding calves in because, um, this is actually a sacrifice. We, we, Lawson was sacrificing units before and Miyota was kind of like, say, that's not a sacrifice, but that's just a misplay. This is an actual sacrifice. Yeah, this was a really big mistake, Cushy, um. It was not the sort of play you'd expect an experienced late game player to make. Yeah, these bombers just grind you out. Sorry, did, didn't we catch what Hawks took? Was it lightning? Oh yeah, it's lightning time. Guys, lightning is the shit. This is going to be... Alright. I mean, Arv also really made a mistake by taking electricity. Electricity did nothing for him. Right? Like, what? Like, hydros? Come on. Right? Arv is full, like... I don't know, like, five turns of science behind where he should be because he teched electricity. Oh, wait. Is Hawks going to steal electricity off of the city? Yeah, okay. That that's a possibility. I think electricity and railroad are same tech cost, right? If Hawks waits for railroad to take it, he's just not gonna get land ship, he is gonna get electricity. Which kinda gets you closer to a radar, so it's not the end of the world, but it's like just terrible. Yeah, Hawks should take Glossin City. Um Glossin is pretty much a non entity at this point. Let's go look it over at Glossin. 
Glosson's still unhappy, still bleeding gold, uh, still very behind on science. Glosson is doing an Ashwin impersonation. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to the, the cool shit. And, oh, Arv is also lost. Reykjavik is declaring war on Arv. Oh my god, Hawks is allied to 3CS. <laughs> yep. This is, as the kids say, kind of Jover. My brother started saying Jover. It's really annoying. Anyway. Okay, it looks like Hawks is trying to steal Railroad. He's thinking about his scientist spawns. One and three. So this would have been like 121 land ships, I think, if if he'd Oxforded it. If he'd Oxforded the land ships instead of flight. But flight's completely correct here. This is kind of just like textbook on dealing with land ships. Oh, that was the resync, guys. Did you see that? Hox's scout died in the previous version, but it lived in this one. That's what caused the resync. Right. Yeah, taking taking that city gives Hawks a free tech. You you can't be going around letting people multi Oxford on you. Um, here meaning that of course like Hawks would Oxford that tech anyway. So yeah. So now Hawks is throwing in his airship just to see. Yeah, this is, uh, who let scientists funding pass? Serious question. Like, there, there's, there's some value, like, if you're, um, yeah, it's huge. Oh, Hawks lost a general. Somewhere. Like, I do just generally expect Arv to out Warhawks. It's just that Hawks is, like, I mean, first of all, Hawks is, like, tech path here is correct. And second, he just got more stuff. Yeah, I think he just misclicked a general. Cushy. I mean, you take those, right? This this is the real problem, right? These, these bombers in Cusco not doing anything. And you see him rebasing them to Machu? Odd. Oh, he's cycling bombers to heal them. That's what's happening. So the ones in Tiwanuku, are that's like the healing station. All right? Then he's going to get a fresh round of, of firing off again next turn. So Arv has flight, but he's only building one triplane. Um, and so you see he's kind of falling behind um, his river. You know, to, to sort of, like, defend with land ships. The best thing you can do versus planes... Okay, the best thing you can do versus planes is have a lot of anti-air and make them have to have so many triplanes that they can't sweep you. That they, that they can't have enough room to bomb you, basically. And that's the, the absolute best thing you can do. The second best thing is just, you know, not be there to shoot at. Um, and that's what Arv is doing. He's making all of the, the bombers kind of useless by not giving Hawks anything to shoot at. Unfortunately, there's something... Um, south of Izanyathi called a city that's going to give Hawks landship tech, or, or at least railroad, and that's going to be a problem. Cities can't run. That's the old maxim, right? Yeah, and if you're, if you're Hawks, I do think you're supposed to buy a, uh, buy a merchant here. You know, just keep the gold up. He's doing 500 gold per turn. Like, even if that's 250 hammers, that's a lot of hammers. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you just eat gloss in here, right? Oh, God, yeah, Clousy. Clousy is going to be nightmarish for... 
I don't know why people pick these fights without combat bonuses. No, he... Oh, it's eight turns? All right, yeah. He just hard attacks it. He just hard... That's, um, 15... Uh, 250... Uh, maybe it is, like... Whatever. I can't do math smooth. That's only eight? I think it's, like, six. Whatever. Yeah, it's six turns to, to hard. Yep. <laughs> And he's still pretty behind. He's behind Arvon Tech, but he's got all the advantages right now. Okay. Hawks is about to put Glossin out of his misery. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Glossin has. Is Glossin even aware? Glossin. Glossin doesn't care. Glossin's got like a double row of muskets. He's maxing for this tech steal. Glossin's just been in pain this whole game. Yeah. It's not happening. Yeah, Glossin, Glossin can come talk with me. My god, I'm so tired. Alright, there's Hawk Scientist. The problem is, if he tries to greed and steal a land ship, he's actually going to get something else. He's going to get, um... I, 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 if he comes on, I'll tell him smooth. I'll tell him. And the hope for all of these guys, right, is that, you know, maybe Arvs and, and Hawks War steals out and you get to come from behind. I mean, I don't know, Kushi. Like, Hawks is not exactly the poster boy for fast bomber clicks. <laughs> I, the, the real problem with Arv is that he's, he's got one triplane, right? He's, he's starting to get more of them up now, right? But you can't... Oh, he's numpad starring? Yeah. Yep, that'd do it. Um, okay, he's killing Glosson, three, four, five, liberate the city, I assume, yep. And while Glossin has military, this is the kind of military that's more like food. You can see he's just getting one shot with these bombers. And at least Glossin's hitting his swaps on these, right? <laughs> this is actually the moment of vulnerability for for hawks right if arv comes in right now with the land ships he can do actually do some damage all right Arv's got the triplanes up, so Hawks is going to respond by making his own triplanes. Hawks just really needs more bomber bases. And he's sitting on his own, um, his own scientist. I mean, this, this game is kind of over, Cushy, right? Like, the decisions, like, Arv is not going to get sixth here. He's not gonna get fifth so arv is really fighting to like make it into third smooth do not bring that miota talk around here i swear to god any plan which involves 
getting your your bombers intercepted is terrible. You'd yell at someone for like slamming a a cab into like a fortified rifle in a citadel, wouldn't you? That's it's it's worse than that. How's going to do with the gloss and failed comp war? This isn't the Hawks game to lose, Cushy. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that comp war was a big swing. But that was like, you can kind of put that at, at Hawks' feet because Hawks explicitly set that up. As, as Magger said, he fed he fed Glosson to Arv. There's actually a, a production of the Ring of the Nibelung in, around my area that I was going to watch not important. Um, I expect Glosson to just leave as soon as his cap is gone because I don't think you stay here. Man, Inca is such a nonsense sieve. All right. So Hawks is going to try to steal Railroad off of Itazpicho. Itazipcho. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six bomber shots, and that's good enough. We got electricity, so now he's completely free to steal railroad off of Arv. Glo yep, and Glossage is gone. Glossage just says, ah, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> um... Did he bulb electricity? That's insane. Yeah, GG Glosson. Yeah, that's um. I I I feel like Glosson bulbed that because we saw his his. Uh, he can't liberate. He has to puppet. And that's railroad. Now he goes to land ships. Yep, he guaranteed rail from Arv. Honestly, if he'd waited one oh great, that's land ships. Yep, this is like it's 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 over. Here I'll PM Glossin if he wants to come on mic. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much of it was a king make. I felt like it was over already, but I mean, Poland could take those cities, but for what techs? Glossen was behind on tech, right? So no, hussars and artillery do nothing against bombers, right? The only thing that does anything against bombers is like cover infantry and um, having triplanes of your own. And I'm willing, I would bet a pretty significant amount of money that Bucket is pretty far from triplanes. Yep, he doesn't even have rifling. Uh, yeah. What's up? Is that Glossin? Hello. Hey, what's up, Glossin? Yeah, I think you're... that was the most. Oof. I got baited going into the Kobanari, but um yeah, I mean even if I'd gone into bucket, it's I'm not even sure how I swim out of that. Like oh god, that was so bad. Yeah, it was not the best decision I've ever seen from you. <laughs> Alright. But I, I brought I you mean, on for what a do you reason. Do with that land? What do you do with that land? It's god awful. Well, if you're gonna go comps, you don't settle at Taza Picho, that's for sure. Uh. yeah, yeah. I was like, oh yeah. And yeah, it was a bad idea. Magr said. Magr like, said I that I was so on the fence about that city, and then I settled it, and I was like, "Oh, it's a good city," but also it was a bad idea. Magr said, as as Hawks was talking to you, that Hawks was feeding you to Arv, which, yeah, yeah. All right. So what we've got here is we've got Hawks Honor Commerce Autocracy. He's about to just he stole railroad off of Itazipcho. Right? Yeah, which I think I was a pretty big error from Arv. You don't yeah, take I that agree. city. 
Um, our doesn't really have triplanes up, so this this fully feels like Hawks' game to me. Yeah, I don't see a world in which Hawks loses this. It, it's he's a strong player. He's very familiar with this era of war. Uh, this is like his weavy bread and butter. He's got more than enough strategic resources. He's on three caps. Like yeah, he's got. Uh, discipline. Clavzy is soon also. Yeah, he's auto. He's got auto promos. I would be shocked if he didn't win this. He's just gonna run over the world. Like, yep. Yeah, it's these bombers, right? You you absolutely can't fight bombers unless you've got triplanes. You're just throwing meat in front. Otherwise, I mean, the problem with that is that triplanes don't even hold that well against auto. Like, they just get swept to death. But at least like you're forcing them. You're forcing, you're forcing them to take the this. bomber slots, right? This is why it's held Hawks back the most is not having bomber slots to fire from. And I'm pretty sure that's why he took your city. Honestly, yeah, probably. I really like planting Huamanga mm-hmm. um, from him. I think that was a really smart play. Yeah, it's only bad if you can't defend that city, but he definitely and can. He can. He's got bomber shots for it. Yep. <laughs> He's desperately trying to rebuy Valetta. Before someone else buys it, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Gotta get that first move off. Very important. And he'll take <laughs> That's isn't the most Yathi. important first move. That actually is, though. Oh, there we go. So so Arv got some intercepts up. Oh, yeah. I mean, he should have sweeps. He does have sweeps. He just <laughs> didn't think Arv would get the intercepts um, up that fast. How many... Has he burned Oxford? Did he burn he Oxford? He burned Oxford the... for flight, which in which feels like totally right. So he Oxforded flight. He basically tuned up Arv's land ships as they came in, right? Then he mm-hmm. managed to push back with them, and now he has land ships of his own. Yeah. I really like that. Okay, Hawks, you can't beat... It's, it's Miota. It's like Miota all over again. <laughs> Stop bombing. You've got sweeps. Use them. I do Move that. out your dead planes. Move in your triplanes. <laughs> and sweep the fuck out of them. <laughs> yeah, I... Um, some, of the, this, some of the guys in chat were saying... Turn. What were you saying? Some of the guys in chat were saying that actually if you're Hawks here, you just bomb into the intercepts to get them out of the way because you have so much air superiority. Which, uh, it's an option, right? That's the Miota, that's the Miota school. Of, uh... <laughs> Miota has been winning games. Yeah. Uh, Glosson, why, why did you have electricity uh, two turns after getting school tech? Uh, I stole it off of Arv. Oh. Here. I, I just buy into two expands. That'll do it. Yeah. So... Hawks actually stole electricity off of you, and then railroad off. Yeah, of I know. Yeah, I know. I, I I I watched that happen like a moment later, and just like, oh god. Yeah, I mean, your your game just seemed terrible from the moment. I, actually, it seemed terrible even before you tried to come up. It was terrible. That land was dog shit. What am I supposed to do? Uh, it, you were supposed to comp bucket. Smooth was actually pretty I know, triggered. No, I should have just comp bucket. That was a big mistake. So, yeah, so but... what went through my mm-hmm. thought process there was, um, my thought process there was, uh, I was worried that if I comped bucket, I'm still in between Arv and, uh, I'm still in between Arv and uh, Hawks. Yep. If I kill Arv there, then I can sim out of a corner uh, and set up to kind of basically set up the world as me against hawks and mm-hmm. get resources from the other players because otherwise hawks obviously just gonna roll yeah which is what he's doing um but i wasn't able to do that i wasn't able to kill arv and i successfully make that happen yeah it's very hard to make a play with arv like at your back um yeah well it's very hard to make a play with the two strongest uh players in the lobby by far mm-hmm. sitting on either side of you and they have no path to each other except through you yeah it was very that's funny like, watching you say like a guys hellish situation you can take that city i'm not even gonna fight you for that city yeah <laughs> i mean i think it's the only chance i have yeah and it's not even much of a chance look at this we've got it's... autocracy on two caps actually on three now running out of oil i mean he's improving more yeah but this is did um, he not take third alternative he didn't he took lightning we're we're watching lightning gaming mm, i don't like that you don't take I lightning mean, you don't take third all on three caps i do there's never there's no such thing as too much oil mm, i mean he's maxed he's out, out of oil 
Yeah, but he, he's like he's on twenty four bombers or something like that. I think it's. Yeah. There's no such thing as too much oil. So apparently, Arv has given up the ghost. Uh. Given up the what? The ghost of the chance. Like, I don't know why Arv wasn't auto here. I think the play he made even would have been better if he'd been autocracy. Freedom feels like such a throw. You can't be trying to push this with no combat bonuses. Did Arv peace? Nope. Although, I'm surprised... Doesn't Hawks he just is... crumple? What? Doesn't he just crumple? He does crumple. Yep. Oh, no, Hawks, well played. Yeah. <sighs> But no I'm combat so bonuses. Sad. Arv attacking with Trad and Piety. He doesn't have discipline. He doesn't. He doesn't have like elite forces. Like yeah, he's he's people... just gonna get clobbered. Like yeah, he's trying to pull back here. He's just gonna get cut to pieces if Hawks is like I don't know. Like if Hawks is has has enough sweeps he just gets tried to cut to pieces here but right even if he doesn't right like you can't be frontlining these triplanes right because hawks also has land ship advantage right mm -hmm. like and he's inca yeah and, and he's, he's got inca warfare. like yeah inca with lightning he's got killy too i don't know if you knew that uh he's got killy yeah uh Jesus. denzel had killy and oh God. now hawks and has killy all of his calves he didn't actually he i think he got some of them but the, the point's still but there. But he does have some killy land ships. That's absurd. Yep. 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 Jesus. Okay. So, yeah. Hawks, Hawks is just going to sweep. Yeah. If you will play Hawks. This is pain, the most painful game I've ever played. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I think you personally know a lot better than to settle Itazipcho and then try to comp someone. I did. I do. <laughs> should have known better. You really should have. Yeah, so bad. five triplanes from Arv, and I think we saw four sweeps from from Hawks. So he's gonna bomb into intercept once, and then I, I think that. now he's okay. He could afford to bomb into intercept once. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he he did. Yep. He did, and it was eighty-one damage, which means it oh, that, that's so actually a there. second. Okay. Now now he's through. Now he's through all the intercepts. Yeah, the Inca gold is ridiculous. Is he mid turning yeah. or something? No, it's just probably range stuff. Man, I hate it when people mid turn intercept. It's gotten to the point where I refuse to like start sweeping or bombing until halfway through the turn because I just I just don't want to deal with yeah. it. Yeah. All right, and this is it. This is I the, mean, the that's, classic. That's why you say ints, right? Yeah. That's, it's just the polite thing to do. So this is Go how ahead. you do a land ship slam, right? So he's setting up the triple flanking, right? He's yeah. got four right there, right? So he's gonna go slam, 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 swap, slam. I mean, with triple flanking, auto versus yeah. freedom, you don't even need. The it's about the principle line. of the thing. It's very important to teach the kids good. Uh, <laughs> teach the kids at home. Got yeah, four, right. Got to set up slam, 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 swap, slam. Yep, and like I, I see too many people do this, like you know, cycle in, cycle out stuff. This is how you do it. Watch it, folks. Boom. Yep. Yep, and then he, then you yep. set it up. Everything's compact. You do it again. Yep. But I, I think they're really punishing. There's a lot of things that are going like badly for Arv here. Some, but some of the worst of them is no combat bonus. <laughs> I do watch my own VODs plasmas, <laughs> right? He he doesn't even you, have defender. That's... You can't fight units of the same. Air. He doesn't even have uh, Himeji either. Yeah, you bucket snag that. Yep. You can't fight units of the same era of the same type. Uh, against auto without some kind of modifiers. It just, you're going to get your... It, the modifier against you is something like 25%, and 25% means that they... It takes them three units for every five of yours to kill a unit. It takes them... Uh, like, it's... It's so much harder to actually kill units. Like, the trades are, are so much more awkward. Look at this. An enemy land ship, 35 damage, attacked your land ship, 23. This is exactly what you're talking about, Gloss. Yep. Yep. It, like, you, you just, it doesn't work. You have to be, the only way to get around or to beat auto as not auto is to just be ahead of them. And Arv is not ahead of Hawks here. He was for a bit. He, he really threw, I think, by teching electricity. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get that either. Th th there was a lot about Arv's play, I think, that didn't quite make sense to me. Let's put it like that. 
Um, yeah, we, we were also predicting that, you know, you would lose cap and you just go. Completely right. I I didn't even see, like, I mean, what the am timer I tick down. Do? Yeah. <laughs> The rules say the rules say that you can uh, stay if you have a path to relevancy. I have no path to relevancy. I'm the most irrelevant player there. I'm arguably more irrelevant than the AI. Yeah, like if, if he'd gone auto and he'd gone straight ships, this really becomes a fight, right? Yeah, I agree. But he didn't. He went freedom. I mean, what, what everyone Slazer, you're high. He should not have gone labs. There was never he Hawks was coming. You don't go labs here, Slazer. The thing, yeah, he can't ever go labs. Um. The thing that Hawks, or the, the thing that would have maybe given me a path to relevancy was if uh, Arvius went auto and tried to do futurism. Mm. Um, I was halfway to convincing half the lobby to give me units and gold to go kill him. Mm. Yeah, I saw that, and I was very surprised because I was also looking at your tech and your hammers and your happiness, and I was like, I'm not giving <laughs> this guy shit. <laughs> the goal was basically to get them to give me Arvius. <laughs> yeah that was the hope <laughs> and i and i mean i probably could have made it work like hussars and just going to Artie, and then like afterwards i don't know I, the problem is if i did that i couldn't hit bucket because he would have given me hussars and i'm not sure i could hit hawks because he probably would have given me land ship or whatever it's like well now i'm at Artie, and i don't know i have no tech path or relevancy yeah it was just a painful game what I should have done, so the thing that I should have done to sim out of this is I clicked Honor because I'm dumb. I should have clicked Petro. Possible. I didn't have the happiness. Yeah. Honor did nothing for me. Petro would have given me happiness, would have given me gold. My game still would have been god-awful, but like at least I would have gotten like probably like a turn 100 fax timing instead of 110. <laughs> But I don't really blame myself for that. This was one of the worst games I've ever played. I'm so miserable. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm arguing in the chat because that's what I do. Because I have brain damage. Um. So they're trading the city back and forth. Um. I don't know if Arv is really winning on trading these back and forth. It's possible that if, like, Hawks runs out of front line, it's okay. Yeah, uh, Cushy, to answer your question or statement, um, like, like I said earlier, I went into Arv instead of Bucket because... I identified Arvin, uh, identified Arvin Hawks as the two most dangerous players in the lobby, and everyone else as not dangerous, um, or not dangerous in the same way. And my conclusion was that I needed to kill one of them. Um, and if I didn't kill one of them, I was going to get caught in the crossfire, which is exactly what happened. Yeah, um, but I think I it, did... you just eat your food, right? Somebody serves you food, you eat your food. All yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, just go heavy culture there, try and flip cities, get courthouses, wait for them to go passing through, and hope that at the time I'm relevant. And I think I still make the same play backing off of those two cities and holding that cap, but like if I can do it in a relevant fashion, then yeah, I don't know. Uh, and if I do that, I, I, if I went north, I would never settle as Jeffo. I, I think in every version of the game, that was I the wrong I think it's to never settle. correct to settle as Chippo. I got baited because it's a really nice city, but mm -hmm. like. It was just wrong. Oh well. So, one of the things Hawks doesn't have here, which is interesting, because he doesn't have any artillery. I mean, he's got bombers. Mm, but the bombers are really useful against the, the land ships, right? Yeah, you yeah, got so I got, whispered. I got a little bit whispered into attacking. This is Arv. normally what you do. I mean, it was a little bit that, but like I, I kind of had come to that conclusion before I ever, um, before I ever like, before he ever whispered that to me. Like I was thinking, oh, I need to go into Arv because Arv had the best tech. Arv had the best like, sim. Arv had like the best setup, and I like 
killing Arv is my, like, it's the best path to, like, if I can successfully kill Arv there, then Yeah, it's kind of like the low percent play. You think, my, my situation's bad, I don't know how I get to the win. You think, how does this happen? And you start from there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I would not really put this on Fox. This was, like, my own decision-making process. Yeah. All right, so the, what's going to happen here is that at some point, Arv is either going to run out of landship or he's going to retreat to a different defensive line. Um, I mean, either way, he's just getting bashed to pieces. Like, It's possible if he holds long enough that, you know, some of these other guys could pull something out. It's not likely, but, you know, it's possible. I doubt it. Like... I don't know. When's World's Fair vote? Uh, I don't see it. Eight turns. If I were Arv, if I were Arv, what I would do right now is just propose CC while he's still second. This is a this is a thing that's been suggested. I believe in Arv chat by Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the correct play. Yeah. Um, who's uh, Mana now? Is that Smooth? No. Uh, man, is someone else. Is smooth is just smooth. Smooth like oh, went yeah. to sleep or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth, smooth said the same thing. Yeah. Yep. No, uh, that's that's the highest EV play here because you're not ever beating Hawks here. You can't. Why would uh, Citadel on Oasis, right? You cannot Citadel on Oasis. You can't Citadel on. Why did you put it on, on the Oasis? That's just a kill tile for bombers. Good question. Yep, and there we go. See, this is how you do it, kids. Oh, and then he just pursues anyway. There you go. Slazer, there's no reason for Hawks to not push hard here. Yeah, he, he can he can break Arvius here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really don't like that position on the Citadel. Does does Hawks have bomber shots possibly on the the that land ship? It's weak too. Okay, teching labs here is actually in tank. Like, if you're two turns from labs, you could be at real tanks, which gives you anti tank guns. You could be at AA guns, right? Like, you don't throw away. Like, we we know from snow theory, you can't build labs in these wars. It, it, it's just you don't have time to devote the hammers to it. Instead, you should be teching for something that is actually useful, right? Can can Arv get to radar? Can Arv like can, could he get to the radar AT? tanks? Like there are places to go. I mean, real tanks the, are a significant problem... combat improvement, but more than that, anti tank guns, right? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's very useful. Labs are not useful. Yep. Yeah. No. I, so Kushi, the the problem is. And this has been proven like over and over again in Snowbees, because like this is exactly what we do in Snowbees. We just do landship war for like hours. Um, we used to. I blame you that we don't do it anymore. Yeah, the month's a little bit broken right now. Um, the The problem with going labs is that labs are a high hammer cost, uh, and they're a diversion from the primary tech path that. Uh, they're diversion from the primary tech paths that, like, don't actually push, uh, like, a win... Don't actually push you closer to, uh, relevant units in time without giving up a unit advantage. Because you're spending the hammers on labs instead of spending the hammers on units. Instead, if you have a tech advantage, you just need to go straight to whatever the next unit is. Anti-tank guns would be great here. Um, regular tanks would be great here. Radar would be great here. Fighters would be... Uh, like, I think triplanes are kind of a shit unit. That being said, fighters are a pretty decent unit. Or like fighters AA guns also, are... really. Strong. Or AA guns. Or AA guns. AA guns would be huge here. AA guns do AA not guns take damage on being swept. Like a real headache. Yeah. Um, these labs... Like, so in order for labs. labs to pay off, he would have to get to the units, right? Yeah. But... While he would be possibly building those labs, he would be dying. Yep. It's it just you can't spend the hammers there. So next turn, Hawks is going to push him out of uh, Istapo entirely, and then he's going to have, and then he's going to move bombers in, and that'll be that. 
once there are bombers in that city, I think that's. What the? F what are you talking, Slazer? You're high. Like, turn 100 labs is the record. Like, he... yeah. I. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore you because I did watch his yeah, point of view. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Turn 100 is the record. Like, I barely had like schools by turn 100. Like I, I just find like. And also, if you're doing 100 labs, you're doing that with Oxford. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore. I'm, I'm gonna ignore Slater. I can't deal that's, with this right yeah, now. Yeah, that's just wrong. Okay. That's just not right. So. Hawks appears to have control of its chapo. I don't know why he peace Sue, because he really wants that city. Right. He wants his. Yeah, I think it was a mistake as well. Um. And he seems to have established the line in front of Itazipcho, so... Yeah, this would be like a 110 labs, exactly. Which is still decent, but like it wouldn't fix the fundamental problem he has here, which is that if he does that, well... Okay, Hawks so this is um, pretty brave from Hawks. You see he's moving stuff into Itazipcho. If like Arv that. has first move, which he does, and if Arv has good quicks, good clicks, which he does, he can annihilate the land ship in front of Itazipcho, which is on a floodplain, right? Kill, mm -hmm. um, shoot down the ar already shot Itazipcho twice, and then throw a land ship in there. He can't. Oh, because of the double zock? Yeah, because of the double zock. Okay. This is actually much safer than it looks. Okay. Because of the double zock. What he would, he could, you would have to have really good clicks for this, but he could theoretically, like, triple. Uh, yeah, that, like, that would take a lot more though, right? Yeah. Yeah. At this point, we're just down to the grind. Uh. Yeah, like, Slazer, so like, the problem is, like, if he goes, uh, land ships and planes, the problem is, he had a lot of gold and not a lot of, uh, he had a lot of gold and not a lot of, um, <laughs> hammers and the most efficient way to convert gold to hammer or the, yeah the most efficient way to convert gold to hammers is upgrading a cheap unit into an expensive unit and the most comparably cheap unit at the time is uh capta is capta land ship um so it makes sense for him to do land ships here the the problem i think that he had is that he was freedom yeah but the problem is laser Hawks's commerce auto with the total game. war by the way yeah like he's purchasing he's purchasing at a 50 at over a 50 percent modifier so Hawks's actual hammers are something like at 500 gold per turn he his actual hammers are something like at, at 50 percent I think it's like a one-to-one -one conversion on gold to hammers mm -hmm. I think that's what no it's I three to from... one without right so 50 percent, i think it comes well down. it's it's a little bit more than 50 percent, though it's close to one to one um, yeah it, it's just an insane unit advantage right and we're seeing it come it's, into it's play something, his 500 gold is something like his units uh, are better he has more yeah. of them they heal faster it's not a fight you can like go into expecting to win mm-hmm the only chance Arvius had was to either beat him by wide by like a significant margin, and he wasn't fast enough, or to uh, go with uh, go auto and hope that you just get there anyways, which he didn't. I mean, going auto, I think, is probably the thing that gives you the most chance turn by turn, right? I agree, but I I agree with his general philosophy that I, you just have to put on the most ridiculously fast timing, right? Ox needs to do some swaps here. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's... Uh, Arv is just falling back. Arv doesn't want to... Yeah, okay. Well, if Arv's falling back here, then this is well and done. Yeah, so is is Hawks taking to tanks or to radar? Do we know? My guess is tanks. I would go radar. I mean, I might go radar too, but like I think he's just going straight tanks. This science is I really think good. Is just... What? This science is really good. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Hawks is such a strong sim player. Dude, like, he was just doing five city honor sim. Like he didn't take a single CS. Yeah. It's and he just went crossbows. 
Even look crossbows after look shops. Look at this. This yeah. is why I hate triplanes on defense. Look at these sweeps. 40 damage. 40 damage. 40 damage. Like... <laughs> yeah, like, how many, how many, how much hammers did Arv put those units, did put into those units? And they're gonna die. They're fully swept now. Hawks is free to bomb. Like... Like, why do you even have intercepts? Like, you, 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 you're at, you're at this point, and you're looking at your triplanes, and you're like, why are you guys so useless? <laughs> yeah, like... This is why this is why I think triplanes are a trash unit. So Hawks will probably try to establish frontline for um for Izanyathi and then take that. I I still think it was a little bit of a throw to not um establish frontline and for not to take Izanyathi earlier. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I tried so hard. Look at these Inca Inca lightning. It's honestly yeah, like... disturbing to watch. This is good unit is good. Like, yeah, he's good unit is very, very good. I do want to point out that uh whatever you wanna say, um between uh between Argus's Pantheon and Unique Building, his uh his tiles, his oases and lakes were pretty fucking cool. Yeah, the the Petra was just what an insane Petra for Arv. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that looked really fun. Yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly you were jealous. <laughs> I tried to take it. I failed, but I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of think Hawks is heading towards real tanks. Um, I think in particular big planes have a tendency to outpace the your your rate of capture outpaces your bomber range. Right? I think if you're killing the world, tanks yeah. kind of uh they rack up the promos and they just go. Yeah. I agree. That being said, you can do some really fun things with big planes. Like, um, <laughs> I very nearly banned Inca. Very nearly played on. I'm telling you, we need five bands. We've had two bands since there were like 40 sieves. And that, like, the, the, it's absolutely unthinkable that you could ban all the stupid bullshit with just two bands right now. I nearly played Ottomans and I nearly played Germany. And I loaded into Sue and I saw that. I'm cursed on Sue. I never get good land on Sue. I saw olives and I saw the middle of the map and I was very sad. I'm really coming around to Ottomans. I think Ottomans is actually like the, the Ottomans you you push has gotten me enough times. I know. I, I we were talking about it and I was like, mm, maybe this is a good idea. They're 99 hammers. Why? Why is an Ottomans lancer cheaper than a musket? Like, come on. Yep. So, are forming a pretty good defensive line here. I don't know, maybe Radar is better. Radar kind of... Okay, Hawks is just going tanks, but Radar does kind of nullify the, the click advantage, right? It's much harder to, um, to you know, totally out-swap someone on Radar. Eh. Okay, fair response. <laughs> fair. I, mean, I mean, with respect to, like, the click thing, like, with tanks... When you're auto, when you're when you're auto and you've got auto tanks pushing into not auto, um, and you've got better promotions and your units are higher combat strength and you're pushing into land ships and not tanks, who the fuck cares about swaps? You're dealing fifty damage to their twenty. Like, yeah, I think doesn't matter. The the thing that's actually kind of hampering Hawks's use of the planes here isn't um, like that they're not radar. It's that like he hasn't taken his Nyathi. I agree. Yeah, he also does kind of need more happy, but he just took Clousy, by the way. Um, so I don't know if he even has militarism. He has elite forces. He has All purchasing. All he needs to do for more happy is to uh, annex uh, the cap and just buy a courthouse. Yeah. I mean, honor auto. It's. Yeah. Right. It's something else. And look at how both of them are kind of naturally forming a concave structure. Um, well, there's kind of some mountains in the way. Yeah, around the mountains. Imagine being a uh, Carthage here. <laughs> okay. Last time we played Carthage in a wavy, we lost to them walking knights over a mountain to cap a city. Knights? Was yeah, this, was this think... ocean? No, this was uh, this was snow, and Achilles just built a knight and brought it along 
Uh, it was a plane war. Oh. And he just built the knight and brought it along. There you go. it right over. <laughs> yeah, so look at these. These The triplanes are getting swept less now. They're not getting two shot. They're getting more like three shot. It's still not a position you'd like to be in. Mm-hmm. Oh, Arf so keeps... Arf did something very. Arf did something very good. Mm. Um, he made a medic. Yeah. Unit, which I actually think is absolutely uh, mandatory if you're going to be defending with triplanes. Yeah, but going from healing. He made uh... a medic. He made a medic. Um, uh, Jui. Except, I see a Jui in the city, but not next to it. Does it not work if it's? I I thought it did work. Did he just engineer so Christo? It doesn't work on the same tile. Yeah, he engineered Christo. And I don't know, it's a big it's a big expenditure Did of resources. He buy labs? Here. I don't know. I don't he if he has. if he, he has labs and he's yes. only doing eight eleven science, that's not good. Yeah. Okay, and that's so now you gotta kind of cover his Inyathi, right? Why is he killing C S? Is he oh maybe he's doing uh Hawk's happiness? I think he's just pissed off that the CS are inting into it. <laughs> Could be. Uh, I mean, Hawks is actually negative nine, so. Yeah. I mean, he's just building a zoo in every city. I think some of these have zoos already. Yeah, like that city has a zoo. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's always more happiness in the auto tree. Yeah. And he's doing deep culture. What what is it from Arrested Development? There's oh, always money in the banana stand. Do. Yeah, <laughs> there's always money in the banana stand. Um, no, I mean, yeah, this is this is nearly over. <laughs> By Mahara. Yeah, there you go. It's it's a local happiness in the two happy city. Two pop city. Yeah, in the two pop city. Yeah, buying zoos feels pretty great. Yeah, I like that. So, if you go look at Arv, Arv is building a military base, but Arv is really out of units. Um, yeah. And so now he's looking, he's thinking, like, do, can I afford to build labs? And the answer is, very rarely, yes, I can. Uh, yep. These land ships are pushing. It's a dangerous situation. Slazer, does he have labs up? If he has labs up and he's doing 811 science, that's somehow worse. Yeah, that's a. Uh... I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I can see buying labs being like worth it, but. Oh, he's one lab. All right, yeah. Yeah, he can only buy one lab. And I guess the cap can one turn a lab. All right, so I think this this next turn is going to be like a big deal because um, th this is where the bombers are going to start to really get into Arv, right? He's, Hawks has swept Arv pretty badly, and he's been, you know, bombing in. Now it's going to be kind of more than hard to defend. So Hawks is going to declare war on, on Sue at least three separate times. He's going to peace soon, right? Then he's going to go back in when he has to kill Bucket and Gong. So we're going to see something nice here. We're going to see the double slam land ship into anti-tank rifle slam, I think. Yeah, and again, this is a, like this particular type of situation. Hawks has played many times. Landship war, bombers behind. He's gonna be clicking on. Uh... I I think it's probably fair to say that Hawk has the most experience in this area specifically. Landships to tanks, like 
this is his bread and butter, right? Yeah. I would I think it's probably fair to say that like of all the areas of Civ Five War, this is the area that Hawks is the most experienced. Yep, agree. He I mean, I think he goes RD more in free for all. But Yeah, but he's played more Weeby. Yeah. I think. Okay, here we go. Bucket declares war. The Bucket's Hussars are coming. Down. Okay, <laughs> Bucket does. The Hussar has come. I think oh. Bucket is just breaking deals. I think that's. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. And Hawks is really like looking around for whatever scrap of happy he can get. He'll accept peace. He gets a writer so soon. Yeah, I mean, that's a um, that's a tier one policy though. So unless militarism is still that's there. That's twelve happiness, right? I can't. I don't know if he took militarism or if he took fascism, but yeah, it should be because he has purchasing and he has um, elite forces, so he can only yeah, have one. So happy it's policy. gonna be. It's gonna be at least twelve happiness. Yeah. Minimum. No. Yeah, and that that's enough. Yeah, and that's enough. Yeah. The the real annoyance is like the production modifier here. Yeah, he he's looking for a zoo. He's trying to figure out we're gonna buy a zoo. Oh my god, is he just capped on happy? I mean, if he is, he's he's capped for one turn, and no, he's not. Is is really the writer worth. next turn? Did you see that? No. Um. Well, I think it was next turn. It might be two turns. Two turns. Um. It looked close though. Also, for what it's worth, he can annex and uh, courthouse. Yeah. If he really wanted to, if he uh, sees that. Yeah. Exactly. He can annex and buy a courthouse. Okay, is is our mid turn intercepting, like, because I keep seeing these. Was like... that a was, was that a repair bomber that possibly just died? Possible. Just yeah, like I, being careful with bombers. I just don't bomb past before it's the halfway point. I I refuse to do it. Yeah. Do you know how many of my bombers Cushy has sniped? It's like interminable. Yep. There we go. Triple slam. Okay, I'm not even sure what happened there. Uh, I think he's just getting really bad to play. Yeah. Yeah, this looks so laggy. I don't but know what happened. I think Arvius is pretty fucking dead. I mean, he's been dead, right? The question is, yep. like, how long is it going to take, right? Uh, Stuff like that. Can, can Bucket, you know, sim to, like radar is that enough can bucket sim to stealth is that enough right will the gong come tax the coastals those are it. the important questions hawks has uh destroyers wandering around yeah and honestly i think hawks could probably do it like a 3v1 here i don't think bucket is going to do anything particularly relevant and he... i don't think gong can deal with the amount of bombers that he can pull back if he needs to like hawks could end this war just with tanks it's right. the happiness. The happiness is a serious concern. Like, if that writer is next turn, that's something. Yeah. But, like, even if it's not, it's coming soon. True. Oh, look. Arvius just did the uh, triple sim. There we go. Like, landship war is not hard, guys. Landship war is, like, yep. pretty straightforward. Yep. It's like, it's imagine if what cab war would be like if there was no such thing as Artie. It's a lot like that. It's exactly like that. Yeah. I suppose you can kind of set up an analogy with like the the bombers being the arty, but bombers are so much less constrained on tile. But yeah, it's these oases. These oasis tiles are like death tiles. You just don't want to stand around yeah. there. Hey, That's you've you've been here before, Glossin. This 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 situation should look a little bit familiar to you. <laughs> Except this time, I think Arbius is very very dead. Yeah, I mean... And he doesn't have heavy charge units. Does he get bomber shots? Arv? I think everything is in triplanes, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, also, apparently this he didn't have the so medic unit laggy. on the correct tile. So. Yeah. Yeah. He did not have the medic unit. Oh, his lunch got a heal. That's pretty big. That's nice stuff. 
Yeah, the the tanks next turn. Plasma's raises is a good point. He's because tanks next turn. He's gonna upgrade all of them. If you guys don't know why tanks are better than landship, seventy over sixty strength. It's okay. I'm not complaining about it. It's the move. You cycle without fear. You cycle. <laughs> well, it's also seventy over fifty, right? No, it's over sixty. The landship is at sixty. Oh yeah, you're right. It is sixty. Um, but yeah. Every single the landship fights. Is, the every ten strength turn. is nice. The extra move is fucking crazy. Yeah, and and Hawks is already on, um, yep. lightning, right? Yep. So these are gonna be six oh, move look tanks. At this. He's bringing in uh, NAT aircraft guns, so there's not even any chance of that. Mm. He's bringing in a general. Yeah, he's gonna general the fuck out of Arvius. Look at this sea of landships. Yeah. I guess I should put you in the title. There we go. Yeah. This is also something we're very experienced with. Yeah. The constant resync from too many units. There's a reason Kuba entirely uh, increased the cost of every uh, later era unit. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, so I finally thought I'd figured out... Um, the snow mod for 5.0 uh and then we go to play it and it turns out eep did something in the dll that breaks honor just completely completely wow yeah uh the units don't uh the generals don't spawn in expanse just period <laughs> period cool all right at this point i'm halfway to making the decision to just revert back to 4.3 and just go from there and just say fuck the new civs this isn't worth the trouble. I mean, you could actually get so many more new civs if you just made, like, quote-unquote courthouse civs playable in... Like, if you just made them, yeah. like, caravan series or something. I don't know. Yeah, literally just move them to caravan series. Or make courthouse civs... Uh, or just make courthouse civs buildable at any... Uh, at, like, anywhere. Um, just move courthouse tech to, like, econ or something. I don't know. No, uh, I mean, yeah. Oh, wow, Hawks, Hawks minus 18. That's actually a big deal. Yeah, that is a big deal. Oh, he's... I mean, he's still slamming, but... He's so laggy, though. We like, really need to get this guy a new so computer. Painful. Like, where, where's the Hawks computer fund? Oh, God. He needs to upgrade. I mean, he, he needs to fix his happy. Like, you can't fight like this. Where, does he, he have a writer soon? Surely he'll check. Okay, he's looking for a writer if it's in his, like, nope, engineer and merchant. I'm sure he's happy to discover he's got a great merchant lying around. Yeah. I think it's in Bangkok, right? I don't know, actually. Yeah, Mega. He needs the he needs the money for. Oh, and he he just got completely counter drilled by Arv there. Um. Okay. I mean, Arv is welcome to be salty about my attack, but like I think the principle is fine. I forgot about the unit, and that really fucked it up. But like in principle, I think attacking Arv there is the correct play, if not in that specific situation. For the reason I listed, or I think it's a correct play. I don't think it's. It, it might not be better than attacking bucket, but I I, I, I think the biggest problem there was your sim, dude. What do you want me to do? That, we were talking not, not not settle, not settle, not settle. Is is Chapo. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, what do you want me to do? Because that city was annoying and it didn't help, but it wasn't that bad. It was that bad. <laughs> oh, there's a repair. Yeah, there you go. If Arv doesn't mid-turn intercept, it's going to be so good. Yeah, so here we can see the, the failures of uh, the non-air mod interface because it's actually pretty hard to see what's at max range and what's not. Yep. Huh. Oh, did yeah, this... your general? Looks like he did. Yeah, this looks insanely laggy for Hawks. Yeah, I mean... He's queuing up moves and they're just not happening. Yeah, 
This looks so painful. I mean, this is one of those situations where you don't really have to be worrying well to win. But you have to be worrying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you gotta kill there. Also, not irrelevant, uh, Hawks has uh, honor. So he's getting, like, golden culture and stuff. <laughs> the culture is the most relevant part. He's gotta get happy. Up. You can't sustain this fight without... I mean, I mean this is actually what... Soon, what's right? the What's the policy called? Police state. This is an actual police state situation. Yep. That anti-tank rifle on the, the Citadel, that's going to be rough to push as well. Mm. Oh, there we go. It sneaks the land ship behind. Okay, anytime anyone tells you that auto ignore Zok is okay, I want you to look at this land ship. Right? <laughs> out of movement? If that wasn't out of movement, that starts eating artillery. Yep. He puts one there, eats an artillery, puts another there, eats an artillery. Like, that's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> like. It's it's literally like a, a what is it? A, a wolf among hens. Yep. Like, I mean, at this point, he's just going below to, uh, Damascus. Like. Yeah. Play, playing Civ is hard. Okay. I do not like clicking refrigeration here. But... What What is. He wants stadiums. He. he... Like, he's actually so deep in the happiness hole, he wants stadiums. At this rate, he cannot kill the world. Talks? Yeah, he, look at this, minus 16, he's only going to get unhappier, right? So why would he get unhappier? He, he should get more happy. What? No, if he doesn't, like, get that policy soon, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he is, right? He's getting it very soon. And if not, he gets that policy in five turns. Can Arf stabilize in five turns? No. Not a chance. Yeah. Okay, Cape Town looks like a pretty shit city. Looking at that hammer. That was that was basically entirely to send units north so that he could embark on Denzel, which completely okay. worked. Fair enough. That was actually his his war on Denzel was about as clean as it gets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this minus 17. This is uh, not where it's at. I think we're in for another resync. Or maybe Potato Computer strikes again. My guess is Potato Computer. Yeah, it's Potato Computer, it looks like. Yep, he's just eating these already. Strat resource penalty. He's at minus 7 oil. One of his oil got pillaged. That's bad. His stuff got in cute. Oh, anti tank guns, right? This is I mean, actually Arv like the first move. Are always getting the first move. <laughs> this is actually a serious issue for Hawks. Anti tank guns and forts. Try playing and cutter no resistance. Yeah. So he's gonna bomb and then. Arv will put up the intercepts again, I guess. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe he got that. Oh, because the AC tank got just upgraded, so it couldn't move. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this this oil penalty is really bad. This is He needs to fix that. Yeah. He needs to figure out what's going on there. Uh, He might just actually lose a bunch of land ships. That's not that good. Do it. Yeah, I mean, that would do it, though. If he just traded him off. Like, I feel like like people have got to stop making plans that involve, oh, I'll just you lose some units. I mean, I agree. He needs to figure out where the cop pillage, though. I mean, much, much more important than that. The strat resource penalty is only, like, what, like, minus 6%? The unhappiness uh, yeah. is minus 32%. I like this general. And he's got another one behind. But you, His you... faith is not terrible, either. He's working the city. He needs more bombers and some Nazi. Yeah. I mean, Magris, this was Arv's push originally, right? Like, Arv was coming with landship. Um, he definitely had the timing. I think he also pillaged that obsidian, right? Where's the Strider?
Okay, so so Ryder doesn't look like it's here yet. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. His calves aren't even one shotting cannons. Like, that's. He has a bomber somewhere, right? But like. Yeah, I know. That's not good. The, this is not the situation you want to be in. Yeah, this unhappiness is crushing for Hawks. Like, think about it. Like, you go auto, right? For like the 10%, um, 10 from elite forces and for the 25% from Klausi, that's 35%. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. Is it still in resistance? Oh, no. Hawks. How, much, how, much, how many turns is left? Did you catch that? No, I didn't. That's a... Uh... That's a giant in, but that's a... he can do I, he can do the cap, right? But that's that's Monka fucking hum, dude. That's like, yeah, I know he fucked up on that one, but like he needs to do the cap. He's looking for. Did you see Ryder in there? Uh, great scientist. Yes, great science. Yeah, but I don't want a scientist. I want a writer. Yeah, I don't know. Um, rebels are at minus ten. Revolt is at minus twenty, and that's where we are now. Uh, revolt is only due to uh, whatever pressure I thought. If you have any tourism pressure and you're unhappy, you will. Uh... Yeah, but he's got no tourism pressure. Didn't someone build Parthenon? Bucket. I don't think it's influential. I don't think it's uh, got any level of pressure on him though. Oh, you see this? This is a a trick a lot of people don't know, right? Yeah, I like this. Hawks wants to citadel on that tile, but there's already a citadel there. So what you do is you go in there, you build a different improvement, and then... You build the farm. Yeah. You're going to bring in the Citadel there again. Yeah, the, minus three oil. Yeah, there's, I there's... mean, I think he's just supposed to piece the AI again. Do you think right. oil in your cap got pillaged? Yeah, oil in my cap got pillaged. Okay. It was uh, under the cannon. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, you've also got to go repair it. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of combat it. minuses here, enough to counteract being autocracy, which is as soon as you, as soon as auto stops giving you combat bonuses, it's not giving you much. He needs to shoot that cannon. He needs to reclaim the tile, put a worker on it, and start repairing this turn. Uh, mm, no, he doesn't. He's got pyramids. Who the fuck got Still pyramids? Wonder repairs? Oh, you got pyramids. You got pyramids. Yeah. Actually, so he doesn't know this, but um, if you went one city north, there's forbidden. Hmm. Wow, that's actually huge. Yeah, I engineered it in the city, it, not my cap specifically, because um, kind of spite. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but um. I mean, if, that if, that's actually a big pickup for Bucket if Bucket gets that. Yeah, I agree. But if Bucket gets it, my guess is what's going to happen is Bucket's going to be like, oh, hey, I got forbidden. And Hawk's going to take one look at it and just like slam a bunch of tanks into him. I mean, slamming tanks at like minus 40 combat, you know, it's, it's not. That writer's got to be coming soon. Copium? There's no way it's not. Resync time? Why hasn't he upgraded these land chips, though? I'm actually not sure. I think he's running out of time. I think he's like. Oh, you know what? No, he can't upgrade land ships at. Uh, oh yeah, Vegas. minus oil. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't at, think he loses this. At this point, if like Gong or whoever taxes your coastals, you're like, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Forget my happiness. Yeah. Please. Okay. So another survived resync. Why, why is going taking coastals oh yeah you're right I mean he doesn't have third alt mega but yeah he does need that oil well taking the cap matters yeah yeah okay bad turn let's see what the happiness is like Oh god, he needs to be bombing into these like bullshit. Okay, you gotta buy that courthouse. Like before you do anything, you buy the courthouse. 
He's he's getting units melted. Minus six oil. Yikes. Okay, he bubbles the rider. Okay, okay. That's big. That's actually huge, but he he's lost a lot of right. units there that like uh, he's through it. He gets the general off. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, one turn repair from mids. Okay. Alright, it's this is stabilizing, but yeah. that can's gonna pillage that citadel again, by the way. And he shoots it dead, right? Does he? Or if he doesn't, he just slams it once, right? I don't know. Like that should not be too difficult to kill. And also positive oil means he can upgrade his tanks. Yeah. Oh, you've gotta be careful not to drop a land ship in a lake. Dude, his potato computer is actually like it is not prepared for this. Yeah. Oh my god. Magris said uh, did our buy hotels for uh, dissidents, which I don't think he did, but that would be hilarious. Yeah, there's literally not a chance, Magris. I I don't think it would be an effective use of gold, but... If he had gold to spend, he yeah, would buy this labs. Is over. Yeah, Arv is fucked. We've, we've known this. Arv is fucked. He's just taking a while to admit it. Which, you know, that's if, if you're in a relevant lobby... That's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's not Arv's fault that no one in the lobby appears to be able to do anything. Yeah. I mean... Oh, God. Oh, God. The delay yeah. is so bad. It's it's abysmal, yeah. This is uh, god-awful. I don't know how he plays like this. I we, don't know either. We, we do actually have to get this, like, the Hawks J... 13, uh... Like, this is... This is... Yeah, we... The Hawks J13 better laptop fund. We, we've got to get that. Yeah. On the other hand, like... Oh, my God. Arv had an extra sweep? Yeah, he... Arv has a lot more intercepts than the than Hawks thought. Where are they coming from, I wonder? Do you get a raider? Nope. Nope. He's not even at electronics. Oh, I think he was mid turn intercepting. Yeah, he's been doing this all war. It's That's the most so frustrating thing. Annoying. Yeah, right? Like it's beyond infuriating. It's such BM. No, like you it's... know what? He's doing this after he gets the note. He hasn't midturned. Then where are these intercepts coming from? I mean, like, are you sure? Because I just popped back to like Arvius' stream and saw him like mousing over like a triplane. I think he's midturn intercepting using hotkeys. No, I'm no hotkeys. Sure it's just different tiles bombing versus sweeping. I suppose so. I'll I'll try to keep a more careful eye out next time. Yeah, okay. I can keep an eye on that. Look at these hundred <sighs> experience. Oh, uh, you know what? Hawk should be doing though. What's, um, what should he be doing? Push for the oil in in Arzland. Get that pillaged. Yeah, where, where is that? Arv can't have that much oil. It's close. It's just south of Aguala. I mean, actually, looking at Arv's screen, he actually does have uh, seven oil, so it wouldn't matter. But yeah. on principle, he definitely should do that. Our chat is trying to convince our that he needs battleships in the lake, hmm. which I'm not really sure how that would work. But uh, they're like, "Oh, three lakes would three uh, three battleships in the lake would uh, would save the city." I'm I, they would be. I mean, I'm not saying they'd be bad because Hawks they'd can't see those decent. tiles. They'd get bombed to death. No, cause he he actually can't see those tiles, right? So oh, I can see two of them. They'd be very good. Oh yeah. Okay. One of them would be good. Yeah. What he needs is a spy in that city. I mean, also people should be gifting Arv oil here, right? If you're, if you're yeah. Bucket or if you're I Gong, like anything that like even like helps Arv survive a turn, yeah, you you want to. This this is how this Honor, is Honor so Commerce right. loses. Oh my God! You see these anti tank guns? They pillaged a. Oh, that's a problem. Where is the oil in? Os in Kyoto. Because we might be about to see the guy go down to minus again. 
Uh, it's more than two thousand away. So okay. It should... okay. But I mean, he needs to like buy some bombers to deal with that. Well, because those things will actually start fucking him up. The funds also, are starting to run them. low. He's running low on merchants, right? This is this is what getting sold out looks like. But the problem is, Arvius is still bad. I mean, I, yeah, I think Arvis is dead, but yeah. I'm watching Slazer in our chat. Yeah, uh, it, it's gonna happen. Over. I mean, like, think about this. Like, yeah, it, I think part of it's just potato computer cushy, but yeah, there's a lot of units on screen. It's not really a bomber thing. I know you brought this up last time and you're like, it's a bomber thing. It's not a bomber thing. It's not a bomber thing. In fact, like, it tends to be a land ship thing, I think. Just when you have this many units, right? You've got slow interactions. This shit just happens. Yeah. It happens most with bombers because people tend to war with bombers most in late games. Yep. Bombers are very good. They can win it, and so it happens a lot. Oil well destroyed. Oh, no. Minus 11. Two oil wells destroyed. Jesus Christ. That's... What's that? Like, minus 20% on the tanks again? And he can't build anything? I think what Hawks was supposed to do there was bomb the worker to death. Uh, so this is clever. He uh, improved the lead oil. Since I think he has refrigeration now. How long before Damascus dies? It's so close. Honestly? Like... Oh, no, 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 no. Hux, what are you doing? You need that tile. I'll be right back. User disconnected from your channel.
now? Okay, yeah. So, something's broke with my mic. Yeah. Okay, so power spike is like land ships, tanks, radar, and then um, modern armors. And then after, so if Arb gets to modern armors, that would actually make. I mean, he's already basically at radar. But if he gets to modern armors, it's all worth it. You know? God, I I don't understand how Hawks plays like this. This is insane lag, and apparently... Oh my god, is Gong fighting... Bucket? Jesus Christ, these idiots are fighting each other. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I can admit that I was wrong. You know, like... Shut up, Slazer. Um, we saw your stream when you were, uh, yeah. So, no, I'm, I'm outlining the, the, the fight here, right? Arv is about to get radar. Radar is big because radar lets you, like, intercept more and the radar bombers are a real thing. But the next big power spike is, um, is really just, like, modern armors. Oh my god. Yeah. He also really would like to repair that citadel if he could. This is... Slazer, we saw you when you were fighting um, Arv with your Manchu Piety... With your Manchu Commerce Bombers. Like... It was not this bad. This is about as bad as I've ever seen anyone play. Okay. Did he just take insta heal on a possible air repair? Okay. He's sweeping, and also you can see Arv has these anti-aircraft guns, right? That's a pretty big deal. So those are gonna increase his number of like intercepts. Um, so Hawks is gonna have to create, make more and more. Um, fighters to to deal with the anti-aircraft guns. Um, then he's not gonna have enough space for bombers. And if if Arv manages to, you know, get like radar fighters up, how's his gold? Good gold per turn. Yeah, it, Hawks's line is really thin right now. No, it's just that labs don't do anything for you here, right? Like unless he can get them up, and he can't get them up, everything goes into units. We, we, you don't like go labs here because on top of this because you're autocracy right you don't expect to like out tech arv right so you just say like here's what I've had I've got and you better stop it I mean I really don't think this game is going to stealth and like you, if it does go to stealth you've already kind of lost right because like honor your honor commerce auto right this isn't like a go to stealth build. This is exactly where you want to be hitting. This is actually pretty late for you already. I think once these triplanes fall, so if Hawks gets Damascus, which I don't know if it's doable for him, right? But if he gets Damascus and he kills all those triplanes and he steals like something towards radar, that's going to be a big deal. So what he wants to do, right, is he wants to bomb down these anti-tank guns. He doesn't really want to bomb down the tanks. It's the bombers that want to deal with the anti-tank guns most. So he's just bombing straight through intercepts here. God, this is, like, painfully lagging. I don't know. I still think... Hawks has more units than Arv. Arv's line, again, looks really, really thin, right? He's got some tanks in the back. He's got some AA, right?
Does he have a lot of shit behind? I don't really see that much. But yeah, if, if you kill that, you kill all those triplanes, that represents a pretty big investment of hammers and like also of stuff that can intercept you. Hawks is building fair for the policy, I think. I I don't know about this. I feel like now is the time to push. Okay, already shots in Damascus. And the, the problem is you have to clear out at least two units here if you want to take that city. Artie are pretty good against anti-tank guns, by the way. So when you, whenever you get your anti-tank guns, right? So the noob move when you take your anti-tank gun is you try to put cover on it, right? That's bait. Which you actually, sorry, is, is to put ambush on it. You actually want cover. The anti-tank gun is already really great against tanks. That's its job, right? What they're, what your opponent is going to try to do is try to bomb it down, and that's why you're taking cover on it. User joined your channel. All right, I'm back. Yeah, so Hawks has really slowed his momentum, right? To the point where I think Arv might hold. Um, I mean, maybe, but like, to what end? Arv is at radar, and he's teching computers. Oh, this is nice. Oh, he took the... I mean... If, he, if, if Hawks takes the city soon, I think that he's fine. But yeah, fighting helis on this setup without even like that many AA guns, not a place you want to be. Mm, he lost a bomber to a AA gun. Yeah, now he's slamming into like like I don't know this this lag for Hawks is beyond painful. Yeah, I mean, if Arv has any hope here, it's because this is laggy as fuck. Like, I, I think Hawks is one of the reasons, like, Hawks has been so, let's say, pained during this war. Pure copium, by the way, is that, like, he actually can't get all his moves off. Yeah. The... I think this is real lag, Cushy. Like, we, he legit, Yeah. I don't think this is broadcast lag. I think this is just real lag. Yeah, I think this is real lag. Yeah, but yeah, every turn Arv drags this on, it gets worse and worse and worse uh, for Hawks, right? Mm -hmm. Um, fight. You see helis, right? You kind of lose your shit, right? And Arv is hard building real bombers. This is uh, this is how you lose. Yeah, and you're seeing yeah. Hawks' stuff is getting shredded, right, as he's trying to push um, Damascus. It's a very defensible city, as I also found out. I mean, who won World Fair, by the way? Um, World Fair is still ongoing. What a train wreck going on over there. Yeah. Oh, you got gifted a sissy. I gifted it. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah. You think it's a memory leak? It's possible. Yeah. Honestly, uh, Hawks might want to restart. I mean, can you can you do that in the middle of a tournament game? Why Maybe. not? Same thing's great wall bug. Like, honestly, I would say Hawks should probably restart his entire computer at this point. Hmm. I know this is something uh, that happens on other clients. Hmm. You're just thinking about MTGO, aren't you? Uh, yeah, it's pretty common, or it's a thing that happens on Miko. But like, I could totally see this happening on Civ. Yeah, like he he should restart his laptop. I think.
I mean, look at this. This isn't. This doesn't really seem playable. I, like... Yeah, I would ask the lobby to clear uh, if I could restart at this point, because this is really bad. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go see our other entertainment. We've got Bucket going land ships into Gong, with. Uh. Gong with Gooey's. So this is sort of like you know the, the sidekick fight. Um. I don't think Bucket knows land ship war, so. We'll see yeah. some other stuff. So, I'm curious who won World's Fair. It wasn't Bucket. Are they all just lagging? Could be. Okay, so know. Bucket not setting up flanking here. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Yeah. I mean, so now you swap in a land ship to the front land ship on that horse, and then you take the tile with the stone. Bucket's splitting up his forces too wide here. Land ships want to like sort of move together. Oh, okay. This is actually one of the classic defenses, right? Which is really hard to push. Infantry plus bombers. Oh wow, are they all just super light? I mean, the classic defense is infantry plus uh, battleship. Battleship, yeah. but okay. Buckets. I think buckets lagging, but like at least it's playable. This looks painful. Yeah. I'm no, so don't mad. slam across the river into that forted infantry. That's that. This is exactly how you don't make it. So what you're supposed to do is bucket here. By the way, okay. So this this pillaging hussar is great, right? This is this so is you great. You can make the big oil. Yeah. What you're supposed to do with your land ships here is you don't try to slam across the river into forts. Um, what you want to do is you want to slam this north city. You want to slam into Manila, and you want to sort of get all your flanking up. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, by the way, I think Fox won uh, World's Fair, right? There's no way. Well, Bucket didn't win it. Did Gong, and maybe? I doubt Gong did. Yeah, I'm gonna message Hawks. I think you you should probably shouldn't. Like he literally. Yeah, like... I, I won't. I won't actually. Right. Yeah, just. Arvius didn't. Hmm. Arvius didn't. Bucket didn't. Arvius is killing more CS for some reason. No, that makes sense. They're allied to Hawks. Hawks, he, he knows Hawks has an, an unhappiness problem. He's exacerbating that problem. I think that's a good play. Yeah, Hawks has kind of fixed it at this point, though. Yeah. Arvius has a lot of centralized hammers, I gotta say. Yeah. No, I mean, he's gonna make these bombers, then he's gonna make these helis. I don't think Hawks has an answer to helis, especially across his mountain range. Helis are at the best, or at their best. I mean, who controls these, um... General tiles. I believe it's Arv right now. Mm, no. Yeah? I can't even tell. Oh, Hawks' tripods are wearing down. I mean, he, he didn't take air repair on them. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. Air repair is so nice. The problem is you can't be like setting hold up on. for a long he grindy work here. Hold the fair. Oh, damn. Who got it? Uh, I don't think it was Arv. Uh, if he's doing 300 culture on World's Fair, that would be... I don't even know if it finished. I don't think it finished. That would be hilarious. Yeah. No, but I definitely... I'll, I'll admit to it. I completely misassessed this. I thought this was like already like just GG Hawks, you know. I think that the only reason this wasn't over by now is because Hawks is dealing with some uh, just uh, abysmal lag. Watching him try to like hit those stops was painful. Yeah. yeah. 
and art has no lag at all. <laughs> like, this is entirely an issue of lag, I think. I mean, it's can can Arv get to Heli's? Does it even matter? Has he worn down Hawks enough that? I don't think he like. I think that. All right. So, quick notes for Bucket. If he ever watches this, don't slam across river into forded infantry. Uh, if you're gonna kill a coastal, go radar. Don't go uh, for real tanks. Like honestly, you can probably. The other thing is that needs to be pointed out. If Hawks ever like, if Hawks does reach radar, yeah, we're yeah. right back into that. Like, if Hawks can get, how can he get radar? He doesn't have infantry. Bombs. I mean, he's got to be generating a scientist at some point, right? Yeah. But like, if Hawks can get to radar, that that'll fuck arms up because it means that he can actually use um wonder he's not upgraded these triplanes which means but like if he can just use stacks of like bombers and oh he's upgrading triplanes to fighters now if i'm hawks and i see that happening if i have a spine city i'm going to start moving my triplanes back because hmm. uh fighter range is uh larger so you just sweep them from the comfort of home just sweeping from a further back city lets you put more bomber pressure on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually one of the biggest problems with like fighters when they're getting swept is that they'll just intercept anything. You know? Yes. They'll be like, it's "Oh, that flat desert tile! I'm there. I will save you." <laughs> yeah, they have too much range. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, I, so, yeah, Bucket's getting bombed down pretty bad, and he's taking radio. I don't think he's aware that he's supposed to be going for flight right now. So you really need flight to push a coastal in a spot like this. Because what they normally do is they have this infantry line, and they have battleships behind, right? And those and battleships... And you need to bomb through the battleships. What? And you need to bomb yeah. out the battleships. Otherwise, like, battleships are, like, seaborne or artillery. They just fire forever. Um, and they'll kill all your land ships for value. Yep. I mean, that's something that um, we've encountered in games before. Yeah. <laughs> From both ends. Yeah. Can't. So, but also not having triplanes, you can't fight somebody who's at flight without having flight yourself. You have to be able to intercept their, their planes. Hmm. Alright, Hox is a... I mean, Arv is ratio 4 now. It's uh Yeah, he's, he's picking up advantage, and every turn he's picking up a little bit more advantage. It's... If I'm Hox, by the way, uh, one of the things I'm keeping an eye out for... Uh, not that this is easy, given that Arv is killing all these CS, but, uh, I'm keeping an eye out for trying to win Diplo here as Commerce. You think that's possible? Um, unlikely, but theoretically possible with Forbidden in play. Hmm. Oh, that's painful. Yeah. He just like, slam into... He needs to clear that, uh, general tile so he can general again. Yep. Yeah, okay, Bucket seems to recognize that he's supposed to go to radar. Does he have flight? He does have flight, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, it looks like. He just doesn't have triplanes, or he's out of oil? Yeah, he's, he's out, out of oil. oil. He's out of oil. This is what warring with, like, order without another cap looks like, right? Uh, Everything goes into the... Into the land ships, right? And these land ships are at their worst, right? Slamming across river into forts, not flanking. This is... Nah. This is just... I wish I had a relevant spot in this game. You could've. So bad. You think if I'd just been sitting on Bucket's land? Possibly. Yep. 
Or I don't think it was the the right play. What would you have done, Honor? I didn't. I I was actually really thinking Trad, but then you probably just die to Arv. Yes. I'm hesitant to go Trad in that spot. Where do I even settle? I mean, most of you, you only settled. You only had five good cities anyway. On horses, maybe settle like Shangchu in the same spot, and yeah. then yeah. Where do I put the last city? I, don't know. I guess I force the city to the south somewhere. Yep. It's flat, but like force city and transition into already into someone. Yeah. Already Maybe. gameplay. Maybe. I would have clicked trad probably, but last time I clicked, too, I, I clicked hate honor. Doing, I hate doing trad middle of the map though. Yeah. I mean, it forces you to be proactive, but when you're in the middle of the map, you have to be proactive anyway. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> Bucket has a medic cab for some reason. I, I don't think this push on a gong is going to work. I don't think this is where it's at. Here, let's, um, I'm going to pop, I'm going to change the way I'm displaying, and then I'm going to do... No, but one thing that does show is that Arv is uh, very good at this type of war. Yep. Here, let's hide this. Let's pop this out. Is that working? No. There we go. Yeah. All right. This is what I really like care about. Like all respect to Bucket, but yeah, back to the interesting core. Uh. Okay. So now we're we're looking at Arv POV. Arv has a lot of stuff behind. I'm gonna get some food then. You know, it'd be really funny if what? Fox. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be good. But... Mm. How do you push this? As Hawks. Okay. Yeah, as Hawks. Let's radar. think about this. It's radar. Um, Hawks also attacked all the way to refrigeration, which is yeah, like I don't know why he did that. Um, he I wanted to get oil. Later. I know, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, oh, so one thing he should be doing is, one thing that I think was a mistake was not killing the rest of Sue. I mean, he went pretty unhappy doing that. He needed to open the front. You know what it was? You know what this all really comes down to? It comes down to better. lightning. Lightning was wrong. Yes. That should have been either a happy policy or third alt. Mm. It's always third alt. Third all does you can't skip third all. You can never skip third all. Third all is critical. I mean, he's like kind of maxed on units now, but yeah, I just think I, I, lightning was wrong. Yeah. I said lightning was very, very good. I think, yeah, our Arv did stabilize a bit here, and his GPT is very good with freedom. Um, yeah, I'm. I really think it was a close run thing that he stabilized. All right. He's okay. Hawks is out of seven, which is yeah. He took the happy policy. All right. Let's see how this turn goes. I don't know. At some point, is maybe Hawks just supposed to follow him into lads? Well, it's fair completed. Okay. Okay. Hawks got fair, which gets him a lot of culture. <laughs> Hawks got fair, oh god. So that might be just be Ratio, right? Oh god, yeah, that that could just be Ratio. That could be the push he needs. It's Hawks a lot of... gets fair, that's so big. Right? But I mean, like, 
Arv is actually not that far from stealth, right? Like, not forget stealth. Either. He's not that far from moderns. He's not that far from moderns. He's not that far from moderns. Yeah, moderns are good. Moderns are a good unit. Hawks winning that on 400 hammers is a kind of pathetic and b. I mean, huge. like, look at these citadels, right? You you don't want to be like slamming your tanks into anti tank guns on these citadels. That's not like, this isn't what victory looks like. <laughs> I mean, do you even wrap around? Do you try to open more of a front? Like, what do you... I'm so sad I didn't have any coastals. That World's Fair just makes me think, if I'd gotten to, like, actually try for resettlements... Mm. You were never going to be able to get resettlements, dude. You wouldn't have needed a coastal city at the very least in order to, like, harbor your cities. Right? I was thinking about planting resettlements coastal. Oh, great. Hawks is swapping wrong as well. This is a... That's uh, not right. Yeah. Just things zooming in and out. Yeah. Nope. Lightning was wrong. Um, he lost too much uh, turn. He, he lost too much tempo. With going unhappy, and it was really the going unhappy. Like even the mi the combat minus from the from. Be, from being minus oil like a he just doesn't get that if he's like still happy and doesn't get barbs uh and b is just so much less than yeah all right so hawks is sweeping fighters with triplanes fighters like this is you just you just get hit on intercept it's pain um Like, how much does computers do here? So, Hawk sees computers. He's going to shift to making AA guns. Um, There's a huge amount of intercepts, right? I mean, I trust Arvius to be very good about cycling into AA. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. They just get shot, right? I mean, Hawks doesn't even have enough triplanes to sweep through, right? Yeah. He's been bombing into intercepts for multiple turns now. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, this is... Oh, he brought in the sissy. Yep. Ironically, that sissy actually looks really good here. Right, because it's hitting that... You have to kill that anti-tank gun and then take the tile. Why thing. has he not generaled in to Damascus he yet? He can't. He can't general on Oasis. He needs to clear... He would have to clear the citadel on oh and he doesn't have the tile to clear the citadel yeah i mean you can't clear citadels in other people's lands right yes so yep. he would have to clear one of his own citadels right but that doesn't let him general into damascus regardless yep but i think like i don't know i, th I think he's like kind of reaching the end of this rope like the those tank swaps you don't do that when you're like playing well. Yep. Like I think right. he's he's hit that point where he's just like not really. Uh, he's like yeah. I, I I I don't know. I'm I'm gonna sound like I'm making excuses. I'm not making excuses. I think like he's just the the sharp play that we got at the start is just gone. There we go. Yeah, he's probably just tired. I think this is actually a great situation for, for a machine gun to be useful, right? Machine guns and arties are both really useful trying to pressure these, like, anti-tank guns. Yeah. You know what actually would uh, break this open, though? What? Rocket arty. Really? Oh, yeah. For these fortified units. Mm, I guess. Rocket arty can actually shoot into these anti-tanks. I mean, they're only 50 strength, Glosson. It's not like... I thought they were 60 range strength. What? No, I'm talking about the anti-tank guns. They're just gooeys. Yeah. Rocket already fuck up gooeys. Eh. I mean, bombers do the same thing. The problem is, he doesn't have air, uh, air control. I don't really understand why he doesn't have air control. Cause, do, like, you, do you take Oglala here? Yeah. You do? Like, uh, is this like the, the skirm? This is the skirm. This is the skirm brain. Just keep going around. Like, this is something that Galfat does really, really well. He opens the front. Mm. And this yeah. is something that 
Hawks is not doing here that he needs to have been doing. He needs to be opening the front. He's pushing into a two tall choke. Yeah, you're right. All these hammers are going into like citadels. This yep. is the where you don't want to be spending them. Yep. He needs to be pushing around that choke, and he okay. could do it, and he isn't. Imagine if he had pressure on a Mesa. Well, yeah. He's also Arvid Helis now. Yeah. Yeah, so Hawks is now like cycling on this forded anti tank gun. It's not where you want to be. Yeah. But also, like, Magris, when you kind of see a spot of resistance, you don't want to slam into that spot of resistance. You just want to go past it. I, I think Hawks is sort of like, he's just completely focused on taking Damascus here, and it's not something that's going to happen. And when Arv bulbs these helis, like, hell is going to break loose. Hawks can't fight them. He doesn't have Sams. He doesn't have air superiority. How do you... I mean... Because Arv left leaving that worker on that railroad, on that citadel is actually a mistake because that means hawks can take it with and not get zocked and then pillage or worse if he kills the unit he can capture the the citadel and break zock by capturing the engineer and then take the he would need some shots into it but yeah he could do that and i mean he's got the sissy actually that would be so fucking clutch if hawks could pull that off yeah Straight up, someone should tell Hawks to reboot his laptop. Someone. And like you, you do it once in like one right. of our wants some nukes here. And Hawks once again fails to take the tile and slams the tank into a citadel. Close to. This is this is enough gunships, Cushy. I don't think you need like more anti tanks here, right? He's already got enough. Like, th these are really uh, expensive upgrades, right? I if I were an ARF spot, I just bulb and I just like start upgrading them, right? Yeah, I mean, even ARF is lagging here, right? Like we were, we were like. So you know what would be the gigabrain move? What's the if gigabrain? He had, uh, um, if he had a. Uh paratrooper or if he had a spy in the, in the city is to build a paratrooper paratroop on the oasis and then uh work on the anti-tank and try and uh kill it while you've got zock locked yeah i mean that's a sacrifice of a paratrooper but and it's also on you a sacrifice the paratrooper in return you get the tile yeah i mean this is just completely uh i've moved the worker off it looks like good. no it's still there it's just hidden Underneath the Oh, you icon. might be right. Yeah. Oh, Hawks. Yeah. He must be so, like, out of it right now. What time is it? It's, like, 3 in the morning for him. I mean, he just casually plays at 3 in the morning. It's not, like, a 3 in the yeah, morning Yeah, I know. He's, he's nocturnal. I understand it. But, like, yeah. even for him, this has got to be tiring. All right. So, Arv is not upgrading his anti-tanks, which, actually, like, I'm I'm actually the biggest helicopter hater. I think this is the right time to have them. Yeah. I mean, he's defending the two tail choke. True. No, like, having the fortifiable anti-tanks in front of Damascus is good, and then you have just some to just lance across the, the mountains, right? Kill those arty kill any tanks that are massing over there and also like possibly pillage oil he but arv is heading to stealth yes arv has burned oxford yep um, he burned it a long time ago rocketry is a is a prereq for moderns right yeah uh for moderns no he could be at Moderns right now, then. Yeah. Right? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm a... 
I'm a modern armor's efficient. Yeah, modern armor fucking busted. Like, well, let's do some math. So the combat bonuses Hawks has are discipline, elite forces, clousy, right? Mm -hmm. So that's um plus what like one point four five? No, two. Yeah. So, and that that one one point five is about the strength of a modern, right? So if Arv had his own modern armors, they would be like good enough to just pound for pound trade with uh with Hawks units. Yep. And he's already holding without doing that. It would let him push out. He's on sixteen aluminum, which I don't know, maybe that's enough for stealth. Yeah. And that was one of Hawk's allies. So, you know, I assume he's feeling some sort of crunch right now. Yeah, 1300 science on Earth. He's walking there. Is Pentagon bait? Pentagon is kind of bait on this much money. Um... Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe, like... The problem is, like, what do you do if you're here, here if you're Arv, right? Do you just... You just go to stealth, right? Yeah, you just go to stealth. I assume he's doing around 800 mun and all, but um, it could be less. I don't think there's any way he's doing 900. Oh, Hux is getting units exposed. It's bad. Yeah, I think pushing in through that one tile choke into Damascus was already like a bit questionable. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I I've said it once, I saw it again. He should just go around. I I think he got into a lot of trouble last time he um he tried to take Ogla, right? Um, like just like hitting AI cities got him in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I Why does Hawks have so much AA there? Because the AA is all that's left. Cause she, um, he had much more stuff there. Oh yikes! This swapping, like yeah, he's just tired. Yeah. These are not good trades. I mean, when you're like, yeah, more and more, I'm just thinking, just go around, like let him, let him have these citadels, let him have the spot. Yeah, just go around. Uh, you know where I would try and control is the aluminum tile. No, like, there's that anti-tank on the fort. These anti-tanks on the forts are nightmarish for Hawks, right? Well, you try and, uh, set it all on the aluminum. I mean, yeah, so somebody's saying, does he have the happy? I don't know, but he's honor, commerce, like, he, he should have more happy. Than he he should does. have the happy. Yeah. Yeah, and and you just have to take a bigger front, right? Because right now you're slamming it at disadvantage. Either like either you open up a bigger front or you just give up here. There's there's not another option. I mean, if you give if you wanted to give up, you should have done that a while ago. And honestly, I might have done that if I were him. Just go labs, bottle uh, bottle Arv, and just race him. You but you never win that race, right? Like don't you? No, like Arv, Arv was out tagging him for a while. Arv's had labs, right? Arv has leaning. Arv. Has, I mean, he has he also has pork. He's four cities. P. And more importantly, Hawks won World Fair. He's full ratio. Arv is full ratio. Hawks won is... World Fair. He should be full ratio very quickly. He bubbled all of his writers for auto policies. Doesn't matter. He should be like three turning policies for World Fair. He doesn't even have operas up. That's a bit of a problem. What's, yeah, what's he... Maybe at Radar. Radar, I think, is his best option. I think I maybe, maybe it should have been Radar over Tanks. I think Tanks are fine. I just think you need to continue to Radar. Let's go look at Bucket. What's up with Bucket? Oh, Bucket. Bucket's not doing well. 
The more I look at this, the more mad I am I'm not in this game. You were dead, bud. I know. But, like, this type of late game is, like, thing I'm really good at, like, exploiting. You... You got exploited, man. Like... I did. I, I, I don't know if I would put this one in the list of, like, great gloss and victory. Yeah, this one was rough. I mean, I don't know. That spawn is so fucking bad. It's bad for Lib. It's bad for everything. Smack in the middle. I should have just Ryan stratted it. Yeah. I considered it. I considered it for so long. Let's go back to the interesting war. Oh. Like, Hawks is behind on science, and he's, like... Yeah. I just completely thought Arv was cooked. And I thought Arv was cooked for a really long time. I... Okay. Does Arv, does Hawks even have more army than Arv does? Yeah, so, so for Hawks, I think the path is like radar into moderns. And it looks like they're resyncing again, or is it just like giga lag? Another resync. I guess that's the benefit of being Sue, right? Every time you have like one of these like classical war civs, you're like, okay, my land is too bad to sim on. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. I don't even think it was really the UU. I just think Glossin didn't bring enough stuff. But you know. It was the UU. It was 100% the UU. You think it was I the UU? I really didn't think you had enough stuff. I brought you also, I you fail into this exact team Hawks. trap of, like, fighting into this two-tile choke. Like, I actually tried to go around. But, no, it was either, like that. Have you seen that unit? I didn't realize it was that good. It's got, like, the, the wing to sar thing right it's got the wings to start thing it's two strength stronger than a horse yep oh yikes i can't i can't with these swaps like he's not even like like look at these he's like flaming with 40 arv is just completely counter pushing him like this yeah, is not this is rough like this isn't how you fight this where are your bomber talks I mean, he he lost air superior. He had it for a while, and then he lost it. You should never lose air superior as auto commerce here. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. Yeah, Arv has one great person purchase that he can make. Um. Uh, Arv is about to drop out of golden, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I I hmm. he has five hundred points towards the next one from World's Fair, right? So. Yeah, it's true. This is so painful. Yeah, you you just can't be I like Hawks is just throwing my units into this particular tile. The like, army's just swapping them back and healing them. And Hawks's tanks are all just getting their shit fucked up and then they're dying. These are the most efficient trades in the game. Um, he can't get artists to chain Cushy because of the way piety purchasing was changed. You can't like yeah. get the thing and then um, use it the same turn anymore. Yeah. He could just get artist. It's good. He who has Chichen? Uh, 
He does. He also has Freedom Golden Age, so it's probably just Artist. Um, Hawks finally takes the tile. Well, Arv is distracted, and Arv reclaims it instantly. And there's an AT tank on the tile again. Yep. There was a brief moment where Hawks had a uh, smidgen of hope, and then it was gone. He didn't even get the pillage off on the Citadel, and here are the helis. Yeah. I have to imagine he was so laggy. Maybe. Oh, so he upgraded on the tile. I hate that. Well, what is Hawks going to punish him with? This isn't like... He should be punishing with bombers or AA. Actually, if he can get an AA to the front line right now, that just, that heli just dies. All right, but he's been like monoculture producing tanks forever. These helis yep. are going to be on shred. Yep. Oh, Hawks. Oh, look, there is an AA on the front. <laughs> yeah, again, like, the Sands and Rocket already really aren't as impactful, because she is just, like, having radar, having, um... Having helis. Yeah. Uh, let's quick peek at Bucket. Yeah, Arv's sitting on a lot of gold for upgrade. And you can always upgrade helis. You Anti-tank gun's never obsolete. Somehow, both Bucket and Gong have less army than Arv and Tox. They might have less combined. I think Bucket's just like in it for the meme, right? They're actually just fighting for third. They're both aware that, you know, that neither of them is going to win it. Okay, so Hawks is going to try to double slam down that heli. Yeah, it just feels like... Yeah, it, it's just these trades on the Citadel are so efficient. Yeah, and Arv buys Artist, which I think is correct. Okay. So Hawks is like, yeah, Hawks is monoculture and tanks here. Um, so these helis, one of the things the helis are going to do, you're going to see, the helis ignore Zok. These, so these, like, Hawks said already firing at Damascus for like 20 turns, right? That's going to stop because the helis are going to dance over the mountains, they're going to kill anything that's there, and they're going to dance back. Um... The helis are very strong against monoculture tanks. They're strong in the presence of, like, water I mean, or a mountain. If Hawks can line up... No. I mean, he would need to be really good with the sissy. He doesn't even have first move. Yeah, he doesn't. This is... Yeah. <sighs> this is just rough. I don't think those were last second, Koji. I think he was queuing first moves. Or do you mean the tank slam? That's whatever. What what just happened there? Oh my god. Hawks had first no. move? So close. Oh. Did he... Is Hawks going to pillage that? Uh, there's something happening. I don't understand what's going on here at all. Uh, Har Hawks got some moves off. Yeah, there goes the tank in the water. Yeah, that. I if think, yeah, Hawks I. Coordinated that better. Yeah. That okay, I, I agree with Box. I think it's a recent incoming. I think that's the only thing that makes that make sense, right? It has to do with the Zoc? Hold on. EPMing Hox? No, I'm trying to see if uh, on Bucket's screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's um, see. I think Bucket does see Hawks having that city. I can't tell. Let's, yeah, let's, let's try to investigate. I think so. No, no, maybe, no, he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't? I don't think he does. Okay. 
Yeah, what's important is Gong, but yeah. uh, if Hawks corroborates, if Hawks have. Sorry, what are you saying, Glasson? Uh, if uh, the person who matters is Gong, but if Hawks sees it uh, and uh, Bucket sees it, it makes it more likely that RVS is the odd one out. Yeah. No, I think, like, oh, I, God, I'm pretty sure... so many Rocket RD. Yeah, the big pushback happened. He's going to be really good. Yeah. Now he's going lasers. Yeah. Actually... I mean, Rocket Army kind of suck against monoculture, can- uh, monoculture tanks. I mean, that's what the helis are for, right? Yeah, that's what the helis are for. And the Rocket Army don't even have to be that good. They just, yeah, they demolish everything else. God damn it, Hawks. <sighs> I, I, yeah. Yeah. Copium. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think the CN Tower, yeah, Engineering CN Tower is fine. What a massive cap. Oh, Bucket and... Um, Gong Peace. Like, they're both just ear, right? Gong might be relevant. Auto commerce on the coast, you can just make money back from sending externals. Yeah. And look at this, Arv is, Arv is so decisively advantaged now. Yeah. I mean, this is the point where Hawks starts whispering a uh, bucket and being like, uh, I fucked up and I'm uh, about to die. And hopes that the cavalry arise. I mean, Bucket can't do anything either, right? Like, the, the same reason Bucket, bucket didn't can, backstab bucket Hawks. Like under the bus. He does the same thing with Thong, right? Like, and just hopes that, like... The same reason Bucket didn't backstab Hawks when it looked like Hawks was on top, he won't be able to do anything for. Or he won't do anything for against Arv if it looks like Arv was on top. Um. Does I mean Arv also has Brandenburg, right? So there are some triple promoted helis here, which are you know pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, he does. Hawks is auto 8, which I assume is some happiness policy, because there's not much of a combat bo- or Or it might be third alt. It's one of those. I'll be right back. User disconnected from your channel. Okay, so... This is going to be, like, the first turn since land ships that are really pushes back. Yeah. And I don't know if this is ever recoverable for Hawks. He threw a lot of hammers into Damascus. Yeah, but Brunei can never do nukes, Magris. He's like auto commerce. Right? I mean, I, I, I totally thought Arv was fucked, but... Arv played a scaling build and defended... Hawks has no scaling. Every turn that Arv holds get gets worse for for Hawks, right? All right, Duncan. If he's that good, how come this is his first win? Uh, I there there's Hawks is next. Power spike is probably radar, but I think he's pretty far. Um, I don't know. And even if he has radar, like, it's not at the point where. Oh, Hawks has radar. Okay, so now fighters are sweeping fighters, but. The problem, like, fighters can kill, if those fighters could kill, could sweep through, he'd be able to kill a lot of Arv's helis, but that's just not happening.
Yeah, and so you're seeing all these these frontline tanks getting destroyed by helis. Hmm. Neither of these guys really have that many bombers. Seems like a bomber light war. Oh yeah, and he's Hawks is bombing real bombers right into fighters. The, again, these are really inefficient trades. It doesn't matter how many combat bonuses you have or how many more hammers you have. You can't be like throwing these trades in. Oh, Hawks is liberating Mogadishu. Does Arv need more Sams? No, this is not the situation where he needs Sams. He has, like, air superiority, right? He's pushing with tanks and, uh, and helis and rocket arty. What's going to happen is as soon as he takes his Nyathi, right, he's going to, um... Isn't he, that'll take out a six stack of planes, right? Once that six stack of planes is gone, he's never going to have to worry about getting swept again, even. Right? Wow, I can't believe that city's 10 pop. Yeah. I It seems to me like Arv turned the corner here, and there's not really a mechanism by which Hawks catches back up. Back up. Uh, in particular, once, like, e even if, like, this weren't, like, decisive enough, um... Arv is going to have modern armor soon as well. And he's got money to upgrade them. It's, uh... I don't know. It's decisive. Yeah, GG to Bucket. He, um... Played his game. Made his play. You know, did what he could. I think it's a reasonable ear. Which I think... Guarantees Gong second. But none of that really matters. This is this tournament's about first. Yeah, that that artist with Chichen and Universal Suffrage is really strong. Arf queuing it to stealth, which is appropriate. Um, yeah. Hard to know what to say here. Strong defense by Arf. He never really lost that Citadel tile. And two times this game, that two tile choke on Damascus was essential. These rocket already, again, they're not like super great against tanks, right? But the fact is they're going to annihilate. Sides reverse, can be a different outcome? Um, how so, Omega? Like, you want to like, Arv warring into Hawks on defense here? Like, with, like if, if Hawks was playing the, I don't know, you're going to have to explain it to me more. Um... Yeah, I think if Arv were pushing this spot, Arv would 100% kill Hawks. I don't think... I mean, I thought Hawks was going to kill Arv. So, you know, of course I would think Arv would kill Hawks in that spot. And I... I don't know. I don't I don't think Arv would ever really, like, try to slam into a Citadel like that. I can't imagine him doing it. Um... And I also think Arv would probably prioritize the happiness more. Yeah, I definitely think if Arv were in Inca's spot, Arv would push Palmyra. Yeah, the, the, those slams were like... You, you can't be slamming into that. And I think the right play while he had advantage, right? Which I do think he had was not to slam into Damascus. I think you're supposed to slam into Oglala. Yeah, and look at this. Hawks' stuff is melting. Yeah. Big, uh, big uh, copium coming home to roost moment for me. Um, 
Hawks doesn't really have these like natural barriers that were so useful for Yeah. And like Hawks' bombers are blowing up now. Gonk info? I mean I I I, I hope I think Hawks is smart enough to not slam tanks into Citadel anti-tank rifles. I have no idea where Gong is going. I wonder, I'm going to try to ask Gong if he can put up a stream again. Let's see if he... Yeah. yeah, I mean, if, if there were there were certain points where if Hawks had hit his swap, the city would be dead. Right? I mean, look at now how much better his tanks are trading. Like, now that he's not slamming into Citadels. But when Arv hits Moderns, that's going to kind of put the nail in the coffin. I think. I think it was a really interesting choice by Arv not to make Bombers. And it, it turned out to be, like, very right. Um... I would have been trying to go for some sort of mix of, like, fighters and bombers, but Arv, like, managed to rest air superiority out. I mean, like, uh, maybe Arv, maybe Gong is going for some, like, you know, internet shit while they're distracted, but I don't really think so. I don't think that's, like, a... And certainly, there's no way... I mean, I, I, I think slamming tanks into anti-tank rifle, anti-tank guns on citadels is an actual, like, massive mistake. Yeah. Yeah, and there's the damage on Izanyathi. It's it's all just coming together at this point. Something going weird with my screen? No, okay. Yeah, Arv a little bit low on aluminum. That's a concern. It, it, it's never too late to go around, right? All you have to do is lock up Arv around Damascus, right? And then just, like, swoop around. You don't have to lose um, what tile control you have. Oh, what's up, Bucket? Yeah, this, yeah we <laughs> don't worry, Bucket. We didn't look at you for too long. Uh, this game is mostly, like, me copiuming about, like, Hawks not making this push. Uh, yeah, I, I think it had to be, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I actually think it wasn't, I think it was Radar that he had to go to. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, Glossen's game was terrible. We, we were saying Glossen probably should have killed you. Um, I mean, there we we talked a little bit. At some point, Hawks' stream went down because Hawks was lagging like giga hard, right? And then we looked at you trying to land ship Gong, and we talked about that a bit. So if you want to watch that, well, you're like you know, in the privacy of your own home, <laughs> that's something you might want to watch. That was around like turn one thirty or something. Yeah. So the way I see this now. Hawks doesn't have labs, and because you, you you don't go labs in these spots, because if you can't um if you can't how do I say this if you can't like somehow squeeze in labs, and I think that was something Arv did really well, like squeezing in labs while he was getting pushed. I straight up didn't think that was possible. Um. You just don't build labs. Yeah, if you can't win without labs, you can't win with labs, right? Like, like Hawks in Hawks's position, you're never supposed to like say, "Oh, I'm gonna build labs." Yeah. Yep. This was his play, right? And. He did not make this push. So now they're probably going to like 
they legit might fight until stealth. I don't know. I think if Arv has more units on the ground, right, and he's got the helis. Gong entered info. He didn't enter atomic. He entered info. We have no idea what the fuck he entered info through. I mean... Yeah. That that's what I saw on our stream. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if Gong wants to put a stream up. Gong. No, if he went info through like internet or um like consulates, whatever the the tourism thing is. He could possibly. Yeah. Yep. Uh, even if it's not over now, it is probably over once Arv hits moderns. And even if it's not over once Arv hits moderns, like Arv turned the corner, right? He he was playing a build that outscaled modern commerce autocracy. And he hit that point where he outscaled on Honor Commerce Autocracy. Hawks is never going to catch up for the rest of the game. Modern Armors use Aluminum. Helis use Aluminum. And then all the way down... Okay. So I just got a Discord message from from Gong. Gong is trying to space. No, he's tr he's trying to go to stealth and then to GDR. He took satellites though. So what the fuck? So he went satellites and then he's going to go he's queued into stealth and into GDR. He says one more scientist and hopefully three tech deals in eight turns. Um yeah, satellites is just wrong. Just go to stealth first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's going nukes. He's autocracy, cushy. Yeah, you just you just click stealth, right? Or if you're going straight to GDR, just go straight to GDR. Satellites is in, in particular satellites tells the lobby that you're how good your tech is. Air repair stealth is crazy strong with a stack, right? Air repair stealth is amazing, but I don't think he's getting there because satellites is off path for stealth. I that kind of makes sense, Bucket, but also like he, if he has steals, right? He's gonna steal like up to tanks anyway. Yeah, like Arv is not close, and Arv is top tech. Yeah, Gong is. Mm, I, if it works out for Gong, you know, all power to him. I. I've gotten in like shit on in terms of my predictions this game, so I'm gonna I'll try to keep my mouth shut for a bit. Um, yeah, these helis are actually just devastating. And interesting that Arv has only used the the Freedom Air Unit production for triplanes and fighters. He absolutely he doesn't care about bombers. I, I mean, I maintain, Crazy Man, that Hawks was incredibly, incredibly close to, to crushing, the Hawk, to, to getting Damascus here and just ending it. And uh, I'm still surprised he didn't. Yeah, the Moderns are on the battlefield now. Um, Moderns are just going to absolutely shit on Hawks. These guys are unkillable, too, right? They're 100 strength with the modifier. That's 150 strength. He doesn't have air superiority. Oh god, fucking Arvads. Uh. How do I unpin this? 
No, you you streamed. Hawks was streaming Bucket, and Hawks literally like he couldn't get his moves off. Um, at some point you should look. It looks kind of painful. So, yeah. Now I'm running ads. Yeah, we we had a pretty good stream set up here. It's just now at the very end that Gong like stopped streaming for some reason. Yeah, look at this. This is just completely collapsing. Yeah, Sports can't stream because his computer like cries and dies. It was a very sad death for him. Yep, this is um this is over. Guy who said it's been over 15 times for the last uh in the last 30 turns yeah gunships are like like sipahis right they're um they're so fast and they ignore zok i i have this deep hate in my heart for the text ignore zok and oh arva the scientist okay so Yep, there goes Izanyathi, and that was four fighters. And he stole refrigeration, which is, like, even more insane, right? That he could steal attack. Um, yep, this is just a holding action at this point, and it's not holding very well. Yeah. So, I don't know about you guys. I don't really believe in Gong's ability to get to stealth here. Ahead of Arv. Arv mixing promos. I suppose when you're double anti-cap promoting, that makes sense. Yep. This is not even, like, a bad stealth timing, right? Like, he's been fighting so long. 152 stealth? I've done 152 stealth on free soon. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, he is, yeah. No, he didn't. This is a piety artist bucket. He did, he finished piety and he bought an artist. And he's got Chichen and he's got Freedom Golden Age. Yeah. This is, I believe, the only great person he even gets to buy. I think that's GG. I mean, he held off two attacks at Damascus. He got pretty fast facts. Like, yeah. Arv 100% earned this win. All right, it's midnight here. I 100% doubted. I thought he was dead. I thought Damascus was going to fall any second now. I mean, I assume the fact that, that Hawks left implies that they did CC. Um, which I think would put... Oh, Hawks is talking. Let me, let me get some audio feed. sweeping as well as I thought they would. They're like 35-25, which is surprising to me. Um, but, I don't know. I was expecting to be taking more damage from them when it was triplane versus triplane. Yeah, I was, I was surprised by that as well. Maybe in hindsight you should have taken Oglala too, just to kind of get the full like conclave on him or whatever. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, Arvis was in such a strong position; like his cities are ridiculous. I mean, I think I can maybe if I if I 
if I play it better earlier and um, take more Sioux cities earlier, uh, I can push with bombers perhaps, bombers and enough triplanes before you have enough time to get triplane, enough triplanes up. Um, also, not taking third alternative was horrible. Which like one's I, third alternative? Uh, double resources, like I was just building garbage and uh -huh. not... Yeah, if I take double resources, I do think I can kill you there, but I was just spending so much time building actually. garbage. Yeah, no, I mean, I had, like, I had quite a bit of oil, but I just had a lot of bombers that weren't doing anything, taking up a lot of that oil. Like, uh, had at least four oil nodes, because, you know, two caps, but at least 28. You get more than that, though. I think if you doubled down on planes, took Ugala, and instead of investing so heavily on land ships, you probably could have pushed in to take Damascus. Uh, yeah, probably. If I, I, I think, yeah, I agree. Uh, taking more cities and actually using those planes while they were still good for you at the time to get the triplanes up. I agree. I think those could work. Well, I'm going to get triplanes. You just need to eat up all the interceptions. You're going to have to have like 10 triplanes, if not more. Yeah. 12. Yeah. But you could have done that with all of your gold. Yeah, probably.